Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Good morning, good morning. I nearly didn't make it then. I'm standing here going, why is everything so blurry? Forgot my glasses. So I had to run all the way to the dressing room, run all the way back, chat to Roscoe on the way. I think, well, no, I think he's only just woken up and he was, his show was already on. He's the producer next door. And I could see through the door that Elle and her guests were already chatting away and everything. I was like, Roscoe's the producer. Why is he in the corridor getting a cup of tea? Anyway, good morning. How are you? It's the run up to Christmas now. I know. Oh, Tesco's yesterday. Nightmare. And I'm hoping that everyone's done their shopping now. So when I go and buy my avocado tonight, I won't have to queue up like I did yesterday. Anyway, should we start uh, with today's early bird? Now, you know what the early bird is? We bring you something that sells perfectly well on its own and reduce the price. This should never be an early bird, let me just say. This, oh, now you're not watching 20% off instructions just yet. That's coming up in a minute. So this always sells at 23 pounds and 99 pence. It's five meters of Bondaweb. Where is it going? 19.99, saving four pounds, four pounds off that one. So Jan says, good morning, gorgeous. Jackie says, good morning. Uh, oh, I've written morning, but spelt it incorrectly. Emily says, morning. Oh, Sarah's watching. Now we've got Sarah's fabric tomorrow. Beautiful fabric tomorrow. Uh, Vicky Carroll's watching. Vicky Carroll, oh, she'll still be hung over from last night. Uh, Sue says, morning, John. Mari says, yoo-hoo, John. Ho, ho, ho again. Yeah, I saw the message you left for Stuart yesterday and she put in ho, ho, ho and it'd gone morning, John. And he obviously said something, didn't he? Anyway, Pam Minnie Hardy says, morning, lovely. Hillary says, morning, lovely. John, wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. Well, I'm here for the next... Do you know what? We've all recorded Christmas messages, but they're not on the system. So Alan just taken them home, played them at home, obviously. Anyway, Vianne says, good morning, John. Good morning. Anyway, go through on this. Go through, go through, go through. £19.99. Say that again. Oh, we found them now. 
Bruce. Found that song, be going out during the break. How many are there? Oh. So is it me, Stuart, and Bex? Oh, you can't tell, doesn't they're not named? Oh. Uh, only because Scott, Scott said he'd done one as well. Oh, Vicky says morning, everyone. Vicky's in on Boxing Day, everybody. 1999. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Four pounds off. Uh, new year, new you. New year, new craft. Morning, John. Get excited for Christmas now, says Delia. Oh, I'm glad you are, Delia. Oh, wait till you see my message. <laughs> uh, well, maybe mine's not on there because they didn't like my message very much. No. Jackie says good morning. Oh, mine is there, apparently. So who else? Me? And Stuart. Oh, OK, then. Morning, lovely. Mince pies. Say, oh, Paulina, don't like mince pies. Pauline, unless they're hot with brandy butter. Could that be possible? It's Auntie Pauline's here. Auntie, oh, Auntie Pauline, I've got a question to ask you. Well, no, what I was just saying to you. You know about... Anyway, 1999. Hannah can't remember. Hannah can't remember the conversation we just had. Anita says, morning, John. Good morning, Anita. Uh, Lisa, good morning, John and the team. Merry Christmas. Have a great day. Thank you. Just, I just don't feel like it's Christmas yet, though. I'm a bit confused about the days. I was talking about a guest who's no longer a guest on a different channel. Hannah, we literally just had a conversation standing there. No? She doesn't, she's lost it already. Nine to, mind you, you know I've got my personal trainer now, swans. Um, he'll say, right, we're doing this exercise now. He'll show me how to do it. And then by the time I've gone, oh, yeah, pick the weights, I'm going, what are we doing with them again? Oh, we've moved to, he we've, <laughs> we've moved to heavier weights now. And then yesterday, Danny the gardener turned up in the middle of it because he'd left his meat that he'd bought from Clopton Farm Shop in the fridge. So he turned up while I'm doing this in the garage. We have the garage door open. They won't be hot, but they're laced with brandy. Oh, Paulina, don't drink. But thank you very much indeed. Um, Julie says, morning. I had my work Christmas party yesterday. I wore my heels for 12 hours. I feel exhausted today, so I'm going to stay in bed and watch you all morning with lots of cups of tea. Oh, that's nice, Julie. Sandra says, morning, John. Avoiding going to the supermarket. Not fun this time of year. No, well, I'm hoping yesterday was the day that they all went. And I don't understand. They're, they're open the next day. And there were people with trolleys like this, like wheeling them down the street and everything. Um, who have I missed out? Uh, nobody, that's it. Oh, no, Anne says, morning, lovely John. Good morning. Beverly, Bev. Uh, morning, John. PJ day for me today. Everything done. Days ago. Sewing day today from Bev in Norfolk. Oh, how lovely. You have a lovely day. You have a lovely day doing that. Um, and then, we'll, yeah, right. Come on, then. Come on. It's not 20% off instructions yet. That's coming up this hour. Morning, John. Love your shirt. Have a great day. From Liz. How are you, Liz? I'm Brian. Right, so that's your bond web. Make sure you check out on that really good four pounds off. Now, I've got another early bird, but it's more of a, I don't know what to call it. Don't know what to call it, cause I've got some of these left. Uh, not many, not many now though, not many, but guess what? Because it's not, you're not gonna get it for the 1st of January. Are the, are the warehouse shut for the whole Christmas period then? When do they start packing boxes again? Don't know, <laughs> don't know, I wasn't asking you, I was asking Kat. Yeah, I think they're back Wednesday. But you still won't get it in time for the new year. But anyway, this is my assigned calendar. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds have gone at 9 99 Oh, yeah, it goes to 6 99 Goes to 6 99 Oh, yeah, 6 99 it goes to. Just for the last remaining few. I'm only going to do it for the next three days while stocks last. 6 99 for the signed calendar look. Now, it was really funny because I gave one to Vicky, the postmistress, this week. And she went, I know him. What's his name? And I went, it's Roy. She went, no, I don't know him. No, no, no. The one I know is called Brian. I went, no, it's Brian. It is Brian. Anyway, so isn't that funny that Vicky, my postmistress, knows our, our Roy? Well, no, he doesn't deliver everywhere else. He only delivers, he only delivers here. He works for us in the warehouse. Yep. Yeah, what? What, to the pop-in shop? Or maybe, maybe I won't tell Vicky's husband that then. Uh, H Hannah's saying they maybe had a wrong rendezvous. Adele says, went to the supermarket at 7, home by 7.40. My friend Shimoya Mary, shall I just tell you, my friend Shimoya Mary, she works in Tesco's in Clitheroe. 
She had to be in work at five o'clock this morning. She started work at five o'clock this morning. I know. Um, Nikki says, off to my job in retail in a minute. Wish me luck. Oh, Nikki, yeah. Sharon says, morning, John and team. I've declared this morning a chill zone before I start my big clean for Christmas. Uh, show me the goodies. Derek says, morning, John. Christmas tree going up today. Ooh, I was planning when I'm taking mine down yesterday. Anyway, 6 99 Look at these. I'm not showing you February because that's a naked one. But apparently Brian, Brian May. No, I keep calling him Brian May. Nigel May keeps showing February on Hobby Maker. So April showers, look. This is my friend. Oh, hang on, we go. There's my lovely friend Francesca. You've all got to send lots and lots of lovely thoughts to. This is me and Julie and Mike and Alex on holiday. Me and little Rue, who was three a couple... Oh, last week, last week. Uh, that's me at the Beads of Courage. I'm not going to show you all of them. Oh, you can see that one because that's me every day at work, isn't it? At £6.99, really good deal. £6.99. Only while stocks last now or until uh, Christmas Day. We'll do it uh, until Christmas Day. Message on the bottom. Good morning, John. The quilt behind you is stunning. So is your shirt. Merry Christmas Eve. Eve from Jeanette. Right, so my shirt is a Claudio Lugly Christmas shirt from a few years ago. This is gorgeous. That comes in two colourways. Comes in this colourway and it comes in a grey. Yeah, that's the brown one. You're seeing the brown one there. Nine o'clock with Emma Bradford. That's the nine o'clock one. Isn't it lovely? And I believe... Uh, I, 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 I'll, I'll tell you when we go to... I don't know what price they've got it up at at the moment. I... I uh, £1,099, Hannah just said. Uh, the price you see on the thing isn't the price you'll pay. It's not the price you pay for this quilt. But what, what, why, what else would... Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, this is the price you pay. Oh, it's gone now. Right, OK, shall we do the menu? Here is the menu for today. So we've got 20% off instructions coming up now. Then at 9 o'clock, that quilt that you just saw there, the Seth Apter watermark quilt. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got designer fabric bundles. Then we've got Emma Bradford's design, her temperature quilt. Now, this one was 2020, but we'll tell you all about that. But it's fantastic. What you do is you take the temperature every day and you chart it on a quilt. I know. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got sewing machines. Now, I know we say we've got sewing machines, but boy, have we, have we got sewing machines. We've got money off and we've got bundles. That's nice, isn't it? That one, isn't it? Uh, so, three ways you can get in touch. First way is by email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Second way is by Facebook Live. Uh, Lulu says, morning, John. Working this morning with my favourite sewing street on in the background. <clears throat> then off Christmas shopping and getting my daughter. Will be the first time all three of my children together for Christmas. Oh, in six years. That's nice. Margaret says, morning, John, Hannah, Bruce and Kat. Didn't sleep well last night. Blown a girl all night. Oh, it wasn't here. I had my windows open all night last night. Uh, Carol says, morning. Christine says, morning, gorgeous John Scott. You're a bit early this morning. Late night again last night, or should I say this morning? Didn't get home till gone three. You dirty stop out. Crazy Rain says, good morning. And Alan says, hi, John. How are you doing this morning? I'm good, thanks, Alan. How are you? Uh, Alan, Alan's been doing lots of photo shoots and filming and everything, yeah? Uh, so uh, now the third way is going to the website, www.sainstreet.com. What you do is you go to the front page, and you have to click on the top right-hand corner where it says watch live. And then you'll see the screen there. You can watch it on the right-hand side. There's a white box where you can write a message. And they, that'll come up on my bottom later. Scroll down the page and you'll see two columns. The left-hand column is things you've seen so far. And the right-hand column is coming up on today's show. So this is pre-order. Now, remember, all of these patterns are going to be crashed by 20%. I know. All of them. All of them. Oh, I didn't get that one out. That's on the trolley there. I, I saw one, an Alice and Marion one that had a bag with it. And I thought it had been sent up by accident, but it's still just the instructions. Right. And what didn't you get in that one? Anyway, that's that hour. Then, oh my word, it's, there's lots. If we don't get through them, we'll crash them in the break or we'll do them at 12 o'clock or something like that. Won't we, Ham? Yep. <laughs> there's the quilt. Now, it's, oh, this in two colours. So it comes in the brown, which is the one you can see on the wall. And the grey, which is the one they're going to be, uh, Emma's going to be demonstrating. Uh, now, I've got a favourite already. And it's not what, no. Yeah. Anyway, you will not be paying £199 for it. I'm telling you now, you will not pay £199 for it. Then we've got uh, fabric bundles. Beautiful, gorgeous fabric bundles coming up. Oh, bumbleberries. We love the bumbleberry. <coughs> Oh, look at those. Where, do, where have they been hiding? 
Oh, well, I love that. I was, apparently I was supposed to launch that, but I wasn't in that day. Yeah, that was this morning. I was talking about that, not the other day. <laughs> I said this morning to Hannah, oh, it's a really lovely new fabric. Got Lewis and Irene. Is it, did, did I say dreams or did I say clouds? Oh, clouds. And what's it called? Clouds. And anyway, we've got that today. Got that today. Don't worry, you can see it at uh, 11, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Then Emma's back to do her... Now, we've done a bundle. We've done two bundles, right? But we don't know what the temperature's going to be, do we? But we've done two bundles, one and two. There's a big price difference between those two bundles, isn't there? Oh, Liberty and Bumbleberry. Um, anyway, and then we've got the pattern on its own. I would buy the pattern on its own, personally. That's what I do. And then have my... Now, you will not pay £529 for that sewing machine. You will not pay 619 for that sewing machine. You will not pay 1,249 pounds for that sewing machine and the bundle. Now, this is really important. You will not pay 669 for the easy cover. I don't know. I don't know a time when I've reduced. I've never, don't think I've ever reduced the easy cover. You will not pay 649 for your 570A. And all the, yeah, all the freebies. Now, there's the money off that one as well. It was just a gift. Well, well, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. And that's it. And then the Elna, a sewing machine anti-slip mat. I've never seen that before either. Uh, right, Rebecca Davis. Good morning, John and team. Just getting ready to set off my brother's charity match. Could I please ask, would you be able to wish my brother Marcus a happy 30th birthday? It's a heavenly birthday. We're not, Marcus isn't with us anymore. So happy heavenly 30th birthday, Marcus. And I hope Trudy, Trudels and Vix, uh, Vix, Bex, and everybody has a, a call. As a, as a lovely day today. Right. Uh, Carol says, I'm finally clear of COVID. Hooray! Off to see my father later in his care home. Last time to watch you live before Christmas as I'm working in my care home all weekend. I don't understand split payments. How does it work? Alan, when I get to one, I'll explain how it works for you. Uh, Christine says, I wish I was sewing in my sewing room, silly. Oh, you went out partying. You were sewing till three o'clock. Right, well, come on. Let's go move on. It's 17 minutes past. Where am I, start, I, where am I starting? Oh, yes, of course you can. Delphine. Yeah, John Scott's wishing tree going into the new year. This was done for my birthday. The demonstration will be around June. At 9.99. Oh, no, they're not 9.99 because it's 20%. Oh, I know, I know how much that's going to then. Yeah, 7.99. 7.99. 19th of June on my birthday. 19th of June. Oh, they've only ever been on, the instructions on their own have only ever been on on June the 19th. We've never had them on, and they've never been reduced. Never been reduced, there they all are. I was going to have to say, I've got no samples for this hour, have I? 7.99. What's the matter? Uh, loving your shirt, Don. Tested positive for COVID yesterday, so in bed watching you cheer me up. Oh, Sue, so, do you know what? So many people, I know, and you only have to look on the Facebook to go, oh, I've got, I've, I'm, I, I'm good, I will drink lots of water and um, just you, you give into it. Don't get angry, just give into it. Uh, I'm a bit worried that Dulcie might have it as well because she'll get, if she's watching, she'll go mad at me. But she had to do, we had our Christmas dinner at Dulcie's the other night and she, she just finished filming and she said, oh, I've got this funny little niggly cold. And as the night went on, she got worse and worse and everyone was like, so I'll sit by the door. <laughs> so I, then I did, oh, it's at the time. It's, I'm going to get up. And she said, you're not working tomorrow. And, oh, well, no, I'm just tired. <laughs> Paula, morning, John, the team. Love Paula in deep car. 7 99 keep going through. Keep going through now. Everything this hour. So if you want to go into pre-order, every single pattern in this hour is going down by 20%. So if you want to go ahead and pre-order, you can do it because you pay the final low price. Oh, no, I was going to say, I can get it, but if cat's here, that's fine. Will you just slide the trolley towards me a bit? I can throw that in there for you. Oh, pff. okay, right. Leon, Leon the Lion. Delphine Brooks, remember 20% off? Oh, now this one's 12 99 because there's far more pages in this one, look. People got this in their baskets already. Where's it going? £10.39, £10.39. 20%, 20% off. 
Now, the reason it's more, because I know they're normally 9 99 but look at how many pages you get here. All the templates, all the instructions, everything you need in there. Leon the Lion. Beautiful. What date was that done on, please? Third of March, 2022. Blimey, third of March, 2022. Go and look at it on YouTube. Keep going through. Beautiful. Next. Oh, sorry, that's right. Crafty Co. Stained, stained Glass Effect. Stained glass event, that wiggly pink. Oh, yeah, not the actual thing itself. No. It's an Enderbelly Village, this one, or stained glass window. Should be $9.99, going to $7.99. Wendy Orlando. Uh, just getting over COVID, says Bernie. It's not far away and everyone should protect themselves. Exactly. John, is the money off the fan brick bundle hour? I don't think there is, is there? Some have got half a metre off, some haven't, yeah. So it's not, it's not like this, it's not like a 20% off hour. Why, which one did you want? Which one do you want, Julie? 7.99, this one, stained glass effect cushion cover. What date was this one done, please? 20th of February this year. 20th of February this year. Gorgeous. Very loads of instructions in there, look. That's all of Wendy's. Like um, everything she thinks in her head is in that piece of paper. About this pattern, not about life. Seven, nine, ten. She'll be, she'll be back in the new year. She's been working on lots of new projects. Yeah, I've got Christmas on a plate. I've got several Crafty Co's. Yeah, that one, got that one, yeah. Now, this is the one you need the ruler for, isn't it? Let me just double check. Yeah, this is the one you definitely need the ruler for. The small, the tiny Dresden ruler. So if you've already got that, then that, you get this. But without it, you're a bit stumped because there's no template for the, the, the blade. 30th of July, during Christmas in July this year. But you do need the little ruler to go with that one. Okay, moving on. I've got, should I just, oh, I've got several. I've got the perfect patchwork cushion cover and bag. Would you like the code? Got it. Tote bag and cushion duo, so you get two lots of instructions in here. Look at the light layouts are different as well. You know where it's going, £7.99. £7.99. And and what date do we do this one on, please? 26th of April this year. God, you've got drawings and photographs and words in this one. £7.99. When Joe Lando, the crafty co. A dog's grown even bigger. When I went to visit her a few weeks ago, she got this puppy, which was a cockapoo, and it was about this tall, like a Shetland pony. She put a picture on Facebook yesterday, it's even bigger now. I know. Giant, well, no, there's no such thing as a giant poodle, just a standard poodle, apparently. $7.99. Beautiful. Okay, let's go round again, quilt topper. That's all right, no rush. A bit thirsty today. I'll just get my water off my trolley. What's the matter, Hannah? Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh there was too much pressure inside that bottle I've just opened. And it squirted all over my shirt. Found it. 
Should be 9.99, remember? At 7.99. I've got more Crafty Co coming up in a minute, but for a sec, for now, I'm gonna move on to another designer. Look at, all the, look at that fantastic template on cardboard in that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely. So that's that one. Now I've got Jenny Jackson's Hexi Pocket Waste Apron. You get the papers with this. So you get the instructions and the papers. Should be $15.99. Oh, sorry. I haven't got any pick the images of these. There it is. So it's, that's it folded. That's it open. That's it round your waist. Beautiful. EPP, this one, £12.79. 20% off. 20% off. Now, these prices are only till midnight, remember? Because mid they're crashed at midnight. They go back up to their original price. No, this is this is where this is the splinter I got, Margaret. Oh, June overslept after a terrible night. Oh, June, stay in bed, love. Uh, have you a cushion cover that has an envelope back, please? Ooh. Uh, what? Just the pattern for it. I've got a Jenny Jackson one, which is FPP. Which is oh, did when do Orlando's not have it? Did this not have an envelope back? Hang on. Sorry, I'll just check this one. Oh, no, she's got poppers on that one. Poppers on that one. She loves the popper, yeah. Um, I'll keep looking for you. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Did that one have it? Um... No, no, that one didn't either. I don't know if I have, actually. Oh, hang on. Okay, so in a minute... We'll have uh, Helen Newton's uh, Snowman. That one's got a cushion back, an envelope cushion back. Thank you, Kat, when we come to that one. £12.79. Oh, did we do a date? Sorry, did I do a date for that one? 18th of December last year. Yeah. He he envelope pouch, is it? That's all right. Yeah, here we go. There you go, you get your piece of your papers in there. There's your little pouch for keeping your rulers in and everything. Must be quite big, this one, look. Well, I can see it's uh, at least 18 inches long, that one. Because it's got an 18 inch ruler in it. Goes two, with 20% off. 14.39. But also, look, you get 60 paper pieces with it as well. So they're your templates, but you don't need those because you've actually got... Oh, they're big. Look, they're that big. Never been reduced before, this one. Blimey. So two years ago, this is now. So hang on, what date was it? 19th of January, 20. 22. Ooh. We don't know who the presenter was that day. Um, oh, Sheila, I'll do it in a minute. Can I do Sheila's envelope back instruction next? Would that be all right? What, what? Right here. Let's put that in there. Yeah, this one here. Three left. Only three left. You've got the idea now of what's happening, haven't you? See, that sounded very patronising. I didn't mean to, sorry. You've got the idea now. Right, here's the, here's the one with the envelope back instructions. Singing snowmen. Crashing. Oh, what was it? 9.99. So 7.99. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, actually.
Yeah, I'm just wondering if there's one, if there's, she's got an envelope back on this one. She's got, right, okay, so she's got, um, it, right, who, who was it? Sorry, Sheila. She's got an envelope back because she's on this one, the spring sheep and the enjoy the ride. So if you want, don't want the snowman -y one, buy one of the other two. Sorry, I should have said that before. Yeah, there's your templates. Now, Plique, great with your early bird if you've got the bonder web. Nine of those left, that's all. Nine of those left now. Steph says, morning, John. Bless you for working over Christmas. Oh, I don't mind. Hope your cats are okay. Do they get stockings? Right. No, they don't, because they don't know it's Christmas Day. They don't get birthday presents either. I said that on air, and the butterfly Ange was like, I can't believe the cats don't get presents. So two crackers have arrived for cats. <laughs> not alpacas. No, I'm not getting alpacas. Crackers. Crackers for cats. Crackers for cats have arrived. Oh, I'd love, I'd love an alpaca. If, if I could afford it, I'd buy the field behind and fill it with alpacas. It's not for sale. Right. Then we've also got Helen Newton spring sheet patchwork cushion cover. Beautiful. This is going to be popular with the discount, isn't it? What's the matter, Bruce? Oh, it's a... There's an alpaca shop, or there used to be an alpaca shop in, in Stratford Avon. No, you buy things made out of alpaca wool. Morning, John. You're looking very dapper this morning, or daper. I'm having a quick nosy at today's show before I go out to work for Santa for the last time face painting. Love and sparkles to all on this festive time. We all have a busy day today, Cap. No, oh, 9 99 This is a great big thick one. 7 99 7 99 Lots of you there for this one. Scrap busters. Oh, you'd need your, you'd need your, um, I think we might have done it from a panel, to be honest, but um, you'd need enough fabric to make your outside, but the rest you make your sheep from all your, and your little squares. Oh, yeah, now the scrap bags, you go, oh, now I've got, I've got to be really careful now because I can't give away a secret, but on Christmas Day, you've got to be here for the early bird. If you're going to watch on Christmas Day, you've got to be here for the early bird. I'm not allowed to say. If you can lit read. It is, yeah. What date did we do this sheep patchwork? Seventeenth of April, twenty twenty two. And me and Hannah did that back in the day. Half the stock's gone. Uh Derek says, we often have three alpacas visit the school. What, to do music lessons or something? Also, if you're a person, is alpaca a place? And this shows my ignorance now. Because, you know, I go, oh, that's an alpaca. But it's a person who comes from alpaca called an alpaca. That's what I'm saying. Is there a place called alpaca? I'm sure there must be. Look it up. Oh, she can't be bothered. A, L, P, A, C, A. I've got a friend who has alpacas. You can take them for a walk. Oh, Ellen, Ellen, if, you, if I take the back route home by, past um, the old jewellery maker, I, when, it was the Ivy House jewellery maker used to be in. The, Right, if you go past uh, 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 Ivy House, on the left-hand side, there's an alpaca walking thing there. You can do it. And I think Hannah bought that for her mum one Christmas a few years ago. Because what, what Hannah... Uh, did you still do the same thing? Do you buy them, like, 12... Oh, she did, I'm not going to say what she's done this year, but in the last... In pre previous years, she's bought, like, 12 different experiences. And some were quite simple. And then others were, like, take alpacas for a walk or climb a mountain or something like that. Go pork pie making in Melton Mowbray. Oh, they hated them. Oh, but they did still go. Oh. Oh, oh that sounds fantastic. I once bought a friend, um, there's Beckett's Farm, isn't there, on, between me and Birmingham. And um, they do cookery classes. And we went on an Italian cookery evening and it was fantastic. It was absolutely brilliant. Seven ninety nine. Yeah. 
They're from Peru, the t of the town of Alpaca in Peru. John, could you lip read out loud, please? Mari, are you ready? Seven ninety-nine. Fewer than twenty of these. I'd lots of these. Fewer than twenty now. Oh, Van, I, I got a splinter up the nail, and I thought it was fine. So I came in this morning. I tried to pop it with a pin. Oh no, I woke up in the middle of the night and I've, it was throbbing, something chronic. Anyway, Handsome Adam next door says I've got to buy some bicarbonate of, did he say bicarbonate of soda? Bicarbonate of soda, make a paste and put that on it. It'll Because it's swollen up, do you know what I mean? Anyway, moving on. Oh no, I'm not yet, not yet. Loads. Oh, there's too many people got these in their baskets. Now you need to check out, check out, check out. Is that a song? Is it? Is it Beyonce? Oh, yeah. What, where were you? You went to a party? Where were you in, a, like, a restaurant the other night, Han? Was, that, was it a pub? Oh, it looked, like a, it looked like a restaurant. Yeah, oh, oh, so you were sitting down to it. Oh, she had Irish, no, she had Christmas dinner in the Irish pub in her village. Was it nice? And then she, the next day, she had a picture with a baby that was this group. Austin. What, why did you put a thing over your, you put an emoji over the cup? Oh, oh, there was a trophy. Oh, you weren't trying to hide the cup then. I thought she's holding a baby with a bottle of beer in her hand or something like that. She thinks, well, better cover that up. Seven ninety nine. Keep going through. Too many of you there. Too many of you there. Here you go. Here you go. Alpacas originate from Altiplano, uh, Spanish for high plain in West Central South America, spanning the borders of Peru, Chile and Bolivia. The area of the Andes averages nearly 4,000 metres above sea level. Alpacas are one of the camel lid species closely related to the llama from alpaca. I added that bit at the end. <laughs> that was Vianne. He'd obviously looked it up because you wouldn't know that, would you? Right, are you going to check out on these? Because I'm moving on now. Where am I going next then? Yeah, I've got more than one of hers. I've got two of hers. I've got Enjoy the Ride and I've got the Cake Shop. Uh, enjoy the Ride. It's not called on your bike, mate, this one. It's uh, Enjoy the Ride. Uh, I wonder why that's just suddenly come up again then. Uh, 7 99 20%. Hi, John, it's magnesium sulfate you need for your finger, not bicarbonate of soda. The trouble is, will they sell that in Waitrose? Because I'm not going off to some... Where will I buy that from? Magnesium sulfate. Yeah, yeah. I thought that, I thought salty water, yeah. A poultice. When would I do this one first, please? Uh, Han, what date was this done first? OG. 7th of July, 2021. Yes, I'm not going off to buy a horse poultice. That's definitely not. I mean, there's lots of horse farms around my way, but they don't want me turning up on a Saturday afternoon going, could I have a poultice for my finger? At 7 99 And what do horses get? Splinters in their nails then? Go on. Oh, okay. 7 99 Oh, so I could use that cream that I just put on Luther because he had an abscess on his head. Maybe I should have saved the cat cream. No, don't. Please don't do that. I've thrown it away anyway. So it's all thrown away now. No, you shouldn't use other people's pills either, or animals' pills. 7 99 <laughs> 7 99 Keep going through for that one. 20% off. 
Yeah, then I've got the cake shop. There you go. Louise says, morning, John. A big thank you to Sane Street team. The patterns I ordered last Tuesday are being delivered this morning in Dublin. Thank you from Louise. Oh, that's nice. What day was Tuesday? Was I in on Tuesday? Was it me? Was I in on Tuesday? No, it's, what day is it today? Saturday. I don't think I was in on Tuesday, was I? Oh, was I? Is enjoy the ride applique, John. Yes, they're all applique. Just you, excuse me. Yeah, they're all applique. Look, there's your templates. That was the last one. That was the last one. Here's this one now, the cake shop. They're all applique. So get the bonder web from the early bird. Oh, Claire. Claire, thank you for my present. Uh, morning, John Nord, just back from the supermarket. How was it, Claire? Was it heaving? Lovely. Oh, date, 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 sorry. No, I'm not asking you on a date. I know you're a married woman now. Well, more, must as well be. Don't know why I couldn't think of the words. <laughs> you could use banana skin, it'll draw it out. Oh, Jane, can I? Well, I might wrap a banana skin on it later. Has anyone got, did you bring a banana in? No, nobody's brought a banana. Who's healthy? Is Angeline in today? Oh no, she doesn't eat all day, does she, Angeline? Maybe Emma Bradford's brought a banana in. 20th of June, 2021, on my 21st birthday, then that one. Yeah? Yeah? Ha ha! Right, moving on. The little dresses. Sally Ann Harrison, Liberty dresses, wall hanging quilts, and lampshade. Should be, it is, 11 .99. Oh, it's not too bad, but it's getting busier. Glad we went early. I think if I go later, it'll be all right today. 11 .99. Can't go too late, because I'm in here tomorrow, aren't I? Not that, 20% off. Did I, did I say not that? What, what for? Nine pound fifty-nine. Uh, what date did we do it on, please? Oh, stop moaning! It's your job, for goodness sake. <laughs> Nine pound fifty-nine. Ninth of August, twenty twenty-two. This one, the first time we did this one. But she didn't make any of the dresses anyway. She only made the border on that day. Nine pound fifty-nine. Good morning. Waiting for my brother and his family to call in on their way home from Newcastle to Clyde in North Wales. Yay, get to see my nephews. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. I found out yesterday what all the family that don't speak to me are doing for Christmas. Yeah. Well, they're all having separate Christmases now. £9.59. This hasn't shown off my new physique, this shirt. No, 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 no. And I haven't got those anymore. And I'm, you know when you get old and you get those funny bits, you won't know because you're only 20, those bits there that make you look, and a little pinch there that I haven't got those anymore. Anyway, moving on. Next one. I did two in a row that I did yesterday and the day before. Message on my bottom. Uh, morning, John and team. Have a lovely Christmas. Driving home today. My birthday tomorrow. Loving the patterns from Mandy. Oh, when's your birthday? Tomorrow. Oh, I want better. I won't be able to shout happy birthday to you tomorrow. What are you eating? Which one? <laughs> one of my biscuits. Uh, that's fine. Uh, that'll all stop in the new year, won't it, Went. Yeah, that's fine. Are you skinny now? What, what's next? Oh, wait till you see Emma Bradford. Wait till you see Emma Bradford. There's nothing left of her. It's that thing, that Zoe, Zoe thing. Right, what? What date did say Sally's pattern was demoed? 9th of August, 2022, but she didn't do how to make the dress. She only did how to make the frame. Just, I, was, I know because I was on that show. A hexy drawstring bag from Jenny Jackson. There you go, 19.99. Should be, should be, but 20% off. 
a very crunchy biscuit, that one. Uh, going to how much? 15 99 four pounds off. I could have worked that out. Um, what date do we do this one? Oh, excuse me, do this one on. I'm hiccuping now, thinking I'm eating a crunchy biscuit. What's she writing on your hand for? Oh, glitter. She's got a glitter pen she's writing on her hand. 24th September this year. She must have done that same day that she did her, her quilters, you know, oh, what's it called? Strip of the month. Strip of the month, do, do, strip of the month, strip of the month. Is there anything on the telly tonight worth watching? I didn't buy, I normally buy Radio Times to get my highlighter pen, but I didn't bother this year. 15.99. Oh, I don't watch that. At last, on ever, why are they stopping it? Oh. Beautiful. Keep going through for that one. Lock to you there. 20% off, four pounds off that one. Or do you want to put that one in a bag? I want to shove that in the drop box. I can do Christmas in Quiltsburg. Uh, there it is. I can't reach that. Thank you. Emma Bradford's design. Christmas in Quiltsburg. Or Quiltsborough. It is not Quiltsburg. As I was told last time. 9 99 that's 7 99 This is a plique as well. There's all your templates, your layout. Tree farm. It's funny that's just on a page all on its own, isn't it? But you know, you could have fitted... Oh no, maybe not. Seven ninety nine. No, they're not there for everyone. Well, I can't imagine Haley wanting one on Christmas Day. Can you? I'm just wondering if Haley will bring anyone in with her. Um, what date do we do that one? Twenty fifth of August, uh, September, two twenty twenty one. We did it again recently. I did this last time Emma was in with me. We did it again, but the first one was then. Beautiful. Keep going through for all of these. I'm only rushing you because only ten minutes left, and I've got about four hundred patterns left on my desk. Peggy's quilt. Emma Bradford, Peggy's quilt. $9.99, no, not $9.99, 20% off. So, oh no, it's a machine one. This isn't one of uh, her American pieces, it's a machined one. $7.99. What are you doing here? You brought some chocolates, did you say? She's brought some chocolates for everybody. Come in, Delphine. Yeah, Delphine's brought chocolate. Bring it in. Oh, she's got a she's got a PE kit on. She hasn't come straight from a what's it club. Oh. <laughs> You've got your pajamas on. Come in, come in, show everybody. No, you don't. You look really fresh. You won't be able to get round that way. You'll have to come round this way. Don't watch this. <laughs> how long have you worked here? Oh, well, no, well, I'm I'll say hello, first of all. Hello, everybody. You look brilliant. <laughs> what are you talking about? You look better than you normally do. Oh, thank you very much. No, no, no. But you look like, you know, like, all well, fresh and kind yeah. of... Well, I'm doing the errands. I'm going to go and do my food shop in a minute. Oh, which one are you going to? Well, I've got a, I've got a voucher for Waitrose. So I'll do that. Are you I'll... going to my Waitrose? Yes. Oh, be careful. Parking the... No, no. Parking where the motorbikes are, because there's always a space there. Oh, okay. Don't try Good and... Tip. Yeah, well, I went yesterday and that was the only place to park. Oh, by, so where, the... by the recycling ones. The recycling... So if you go in, right. turn left and it's yeah. in the flat corner there. Right, so yeah. I'm going to go there. Yeah. I'm going to go and watch the boys play football. Oh. And go to the gym. That's why I'm like this. Yeah. And then, and then I'm going to the pub. Oh, gym, then pub. <laughs> yeah. And uh, chocolate... I haven't got any chocolate. Oh, do you say I brought some chocolates? No, I'm just going to come and get some fabric from upstairs. Oh, I hope it's there. There's nobody it in the is all... there. They all went home at lunchtime yesterday, apparently. They came yeah. in and went, bye then, we're off now. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, well, have a lovely Christmas, Oh, Aww. Aww. We'll yeah. go for a sausage sandwich in the new oh, year, yeah, shall definitely. we? Oh, yeah, definitely. Although it might have to be something a bit healthier. I'm going to try and be good. Oh, OK. Yeah. Well, I'll have a sausage. Oh, no, because I don't like... <laughs> you do? No, I don't. Sausage, I don't eat meat. <laughs> anyway, Merry Christmas, everybody. All right, go, go. <laughs> right, yeah, uh, where are we moving on to now? Oh, I thought we were getting chocolates then. Amber makes King Stars. There you go. I thought it was a bit odd to come all the way here <laughs> to bring some chocolates on you down. Yeah, what was that? Did you not hear? Oh, was that the door? The door that we've all got to use now. Yes. Yeah. Nine ninety nine, not nine ninety nine. Amber makes linking stars. As always with Amber makes lots and lots of um, pictures, lots and lots of writing. Seven ninety nine. And what date was it originally done on? Twenty second of August, twenty twenty two. Uh, it doesn't say. Seven, oh, yeah, 78 by 78 it is. Sorry, 78 by 78. Uh, morning, John. Been poorly all week, so I've been curled up on the sofa watching the show. Looking forward to today's show whilst doing food prep from Trisha. But it's not... Are you in Warwickshire or are you in, are you in France? That's Trisha that lives in France. Bonjour, says Hannah. Oh, hang on, what's this? How nice is Delphine to pop in? I love her patterns. No, she, she only popped in because she's got a show in the new year that she hasn't got fabric for. That was nice seeing lovely, friendly Christmas greeting to you and your Delphine. Happy Christmas, John. So glad you're on over Christmas from Linda in Warwick. Oh, thank you, Linda. That's very kind of you. I don't mind doing Christmas. I quite like it. Uh, right, have you finished with that one yet? Yeah. Right. Amanda Little patterns, I've seen those. If you like. I, I, it's not called Little, just called Honeybee. <laughs> I was looking for the. Her name's Little. I was thinking, where's the little one? Honey Blee, Blee, Honey Bee, a plea K. At $7.99. They're really lovely her instructions, aren't they? With all your templates, everything like that. A little booklet. That's like whenever you do Tula Pink, you always go, pink. And I was like, no, it's not pink. Yes, it says here it's pink. No. Yeah, punctuation. <laughs> what date did we do this one, please? 20th of May this year. It's pretty, isn't it? Never been to 7 99 or never been lower than 7 99 or never been lower than 9 99 It's never been lower than 9 99 we're in France spending. Are uh, we in France spending our first? I know. I knew you were. I knew you were. Ah, have a lovely time. A bonjour. So you might be having petit pois for Christmas dinner, yeah? Uh, I think they'll have canard. Won't they? As their main meal in France. That's duck. Or poulet? You saying? Hannah saying poulet? Maybe. Okay, moving on. I, I know you too well. Oh, no, it's because our French is so fluent. Yeah. Rose Garden. Yeah, Rose Garden. There you go. 9 99 No, seven ninety nine. 12th of February this year was when we did that. Never been lower than 9 99 before. Um, so all the ones that are left over, Hannah, we'll just crash them during the break or sometime today. Lovely. So I'm not coming back to them at 12 or anything. Okay, it's fine. Beautiful. Keep going through. I've got... From who? From, uh, from Amanda Little. I've got Migration, Ombre and Daffodil. Ombre. Log Cabin. It's an unusual log cabin, that one, isn't it? Yeah, no, but uh, you think of an, a, a log cabin block as being going round. But 
Yeah. Well, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, it is the same technique. Look. How funny is that? Oh, yeah, so I see. So there's... I've got it now. I've got it. Understand it now. 799, what day did you do this? Tenth of June this year. Uh, Shell says, morning, John and Hannah. Have I missed anything fabulous? I've only just woken up. The first decent sleep I've had in a week. Oh, that's good, Cheryl. Yeah, sleep it. It's been boring, so it's fine. It's also getting very cold. Are you all right heat-wise? Skinny minx over there. I'm not going to stand next to her. Migration, quilt. 9.99, no, 7.99, 20% off. Limited though, this one, limited. Eleventh of March this year. It's only ever been on that once and it's limited today. So it's never been reduced before, that's for sure. That's for sure. Seven ninety nine, twenty percent off. Is that your tummy making that funny noise? Oh, that Ben does that all the time. There'll be this very funny noise. You go, oh, that was my mouth. Okay, seven ninety nine. Right. Okay, I'm going to Alison Marion's now. So this, you think, well, that's not a pattern, John Scott. That's not a pattern, but it is. It's for the fabric strip rub, rug kit, even. You get the bag and you get... Yep, yeah, there's no instructions. Oh, there they are. You do get instructions. Right, you get the instructions and you get the wadding in this one. And you get that lovely bag that it comes in. And we're going lower because we're taking 20% off. Look at this, 15.99. Never been reduced before. Now, when was it done then? Christmas Day last year. Christmas Day last year. So uh, you've got all four of those patterns in here, by the way. All four of them in here. Christmas Day last year, 15.99. Carol says, good morning and Merry Christmas. Same to you, Carol, my love. 15.99. Whoop, whoop. Right, now every, all the other patterns that'll be on the website, at some point during the day today, they will be reduced by 20%, but you can, if you work, don't be worried. If you see one that you like, you'll definitely, definitely, definitely get 20% off it of all the patterns that are listed in this hour, not any patterns, just the ones listed in this hour. Um, uh, because we're not coming back to that. She's doing them now while I'm chatting. Uh, but in a minute, Emma Bradford's here and we're going to be doing this beautiful, it's a new designer to me. I've never met, met him before. I've got a little slide bit of information about him. Really, really gorgeous quilt and it's incredibly simple. It doesn't look it, does it? But it's incredibly simple. It looks like loads of log cabins, doesn't it? It's lovely. I love that. And now, normally, I don't like brown, but I'm thinking I like the brown one best. Anyway, we'll see you back here in four minutes from now. What do you mean it's Christmas again? I ate Christmas. But it's been a good year though, hasn't it? I've had a ball. So I hope you have a very, very, very Merry Christmas and a lovely new year. Hello everybody. Alison, Hi. Steve Hi. and Woody here. Just wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and all the best for the new year. We'll see you back on Sewing Street in February. In the meantime, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hi, it's Sandy here from Family Comforts and I'd just like to wish all the Sewing Street family a really happy Christmas. I'd like to thank you all for making my 2023 a really great one at Sewing Street. 
I've got loads of brilliant ideas that I want to bring to everybody in 2024. So I hope everybody has a fabulous Christmas and a really peaceful and happy new year. See you soon. Bye. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Do you know what? I, I was just thinking that <clears throat> if you've forgotten somebody's present, you know you can do your email gift voucher, the advert that just went out now. If you're thinking, oh, I've forgotten to get such such an email, a, a, a present, what you can do is you can buy it and they email it to the person who you, they've bought it from. And I think you can still, I don't, I don't know if this still happens, but you used to be able to say, I want it delivered at 9 a.m. on Christmas Day or something like that. But they definitely email the gift to them. So it means, oh, sorry, I didn't realise they were in shot. You can definitely, definitely, um, if you've forgotten somebody, you can buy them a voucher. Anyway, Emma's here looking absolutely flipping fabulous. Hi. Look at you. You look brilliant. Thank you. Not that you don't always, oh, always yeah. but. No, no, I'm not backtracking <laughs> at all, but you look fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Now, what's your secret? Proper eating. Proper eating, yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this morning she said to me, oh, I, I often do a bit of fasting as well. And I was like, oh, I'll be rubbish at that. Food. So you have to go 14 hours without food. So, I, so she does it when she's sleeping. Yeah. So she stops eating upper six at night time, then eats at nine o'clock the next morning. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Or which, after. Yeah, yeah. Which is 14 hours. So you've been fasting for 14 hours. I'm like. It's easy. Simple. Anyway, you look, you look amazing, you. you look fantastic. And do you feel better for it? I do, I do feel a lot better. Yeah, yeah sleeping a lot better, yeah. Oh, I can't get over how well you look. Oh, thanks. Hey. <laughs> anyway, 
Um, right, now before we do the quilt, let, let me introduce the designer because you might not have heard of this design before. So I've got a little slide here called Seth Apter. Um, here he is, so he's, a, he, he's obviously written this. He is a mixed media artist, instructor, designer, shopkeeper and author from New York City. I came to the world of art later in life, transitioning from a full-time career as a psychologist mm. and being a full-time artist and maker. My artistic practice is based on the concepts of community and collaboration, and I believe the power of art to bring people together. Well, we all think that, don't we? And there he is. There he is. Seth Apter, Art and Design. So, having said that, so I've never, ever, ever seen these fabrics before. Ever. Have you, do you, have you ever no, come No, no, no. No, this is no? a first for me. So, I've got this quilt, which we love, in two colours. Now, I'm going to show you this thing. You won't be paying this price. When it comes in, you won't be paying this price. Right? So, it's in £199. You won't be paying anywhere near that price. Right. Let's have a look what's in the bottom. So, the finished quilt should be in the graphics, 131 by 164. So, would you say that was a large lap? Yeah. Or would you say back of a sofa quilt? Back of a sofa quilt. Uh, Bed topper. Your topper, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's nice. Also, Kat was saying, oh, like, uh, if you've got somebody going away to university or has gone Ooh, away to yeah. university, be a nice little get. And if somebody who doesn't like florals, mm -hmm. things like that. So here's the brown one. Now, they're saying it's a beginner. It's a beginner. Now, the at Seth Apter, it's the collection is storyboard and it's piecing. So when you get your box, inside here are all your fabrics, which we've yet to reveal, and all of your instructions. And obviously it's quite simple because, oh, look, I can see it now. Um, because they're saying it's for a beginner. Normally these boxes say advanced beginner. I've never, ever seen them just write beginner before. So that's really good, isn't it? Re really, really good. Right, so what's inside the box? Right, now before you ask, we do not have these fabrics by the half metre. Oh, only what's in the kit. Oh, I'm loving them. I'm loving them already. So hang on, which one have I opened? Sorry. Brown, brown, brown. I've opened brown, so that was my bad. Right. So, oh, now these are nice, aren't they? So, oh, they're free spirit fabrics, look. Spirit, okay. Now, it, yes, uh, the, oh, yeah, oh, yes, look, heel. Where can you, oh, I can see art. I wish, uh, yeah, yes, yes. Oh, we're lo loving that first fabric to come out. We're loving that one. Then we've got a plane. Then we've got, oh, look. Now, uh, they've got the vibe of, yes, it's all storytelling. It's all the same fabric, this. It's a uh, promise, story, numbers. But look at these. Now, it's got an essence of Tim Holtz, has not it, really, this? But, oh, Look at this. I'm very positive. The words are all very positive, aren't they? Love these colours. It's like it's like a collage, isn't it? Like um, what's that thing you call um decoupage? It's oh, like a decoupage, yeah. isn't it? Look, these are gorgeous fabrics. But obviously, look, he's just taken bit. I can imagine that that was an art, you know, piece of like cardboard mm -hmm. with things all stuck to it before it came fabric. Then a lovely matching piece there. Then look, more of the writing and bigger writing this time. Storyboard in the colour. Then you've got that lovely uh, kind of mink colour there. Oh, look, look, it all ties in because look, there's the circle from the first fabric, wasn't it? Love it. Then we've got a nice uh, battleship girl, Titian pearl. Oh, that's a lovely, like, kind of... Don't want to call it mustard. Not quite... Ochre? Would oh, you call that's it ochre? ochre. Yeah. Ochre, yeah. Ochre. Then, but look, how beautifully all these fabrics all match together. Oh, I'm loving... Oh, look, words, Hannah. <laughs> yeah, but look at all of these on here. Destination, journal, document, discovery, ethereal, believe, ephemeral, serendipity, original, fearless, gratitude, change, choice, wonder. All the things we want. They're like my angel cards in the morning there. And then we've got more of the, oh, this is nice, a blue one. Shine your light. Oh, do you know what? If you're starting a new hobby in the new year, because it is beginner. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't mean, say, only beginners can do it. If you're an established quilt maker... You're going to enjoy it anyway. Lovely one. To, oh, no, I wouldn't be able to give it away. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Hannah's saying what a lovely one to make as a gift someday. I wouldn't be able to give it away once I'd made this one. This would be mine. And then now, so this must be 
the fabric for the background. that looked to me, I thought they were log cabins, but it's already printed. That's called, oh, this one, this is the only one I've got a name on. This one's called received. So these must be letters and things that he's received, do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But none of the others had names on the selvages. That was all. Anyway, aren't they beautiful? So, right, we're not saying £199. I'll open the grey one in a second because that was the brown one. Crashing. Oh, no. £80 off. £80 off. That's ridiculous, Hannah. I uh, know, I uh, know, 119.99. Make sure you check out, make sure you check out lots in baskets. I know what you're doing there. You wait and see the grey one, aren't you, as well? So let me just pack away the brown one. 119.99. Oh, it's on split pairs as well, look. So what, it could be three-way split pairs, it? Yep, 39.99 split pay. So you can spread it through the new year. Pay the first one today, then January and February. Oh, right, now, Alan doesn't understand split pay. So, Alan... What you can do is you can either, when you ring up or go on the website to pay for it, you can either pay the 119.99, that's absolutely fine. Um, because if you ring up, you just say to them, I'll pay the full amount. If you go on the website, there's a choice on the top right hand corner that says split pay. We don't do a credit check or anything like that. Then what happens if you do split pay, today you will pay, uh, was it 39.99? Did I say 39.99? You'll pay 39.99 plus your P&P if you haven't already paid, bought something else already. Then what happens in a month's time, we take another 39.99 off your credit card or however you paid for it. And then a month after that, we take the last 39.99. So basically you will get it. They, obviously it's Christmas now, but when they start sending out again in the new, not even in the new year, between Christmas and the new year, uh, you, you, this will be sent to you even if you've only paid the first payment. It's not like those Christmas clubs where you pay your money in, but you get nothing until you've paid all of your money in. We will send it to you after the first payment has been received. I know. So this will go, if you buy this today, this will go in, I think we said Wednesday they're back, did we? Whatever day they come back, Wednesday or Thursday, this will go into the uh, warehouse to be leave, to leave for you then. Okay, half the stock is gone. Once you've all checked out, half the stock is gone. Right, so that's the brown one. That's the brown one. Now let's do the grey one, which is the one you're going to demo, yep. isn't it, Emma? Have you got a favourite? I don't know, it's because I saw it first. I kind of like the grey. You like it, the grey? But it's actually, it's not like proper grey, because it's Oh, well, we'll see. A, we'll see now. Yeah, it's kind of a tealy. Crash in. Yeah, so everyone knows that it's the same price, same price, same price. If you have checked out, by the way, you, nobody pays the, that the first price. You all pay that final price. That is the final price, by the way, 119.99. That's 80 pounds off. An 80 pound saving. I know. So, um, let's have a look. Yeah, the box doesn't hurt you. It's just my stupid splinter in a finger now. Now, now, it's not the same fabrics because normally they just put the same fabric in a different colourway, don't they? But look. So on the other box, you got one called Received, didn't you? And what this one's called then? You're going to have a guess, Hannah? Linked, this one's called. After your cat? Yes. <laughs> This one's called linked. So you know where we had that big amount of the brown one in the last one that was all writing called received? This is your background. For, it's not really a background, is it? This is a swathe of this yeah. one in the corner. Then obviously we've got that fabric's the same. Oh, they're lo oh, that's nice. Beautiful, gorgeous. I think the rest of the fabrics might all be, the oh same. no, there's a brown one there. Oh, did I have that colorway in that one? I think the rest of them, are the same. It's just that background one that you, that's changing it. Different story, Hannah, different story. There you go. Lovely, isn't it? 119.99. Now, what you have to do is decide whether you want the grey or do you want the brown. So that's the grey one that Bruce is showing you now. And then can we show the brown one very quickly just so people can make their mind up, Bruce? There you go. There you go. That's the brown one, right? But let's go back to the grey, because that's the graphics I've got in at the moment. 119.99. Which one are you going for? Split pay 39.99. Do you like the grey? Do you like the brown? Morning, Emma Bradford. You look stunningly beautiful today, says Christine. Oh, bless you. 
Oh, hang on. <gasps> no! Right, when you're all checked out on the grey one, there's only six left. <gasps> six left wow. of the grey one once you've all checked out. Uh, right, so Lowe says, uh, Guten Morgen from somewhere in Germany. I can't read that word. Uh, what fabulous fabrics. How lovely to see something different, says Ali. How are you, Ali, my love? Um, yes, but the grey... Check out on wow. whichever one you're doing... <laughs> Check out. We're going to demo in the grey. The brown won't be on the wall behind Emma for the whole show. Shall we start a bit of a demo then? And yeah, then I'll come yeah, back yeah. to what's left on the table. Yeah, 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 yeah. of course. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> is, is grey still your favourite? Yeah, I think so. Well, it depends which one you want. So the brown one is very earthy, isn't it? It's very sort of connected and earthy. Yeah. And the other one, I think, is definitely urban. I mean, they're both quite urban. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I love it. And as, as Ali just said, they're different. That's not what you expect. No, that's a silly thing to say, not what you expect to see on Sewing Street, but it's something different that it we is bring. Different. All the it's not, we all love William Morris, we all love Tula Pink, we all love Cave, but yeah. do you know what I mean? It's not one of those. It's one that you might never have even seen. I've never heard this man before. No, no, no. I've never seen these fabrics before. No. So. And it's definitely one of those, because I definitely know people, if I say, oh, I'll make you a quilt, and they're like, mm, no. no. Because... They have a, an idea in their head of mm. what a quilt is, which mm. is very traditional or very twee or very flowery, yes. very girly. And I just love that this is something completely different yep. that even the modernists, you know, were like, oh, that's quite nice. Yes. If, so somebody who lives in a loft apartment yes. in Shoreditch mm -hmm. would go, oh, I don't have quilts in my apartment. Where's yeah. that? on a wall or thrown over yeah, a chair yeah, yeah. or anything. It's going to look amazing, especially if they've got wooden floorboards and kind of those... Um, I don't know what the, the, the windows that have got big metal, you know, oh, kind of like yeah, the warehousey yeah, windows. Yeah. It would look gorgeous with that, it would. wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Or but even... Han Hannah's saying equally, the brown one would look as lovely on a Chesterfield sofa in a study, like yes. in Little Paul's house, on his green Chesterfield sofa. Like a smoking room. Or camper, one of those nice, you know, done out camper vans. Oh, it's yeah. Nice size. Beautiful. So, yeah, keep it lovely. Anyway. Uh, right, uh, so Lo says uh, it, it'll say good morning and Merry Christmas. Derek said these fabrics are amazing. We'd make some outstanding shirts. Yeah, but we haven't got the fabric, so you'll have to patch it. Oh, yeah. Uh, good morning, Sue. Right, let's do the demo then. So it definitely is beginner friendly. Right. So I'll show you. We put down here. Literally, all you're cutting out are strips right. and then two different sizes of square. Oh. That's it. But does it tell us which fabric to cut yes. all of the different things out yep. of? You haven't, you're not left on your own to decide. No, 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 no. It tells you step by step. All the fabrics, if I open it up, all the fabrics are labelled, like, as they always are in these instructions, yep. which are really nice. So you've got all of your fabrics laid out, and it's really easy to identify them. Uh -huh. They're all given a letter, so that it tells you a fabric so D, E, F, whatever. Oh, good. Because it kind of looks like a completely random thing. It does. They've done the randomness for you, yeah. haven't they? You literally just have to follow. Yeah. And it's super easy. I got to the point where I made the blocks, or some of the blocks, and I thought, oh, that's going to be really difficult to figure out how many of each one. Because they do give you a diagram. Right. Okay, how many of these blocks? And it doesn't... It's not depicting the actual fabrics, but they've got a colour right. to represent that fabric. And I thought, oh, that's going to be hard. But actually, yeah. super easy, super easy. And I didn't actually follow the, their diagram. Like, you don't have to. Oh, OK. <laughs> because their written instructions are perfect because it's, it's easy to follow. Excellent. Um, the only thing I will say, there were maybe one or two fabrics where it tells you to cut out a certain number of big squares, a certain number of little squares, and a certain number of strips. Um, do Because you've only got a certain amount of fabric, you've certainly got plenty, but you do have to be cautious or aware. Oh, so don't just go ahead and cut a strip and then think, yeah. I'll cut more later. Plan where yes. you're going to cut your squares so, out yeah. from. Yeah. And, but there's only a couple of fabrics like that. Yeah, OK. But yeah, so just be aware. Lovely. Uh, and then it's literally one block. So... Oh, is it? Yeah. So the big squares, you don't do anything with. You just use them as is. Oh, OK. The little squares, you add a border. Oh, from the strips that you've cut? From the strips that you've cut. Oh, OK. So I'm just going to roughly... And you do have plenty, so you don't have to be, like, super, super careful. Yeah. So I'm just going to roughly cut a strip to go over there, which I'm going to trim down. Yeah. And you do trim them down slightly so all the blocks you make once you've made them up yeah you do square them off so a little square ruler is perfect okay we'll come to that in a second yeah what 
What a lovely one to do is your first quilt. Oh, it it's would gonna, be. People are going to talk about it, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, it's stunning. And no bias, no bias edges. No bias edges, and even though you've got corners, because the fab, yeah, the fabric is so fussy, it just disappears. And also, the other thing that frightens me is borders. Oh. Because you suddenly go from saying six inches to like the whole oh, length yeah. of the quilt, don't you? None of None. that. None. What's it, just, it bounded? Which fabric is it bounded? Oh, the um, plain. The grey. Yeah. Well, it's kind of a mottled grey. Yeah. Yeah. So it's essentially, once you've got your blocks made, which are very simple, which I'm doing now, yeah. it's just sewing squares. And, and now, it's 119.99. It's meant to be 190... Was it 199 or 180? Yeah, 199.99. £80 off. Still on three-way split pay. No interest charge whatsoever. Oh, OK, they're both on single figures now. Both on single figures once you've all checked out. Very popular. We knew it would them, not quite that this popular. But we're only, what, how many minutes in? 20 minutes in and already we're down to limited, limited numbers. There we go. Let's press that out. Do your fr what, what day of the week are we? I'm very confused. Saturday. Did you do a thingy last night? I did. Oh, did you? I yeah, just it didn't pop up on my phone. Oh, didn't it? A lot, a lot of people have been saying that. Well, we've been having trouble with the Facebook. My Sunday, my Sunday afternoon ones. Loads of people go didn't get a notification. Yeah. Yeah, in the beginning, everyone was getting notifications yeah. all the time. And then but there was you a You normally pop up because oh, okay. you normally start as I'm getting into bed. <laughs> and it didn't come up last night. We didn't do a long one because I've been. Unusually, I've been out on the lash a few nights this month. I know. Excuse me. Out on the lash Thursday in Peterborough. Out on the lash in Newcastle last weekend, last Friday night. Look didn't go to bed till three. Huh? Took me all weekend to recover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Did you take Mikey with you or was it just a girls' night out? Um, Thursday was just a girls' night out because it was my friend's birthday on the 21st. So right. we've got a new tradition of... Celebrate him. Oh, new tradition. Yeah. Um, the one in Newcastle was a works, a day works do, like my work, my day. Oh, work. yes, 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 yeah. Works do. Oh. Actually, it's my friend Jenny Hawkins' birthday today, and oh. she always looked after, she was a, a costume assistant in the films. She always looks after Meryl Streep whenever Meryl Streep does a film. Oh. And um, I, I just love the fact that she also, when Meryl, I can't remember which film it was she did with Meryl, but um, when they did the world. They do all these junkets where they travel the world doing all the premieres and Meryl gets a private jet. So Jenny gets to go in it with Meryl and a hairdresser and, a, and apparently she's the loveliest, loveliest lady. And then she's, Jenny's also the one who's mentioned in my book because when we did the Bond film and with Terry Hatcher and in the seduction scene, Terry Hatcher's dress had to slip off really, really easy and it wouldn't, it just wouldn't slip. So she had to hide underneath the bed oh. during the scene and then when Terry Hatcher said a certain line or Pierre said a certain line, she had to just gently pull the hem of the dress so the hem then just cascaded <laughs> off the floor and then Jenny's underneath the bed for the whole scene oh. while they're acting out their lo love scene oh. and Jenny's underneath the bed. Oh, too many people in baskets for both colours now. Ooh. Both colours are oversubscribed now. Uh, the one that uh, we're demoing is the grey one. The one on the wall is the brown one. She's also, Jenny's also, on, exact, on the same Bond film, we had all this um, diamond jewellery on loan from Bond oh, Street, like mm -hmm. worth hundreds, right. and it would arrive with a security guard, mm -hmm. and at the end of filming, would leave with the security guard. And we were on a night shoot one day, and I was saying to Jenny, uh, where's the, why has she got a jewellery on yet? So I'll put it on when we get to the set. And I said, oh, has the security guard got it? She went, oh, no. And we, we on set, we take these big, you know, the big checky bags? The oh, cricket. yeah. So you'd carry all the warm coats and all your kit and everything in those. She said, oh, it's in here somewhere. And <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of diamonds. And she's she's chucked in the bottom. Right, oh, here's a necklace, here's an earring, and everything like that. Oh, as if the security guard God. could see us now, we'd be in so much trouble. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Uh, more, oh, in inches, Maureen. Uh, I will do. I'll get Hannah to sort it out for me. What's 131 by 164 in inches, please, Han? Yeah, I always need old money when it comes to quilts. I can't do. It's something you can't do, you say? No, I, ha I need the dimensions in old it, money to understand yes, how big Yes, I do as well. Is. Hang on, then. F 51 and a half inches by... 64 and a half inches. There you go. Who was that for? Maureen. Alan says, nice quilt is, isn't it? And then Sue says, I've only ever had one pattern. I had a diagram how to cut up the yardage to make the blocks. I wish more pattern kits did that. Much easier to work out what and where to cut. Oh, I yes. know, but it's extra time for the designer, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. So once that's done, then it's time to trim it up. And all the blocks are the same size, so that makes it easy. Right, so what's ruler, what ruler are you using there? I'm using the eight and a half by eight and a half. Eight and a half by eight and a half ruler. Which is perfect. <clears throat> and how big, the, how big are we making the block? Uh, seven inches. Is that, okay. Well, yeah. It's an unusual size, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's not, one of your, it's not like a traditional size, is it, seven? So there actually isn't much to trim off, other than a little sliver here or yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, just again. Oh, of course, you haven't got to trim the other one, because the other one's still just a square, isn't just it? Just a square, yeah. So, once you've got all of your blocks made, mm -hmm. then it's time to build up, and they've got you doing it. Let's see, how did they? The pattern, sorry. They do it in rows across. So... Can I ask, is it the majority, is it the same amount of plain squares as it is sewn blocks, or is it more sewn blocks than squares? Good question. Oh. I, don't, I haven't counted them up. <laughs> well, you actually um, made the whole thing, will you, so? Yeah, no, no, no. So it's, um, it's a mix, I would say, because looking at the cutting out, number of, of smaller squares compared to the number of larger squares. Oh yeah, hang on, so I can do this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 28, 35 are the 7 by 7s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 80 blocks. So it's slightly more ones with frames than there are non frames. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then of those ones with the frames, there are two kinds. So you've got one where you've got a, a square of the, what we call in the background fabric, yeah. with a different colour, one of the fabrics around it. Oh, yeah. And the other ones are a square of a f the fabrics with a border. And some of them are the plain fabrics yeah. as well then. Yeah, so you've got a square of plain and then this yeah. is the border fabric or the background fabric. Okay, part. I've got an update from Hannah. Ooh. Two grey ones left. <gasps> And how many in baskets then? 17 in baskets, right? Brown. So we'll have a look now, see how many brown ones I've got. 14 brown ones left, but 26 in baskets. So they'll go as well. Yeah. Right. So I think for the brown one, because of the f way the background fabric is, I would make it exactly like it says in the pattern. Right. <laughs> for the grey one, you can do it exactly as it says in the pattern. Right, so which bit are you talking about now? The top right hand Putting the, uh, no, just putting oh, the oh, putting together, together in general. Sorry. So what it is, is you work in rows and then you cut your background fabric up into the larger squares. Right. So this essentially, even though it looks like one whole piece, these are individual squares. So it's literally just squares. You've got one, two, three, four of your blocks. Blocks, what we call them, blocks. Yeah. And then you've got one, two, three, four squares of the background. Right. To make that piece up. Okay. Now, I think for this fabric, cutting it up into squares works really well because you get a nice mix of everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the grey one, I'll put it this way. Because the background is quite stripy. Right. And I got this from looking at the picture on the box. Yeah. As well. I quite like the idea of just doing, instead of squares, 
do, cut okay, the equivalent Okay, so how do script. I then work out? Because my squares would have seam allowances on them, wouldn't they? They would. So, so I need to work out how big that piece has to be. B. So your finished block or finished square, when it's sewn together, would be six and a half inches. Right. So what you do is you multiply six and a half inches by the number of squares that you're replacing. Oh, because it's different on each, on different yeah. on each row, isn't it? And then add a half an inch for your seam allowance on the top and bottom. Oh, OK. So just say that again. So there's, their finished size is... Six and a half inches. So if you said needed the top row, you'd measure f five... Yep. Times six and a half mm -hmm. plus a half inch for the two seam for the quarter inch seam length, then quarter inch seam length there. But then the next one down will be smaller, and the next one down will yeah. be smaller, and the next one down will be smaller. But I'm going to throw another another cog in. Oh, okay. So rather than doing rows across like this, because the stripes go up and down, I decided to do them this way. Oh, so I've got okay. one. If I grab a pin, yeah, I can show you. Okay, so if you wanted, so uh, can I just show you the, the front of the? Oh, now have you got a picture of the grey one? Sorry, Bruce. Let me just put this up. Okay, right, there's the grey one. Can you see how the stripes in the top right-hand corner run down the quilt? If you wanted to, you could cut those, still cut them out like squares like they do in the, it tells you to in the pattern, and then twist them so you get more of a jumble oh, yeah, 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 yeah. rather than, because what, what, otherwise you'll, you can do what Emma's done here, and she's just, she's just pinned a stripe to the big quilt on the wall there. So you can see she hasn't done squares, so you no. get the full length of the stripes. Mm -hmm. So giving it a completely different look, really. Yep. But that's what they've done on the, fr on the picture on the front of the pattern, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yep. You see, I'm not sure if I'd want... It's, we're all different, aren't we? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I'd want stripes. I think I might want mine going in all mix different all, directions. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. only two directions, but mix and matching sort of thing. Yeah. Well, no, uh, you can absolutely go by the instructions and then you can have a play around. Sorry, yeah, well, you're right. Yeah. Have a drink, have a cup of your drink. Drink, a cup of your drink. <clears throat> a cup of your drink. 119.99. Now, you do need to check out. Now, the grey one will have sold out now. Um, the brown one, there's uh, more people in baskets than we've got stock of. So, please, 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 if you want it, you need to check out. You all right? Do you want me to do Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm working again. Okay, perfect. <laughs> That's it's working. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say now, though. What were you going to... I can't remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, right, well, don't worry. So, hang on. So, 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 you put yours together in columns. Yeah. So, you worked out, again, the long piece of grey, and then added the squares yeah. at the bottom. And as we said, when you're matching them up, if you're not very good at matching corners, who on earth... It's going to notice gonna in this fabric. So it re to beginner, beginner, know. beginner, don't be panicking about matching your seams and things like no. that because it really is. It's a very forgiving. Yes. Very forgiving quilt. Okay. So, so you've sewn it together. Yep. All your squares. So again, only straight lines. Only straight lines. Let me see what this, yep. this way. So this is the next one. So even the, the placement of the blocks and the fabrics are exactly the same for both colorways. Uh-huh. It's just the background fabric that's changed. Oh, so this okay. is the same. If you look. Oh, yeah, but same. it's different because you've got some of the background fabric within yep. the square, but the planes are the same colours and, they, and they're going the same places. Yeah. And also, it's your quilt. I mean, this is obviously the way um, that Seth designed it. But if you put it out, before you start saying it together, do what Emma does and put it out oh, on yeah. the lounge floor or something. Yeah, you yeah, might yeah. go, oh, I don't want those two mustards together, together. up there. And you oh, can what, then move it, it around oh, yeah, absolutely. as much as you want. Make you? it you want. So, I will cut a strip, yep. so you can see. So, I'm going to need one, two, three, four. So, four times six, six and a half. And a half. <laughs> 20 for 25. Is it 25? Six, 26. 26. 26 plus a half an inch. 26 and a half. But double check. going to square this top bit off even though it looks pretty square so I'm just laying it out on the mat I'm just measuring it out on the mat Four, so six and a half, so that's thirteen 
So that's 19 and a half plus one more. So that is 20. I got 26 and a half. Yeah, for yeah. the extra. And then you'll be able to see what they look like the two strips together brilliant also notice they've got they haven't always got the oh have they they've got the writing on some of them going the right way up and oh, some so of them going, going the wrong way up but the one the white one with the very very bold writing on they've got all of them going in the same right direction way. yeah yeah, that one's, a, oh, that one's right way. Yeah, that one's not. Well, but that's one. Oh, yeah, that one could be twisted. It, yeah. Lovely. I, uh, a lot of people asking about this behind me here. It's a, a, a bit of a sample of the temperature quilt, which is coming up at 11 o'clock, which is Emma's own design. Um, and that's one that she's just, one of the varieties that she's made up, if you don't want to do it. I'll explain at 11 o'clock, but it's yeah. a temperature quilt where you write down the temperature every day. But if you're impatient like me, you can do it different ways. But this is just another way of doing it. That's why that's there. Yeah. Lots of people, lots of people um, putting that in their basket already. It's not up till 11. Oh. You're allowed to. You're allowed to. Can you reach? I think so. I'll line that up there. That's going to be quite impactful, isn't it? That With a, section, yeah. the, the section of the grey stripe mm -hmm. is more of a statement than the brown patchwork, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's a real... It is. I mean, but there's also nothing to stop you from cutting all your squares out and then when you... Oh, yeah, no, no, together, totally, totally. But that's the, very impactful, yeah. having it as, like, you've yeah. done it, like they've done it on the front of the box and everything, yeah. yeah. But even if you did squares, you could have the stripes still going the same direction. You just might have a bit of a overlap between because it's kind of a crossy like yeah you know, and where you don't you see lances it would just take a little bit of the pattern out yeah, wouldn't it, it but, would. um, oh no yeah. it's nice that one so the, uh, right whilst we're doing that can i just do some backing bundles hang on uh, can i just check on the stock for this first of all the brown one Seven left, 21 in baskets. The grey one sold out, the grey one sold out, and the brown one will go that way in a second. I'll show you those fabrics again in a second. But whilst I'm doing that, shall we do some um, backing bundles? I've got extra wide that you buy by the half metre, and I've got bundles that they've already bundled for you. Which ones would you like to do first? Beige bundle. Well, oh, you're saving three pounds on this. So, you've got three metres in there. Three metres, now this is the right, you will have a seam, because it was more than 44 wide, wasn't it? You will have a seam in the back. Is there any fabric left over? Have you cut the whole thing out? Um, I have. So. Your I hair's very short at the back, isn't oh, it? Yeah. Just I, yeah, I just had it done this week. Nice. Uh, Hannah used to do that with her hair, you know, but oh, she, when she had long the, hair, oh, and she'd just have it, because it's so heavy, she'd have the yeah. back shaved underneath just for comfort in the summer. Yeah, it's nice, yeah. Okay, so I'm just taking all the bits out that I know I'm going to still need. I'm Use just wondering, blocks. when you're making your back, would you be able to make a stripe or something? Oh, yeah, you definitely will. You know, There's definitely a nice mix left. So, yeah, that's extra. This is my binding. Right. There, if I pass this over to you, these are all my extras. Okay, so if you're, do if you're getting a plain for your background in the 44 inch wide, you could, because you're gonna have to sh put two pieces of fabric together, aren't you, to make the width. Rather than just having a seam down the middle, cut it three quarters and a quarter, or two thirds and a third, but then down where the seam is, you could just make a row of squares, look. Oh, the tissue paper. But you could just make a row, it doesn't have to be the same size, they'd have to be smaller squares, wouldn't they? But you could just cut a row of squares just to go down the back, so you've got a bit of interest on the back as well, because that's all the left that's left over there. So that's yeah, that one. I'll give you that one. But oh, thanks. That's your beige uh, three metre bundle there. Next one, Han. Teal, dark teal. Uh, three metres there. 
19 pounds and 74 pence should be 22.74 Beautiful. Check out on all of these if you want them. That one would look. That one's going to look lovely with the brown. Oh one. yeah. That actually, look lovely. Either, with both either of them, them, yeah. To be I do like that colour. Dark grey. That's like the colour I want to paint my bike. Oh, it is. Yeah, dark yeah. teal. Yeah. Oh, she's got a new bike, everybody. <laughs> Luther. So why, why? So you've bought the bike, but you yeah. just don't want it the colour that it is. No, it's a nice bike. It's just that it's. There's a lot of them, and they're, they're all painted the same colour. Oh, are they? Yeah, what they're all the same black and grey colour, and I just want mine to be different. Are you allowed to do that? What make is it? Yeah, it's a BMW. BMW. No, 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 because there's, like, certain where I lived in Twickenham, you couldn't paint your front door a different colour. You oh. had to have it all the same colour. Oh, yeah. I was just thinking if, you, you know, if BMW might stipulate no. these bikes <laughs> can only be this colour that we've designed it. Anyway, this is your dark grey, three metres of your dark grey here. Beautiful. Nineteen pounds and seventy-four pence. Then, quite controversially, this is very bright aqua. Well, I think it would do go with the with the with the grey one because it's kind of. But it's very virgin. bright. I'm coming over. I'm coming okay. over. But it might be nice to have a guy. Oh. Yeah. To be fair, I think it would go with either one. Do you think it would go with that one as well? Yeah, because the grey, you're going to have this as the binding yeah. oh, with yeah. it. And what I like is if you have one of completely different and you do the quilting, it's almost reversible. Oh, because the, yes. the quilting really yeah, shows they just up done, on just, the back. just done straight lines, but yeah, you but can do anything, couldn't you? Yeah. Or what you do is after you've made it, if you don't like doing the quilting bit, you just send it off to Emma, Swift Quilting, yeah. to have it long arm quilted. Yep. Yeah. Because wait till you see Ooh. the quilt. Now, I'm not going to show you now, but I can show you on this one here. That's just circles. How amazing is that? But wait till you see the temperature quilt and the quilting on that at 11 o'clock. not going to show you now. Uh, so what kind is this aqua, is it? Aqua, yeah. Aqua, three meters of your aqua, 1974. Good 74. Well, I was just 74. It was a good year. It was 14 in 1974. Yeah, I know. You weren't born. You definitely weren't born. <laughs> Let's move on then. Now, these are extra wide backing. So these you have to buy by the half metre. So how long is it? Where's the thing? Uh, 164. So you'd only need to buy... Oh, you'd have to buy two metres, wouldn't you? If we're selling it by the half metre. Oh, hang on, if it's 164 centimetres, you only have to buy the drop, which is 164 centimetres. How many centimetres is it across? Oh, 200, uh, 100 and, no, 300 and... No. It's 108 inches wide, right? Yeah. So, yeah, 274 centimetres wide. But the quilt is 100 and... Oh, yeah, so you, so you, don't can, need so you can patch it. A metre and a half? Yeah. It, are the extra wide, right? These are extra wide, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a metre and a half would work, wouldn't it? Mm? Wouldn't a metre and a half work? Well, uh, uh, but then you'd have it going sideways across, wouldn't you? Because I mean, it's 164 is over a metre and a half. Yeah, which would be the length. Then, but if you width. did it that way, but if oh. you've got a pattern that's going, oh. you'd have to go, have it going across yeah. rather than down, you think. It all depends on sure. what you want. So a metre and a half, if you don't mind which way it goes, or two metres if you just want it going straight down. Look at this. Now, this is the Tim Holtz. This will go. Well, actually, can I just show you? Is it, is it actually on this one? Look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it's actually on the back of this one. Whoever made that one's actually used it on the back of that one. It's nice. So this one here is your 14 99 half a metre. Now, um, you see, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that one sideways. I'd have to have that one going. Yeah. Well, no, but then, but then when the quilt's on the bed, it doesn't matter which is the top and which is the bottom. So actually, just do a metre and a half doesn't matter at all. No. Because it's going to be, it's only if you do that, if you've got people coming to say and you turn the corner of the quilt over, just be going in the wrong direction. That's what be, be me getting all fussy. <laughs> I'm getting very particular, but anyway. Uh, morning both, just having a chill out with you for a minute. Oh, it's Marina. Poor old Marina's Aww. hubby's in hospital. Aww. And um, uh, he went in for an operation. They said he's got to stay in for Christmas. But she's not allowed to go in because he's not allowed to talk because the operation's on his mouth here. Aww. So she's going in with a notepad. She's told to stay away, but she's going in with a notepad and a pen. Put it up against the window like this. Mm -hmm. Anyway, send you lots of love, Marina. Uh, anyway, that's that one, 14 
Uh, right, now, which one next, then? Mm -hmm. Emo de etchings in cream. Oh, <laughs> I thought I heard you say it. I've not asked him yet, and I was like, oh, what's coming? <laughs> uh, all right, temperature wise. Oh, yeah. Now there's no flesh on your bones anymore. No, no, I'm good. No, we're fine. Thank you. Thank you. I got my... Where have you got those from? There's sh Christmas shortbreads in the vending Oh, machine. nice. Do, I, do you know, when I came in the other day, on that, there's a um, snack table upstairs on the top floor, right? There was a, a, a chocolate fudge cake, which was about this big and about this deep. Wow. Hadn't been cut into or anything. And I was like, oh, is someone going to cut into that cake? Someone going to cut into that? And nobody did. Oh. It'll be too old now, I want it now. But. Mm. Anyway, this one, extra wide, 13 99 Not sure, personally, not sure if I'd put that with either of them. It's a bit too creamy for my... I'll come over, I'll come furry. over. Mm. So it's a bit too creamy, that, for yeah. my taste, for that one. I'm not being negative, I no. promise. I'm just saying what I think. It's also quite traditional for the pattern on yes, the Yes, yeah, because this is quite a contemporary and urban, and yeah. that's very... Yeah. 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 <laughs> so do that one. Hey, actually, do you know what? On Christmas Day, I've got a William Morris quilt that would go lovely. Oh, that'd be perfect. That'd be beautiful, so I might keep that out for Christmas. Oh, nobody takes the trolleys away anyway, do they? I'll get anything I want. Right, next. Yeah. Yeah, in green. I had this the other day. They've called this aqua. I would call this um, peppermint green. What colour would you call this? It's not aqua, is it? No, it's kind of minty. Minty. It's kind of minty. Someone else made a suggestion the other day and it was perfect for it. And I can't remember what it was now. Somebody messaged in saying, oh, it's not aqua, it's... And it was better than spearmint. Mm. Mm. Anyway, it's beautiful. I'm not quite sure what... I've got the William Morris quilt in two different colours on Christmas Day, so I'm not quite sure what colourways it is yet. I haven't seen it. I've seen the box, but I haven't seen it. Then I've got the same etchings. Now, this I love. This is beautiful, this one, look. Charcoal, they've called that one, which I wouldn't call it charcoal. Beautiful, though, isn't it? Really traditional. And lovely. Fab. Do you know, we had um, a director on last week, um, Dan Sketchley, and off the whole show I kept, thinking he was, I kept thinking he was saying to me, oh, that's it, Dad, move it to the right, Dad. And I'm like, oh, he's calling me Dad. Oh. Like, well, he was calling me Bab. Oh. Move it to the right, Bab. Mm -mm. That's what they say up here, isn't it? Right, now this one here is like cow parsley or um, uh, tone on tone. Oh, it hasn't even got a name in it. It's like a Mandy Shaw design, this one. It's not Mandy Shaw design. But it's what the, the, I said it was cow parsley and she says it's not cow parsley, it's whatever the fabric, the plant is. Oh. I don't know, Hannah. I, she said, this is the one you, when you pick it, it's got a strange smell. I can't see it from you. I haven't got my Oh, yes, you'll know. Yeah. But, but, forgot. No, there got you go. a botanist in the house. Oh, it does look similar to cow. But Could it's it, not cow parsley. It's, is it the one like the, um. Come on, botanist. It's not. Wild cat, like Queen Anne's lace, like wild carrot, Dorcas, carrot. Does it smell funny when you pick it? Hannah says. Oh, possibly. Like Link's been in the garden. Oh yeah. Well, cow parsley is a big one, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. The one that makes your sunburn more easily. Does it? Yeah, yeah. It makes your photo. If you get the sap on your skin, you have to wash it off immediately because if you leave the sap on and you go in the sun, it'll literally cause big no. blisters. Yep. Oh, that's a good one. Not that I lie in many fields of no, but I think it's parsley. like <laughs> if people pick it, they see it's pretty and they pick yeah, yeah, it, yeah, and yeah. they don't think about it, and then they get big oh wow. things on their hands. All the things you know, and you yeah. know what? Something I learned from Emma. You know, when you buy your flowers from the supermarket, you've got the sachet, <laughs> it dissolves this in a liter of water. You have to delete it in a, a, a dissolve it in a liter of water, right? Not any more, not any less. Yeah. Because it wouldn't well, know that's why your flowers don't last. Yeah. If it's a little packet, it's half a litre. So oh, either it? be half a litre or one litre. But yeah, if you've got a nice big vase like that, you don't just that much water. Yeah, but you know what? So bottom of flowers, sorry, Gil, going off topic yeah, now. Go bottom of flowers are just like a straw. Yeah. So you know how you drink up to the bottom with your straw? Yeah. Literally, so long as the bottom of the flowers are covered, 
they'll be able to drink. Oh, I see. So if they do get low, you just top it up a little bit. Oh. But it doesn't have to be the whole... And is it true that if your roses wilt, you put lemonade in the Javatos? Oh, that doesn't look like a... <laughs> no. So flower food has an element Oh, she has to say that because she, she develops no, flower food. No, 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 no. But, so, okay, I'll tell yeah. you. If you put sugar in it, so that's essentially what it is, you're, you're making it a little bit more acidic and you're putting sugar in it, yeah. but there isn't anything to sort of keep the bacteria in check. Right. So essentially what you're doing is you will be feeding the flowers, but you'll also be feeding the bacteria. Oh. But you're not doing anything to keep the bacteria in check. Right, but in the sachets, it's got something to keep the bacteria... Oh, you said yeah. I didn't know that. It helps, yeah. So... There you go. Oh. Yeah. So we'll and why, when I buy flat, when I buy roses... Mm -hmm. Why do two of them, after a day, go like that? And all the others are perky and like that, and two go like that? It's just... Science. Uh, okay. It's just uh, look at the draw, to be honest okay. with you. Okay, and then I've got one more question. Sorry. Um, when we did Ghost in the Darkness, we... My costume department was mm -hmm. on a flower farm. Oh, And yeah. they had fields and yeah, fields yeah, and yeah, fields yeah, of yeah. roses and flowers and everything. Yeah. And I told you, just sell in South Africa. Went, no, 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 my no, shipment no, no. tomorrow's going to England. And you're like, yeah. how can you get a flower that's cut like this in South Africa on a Wednesday and then it's in a supermarket or whatever in London on a whatever? Okay. Yeah, so I'll tell you. So yeah. actually, a lot of the roses that we get in the supermarkets are the, well, South, some of the South Africa, but yeah. Kenya, Ethiopia. Oh. And it's actually, even though they are, they are air-freighted, mostly air-freighted, some of them are sea freighted, but you have to do something special to them. Right. Um, but it's actually more sustainable to do that than to grow them here or to, in Holland because the amount of light and heat that you need to apply to them, I mean, it, it happens Oh, in naturally. Africa, so yes, yes, it's, of course. It's on the equator, so yeah. you get all the light and the heat that you need. Wow. Whereas here, you have to put so much We'd input. have to put artificial light on. Yeah, it's system. artificial light. But then why heat. don't they wilt between there and here then? Because they're frozen. Um, they are kept cold. cold. So the best, it's just like if you get like grapes from South Africa, like they're kept cold. Oh, I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah, yeah, they're, oh. they're all shipped, they're all sea I just thought it was odd because every morning when I'd go to the costume department, I'd just drive through fields and fields and fields yeah. of flowers. And obviously they weren't all out because they, no. were, they were all yeah, budding or something. Yeah. And then suddenly they'd all be out there chopping them all down and everything. Yeah. How brilliant. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Um, thank you for that. Uh, right, stock wise, how am I doing? OK, I've only got the brown one left. Five available, 21 in baskets. Check out. If you really, really want it, please check out. It's 131 by 164 uh, size-wise in centimetres. 119. It's meant to be 199.99. Hannah's taken your Christmas £80 off. And it's so unusual, isn't it? Very, very different. I think loads of people are going to love it. Well, we've seen loads of people are going to love it. Yep. Everyone, the grey one's sold out and the brown one's about to go that way too. Did I have equal amounts of them at the beginning? Oh, there you go. So I've, the reason I've got more brown left is because I had um, a few more of the brown than I did the grey. Not loads, John, not loads. Anyway, it's gorgeous, isn't it? So what are you doing over there, then? Oh, I'm just uh, making up the next row. So this is how quick it is to put together. So I've literally almost done this bit, and then I'm going to add my strip to the top, and that is three... Almost half of it. Yeah, yeah, middle, it's always, so. always halfway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. it'd be really easy one to put together. Quick Almost a third. Of, yeah. Also, I think for a beginner as well, the thought of making a quilt, Big quilt. is quite daunting, isn't it? Because if you start off and you've got to make difficult blocks, that's fine. Then you've got to sew the blocks together and then it takes for ages to set yeah. them all out. Whereas this, you're going to see results really, really quickly. Yeah. So I think for a beginner, it's very, is really yeah. good, is it? Because it it's going to think, oh, I'm nearly there, I'm nearly there. And yeah, it gives yeah. you that uplift. Whereas if you've got a great, big, complicated big task, one, fabulous to do, mm -hmm. but not good as a beginner, can you think, am I ever going to get... And some of the things you see on the Facebook fan page, you think, I've just finished it. And you look at it and you think, that must have taken you forever yeah. to do that. Yeah. Whereas this one, you're going to make a really, really lovely one straight away. Yeah. Um, thank you for that. Now, you're back in an hour. Yep. And you're doing your own design of I a temperature quilt. temperature quilt. So, in a two... It's already it's selling. selling. It's already selling. But just yep. as a teaser, teaser, what is a temperature quilt? So, a temperature quilt is a quilt which you visually record 
the temperature in a chosen area, it doesn't have to be anywhere set, yeah. uh, for the course of a year. And it doesn't have to be from January to, to December. You can choose... When oh, you like start. you start in the June yeah. or something. It's yeah. very customizable. So I've given you all the instructions, like the, the bare bones and all the instructions right. to make it. So what it. year is that then? That is 2020, London. Right. January to December. But you don't live in London? <clears throat> no, but Kaylee, Kaylee lives near London. Oh, uh, OK. Of, yeah. Yeah, so that's the other thing. So it's Kaylee's quilt, this one, really, then. It probably will be, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> is it finished? I oh, just no, need to bind, bind it. it. Bind it, give it to a Christmas. It does have a label, though. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> it does have we'll a label. tell you all about that in the 11 o'clock yeah. It's fantastic, isn't it? Oh, now, Bruce done a close-up there. Look at that quilting. And the thing is, I mean, you wouldn't know what it is just by looking at it. No, 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 not at all. So, but it can, gives you that really nice abstract yeah. without you having to think about. Well, it also looks like, a contemporary, it can, it looks like yeah. a contemporary quilt, doesn't it? Yeah. But we've got loads and loads of ideas of way that you can embellish it and yeah. do things to it. They're really, really interesting out of that one. Very okay, so thank you for that. You're welcome. And we'll be back in an hour. I'll be back in four minutes when I've got bundles. Now, I've got no individuals at the time, at the moment, all bundles of fabrics. But if you like any of them, we can have a look for you to see if we've got them individually by the half metre as well. Because Derek always messaging me going, doesn't he? Well, that purple will make a nice pull-in shirt. And you're like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> he's on his Christmas holidays now, so he's, he doesn't care. Right, uh, I'll see you in four minutes from now. <laughs> Hi everybody, Stuart Hillard here, just wanting to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and a gloriously Happy New Year. I can't wait to share 2024 with you. Hello, I just wanted to pop on and say Happy Christmas to everybody. Um, everybody, you know, in the Sewing Street fan club and everybody that watches on the TV. Um, I couldn't do what I do without you. Um, and it makes my day. I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas, makes loads of super things and have a happy new year. Hi everybody, I'm just popping on to say Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful um, break from whatever you're doing and I hope you find time to do something really nice for yourself. I know I'm going to be doing a little bit of sewing. Merry Christmas from everyone at Sewing Street. And thanks for watching. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel.
Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. June was saying that green could be O'Donnell. Yeah, it could be June. That's a very good name for it. Now... Sue says, who is the man in the group Christmas video with his hands in his pockets? I don't recognise him. That's the one that Hannah was meant to be in. I think it might be, it'd like be Baldy Paul. Or no, Bald, Bald, yeah, Baldy Paul or Baldy Barry. Can we have a quick look at it? Is that possible? We're going to get it up now and we'll show you. We'll tell you who everyone is. Uh, that's Stuart. Hang on, we'll just whiz through it. Hang on. So the first person in the video you saw was Stuart. Then you saw, um, oh, hang on. Just play the whole thing. Go on, just play the whole thing now, because I've just got fabric now. Hi, everybody. Stuart Hillard here. Just wanting to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and a gloriously Happy New Year. I can't wait to share 2024 with you. Hello, I just wanted to pop on and say Happy Christmas to everybody. Um, everybody, you know, in the Sewing Street fan club and everybody that watches on the TV. Um, I couldn't do what I do without you um, and it makes my day. I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas, makes loads of super things and have a happy new year. Hi everybody, I'm just popping on to say Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful um, break from whatever you're doing and I hope you find time to do something really nice for yourself. I know I'm going to be doing a little bit of sewing. Merry Christmas from everyone at Sewing Street. And thanks for watching. Keep up to date with what's on sewing. We were supposed to freeze that so you could see who the picture was and Bruce forgot to press the button. He had his hands in his pocket. So the what, far right is Baldy Paul, who is in charge of, I don't know what his title is, but he's in charge of all the buying and all the important things. He's in, well, no, but he, no, but the next manager specials, he's been told he's got to come on. So we have to have a bleeper and we have to have a delay and everything for him. Yeah, he does look like he's going to beat you up in that video, doesn't he, a bit? So he's at the front. And then behind him is Barry, bald, beautiful, bashful, booked by a Barry. He was behind him. Then, of course, of course you know Ian. And then next to Ian was Kerry. And then Hayley was in the front. And then was it um, Jess? Was Jess on that one as well at the back? I can't remember who was at the back on that side. Anyway, you'll see it again in one of the other adverts. I'll tell you again. Now, this fabric here was meant for me to launch and someone else launched it without me. And I love it. You know me and elephants, don't you? So look, how gorgeous is this? So now you're getting, uh, they're shouting that you're getting half a metre for free. It's called Imperial Jungle Collection and it's 55.93. So you get the elephants on red. Then you get the beautiful flowers on the dark. Then you've got, um, now, uh, are they on a black background? It's like a black, oh, I love these. 
Love these, aren't they gorgeous? So, 55 pounds and 93 pence. No, no, it's already got a half meter for free. Oh. This is you with your half meter off. 47.94, even better. Even better. Isn't it lovely? Oh, I love this fabric. Very, very popular, this. So it's the bundle. It's the bundle we're doing today. 100% cotton, quilting weight. Oh, look, isn't that lovely? They're, all the attention to detail in there is just fantastic, isn't it? Love, 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 love. New year, new you, new you. Oh, now be careful, it's flying out. There's under 20, fewer than 20 of these now. I love the prints. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I didn't realise this one was a huge elephant. Look, I thought that was just a swirly pattern, but look, the big elephants with the monkey riding in the little box at the top. Oh, what? 13 left now. 13 of these left. Well, I'm not surprised at 47.94. Doesn't tell you how many you get in there, actually, look. In the bundle, on this description. Who made this bundle? So were there eight? Did I see eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them. Beautiful, look, look, look. So you get three and a half meters for 47.94. Love, I love that one. Oh, what are you gonna make with these? So you get, now if you buy two, cause some people are multi-bought, they don't come joined together. So if you bought two, you get two of those, 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 two of those like that. Oh, I think these are lovely all together. These look lovely in my house. I love the great big envelopes. They're not envelopes, John. Elephants. Oh, they're brilliant. And these are supposed to launch with me. Single figures of the bundle now. Single figures. Oh, I love the colours. And look at all the detail. There's so much going on. Whether you fussy cut them, whether you make cushions out of them. Six left. Six left. These are going to sell out. These are going to sell out. Let me just fold them up while you're checking out and then I'll ca carry on. Now, we will check, if you're interested, we will check on some of these if we've got them in the half metre or not. Oh, it'll be in the 12 o'clock hour we do that. Be in the 12 o'clock hour if we do that. Yeah, write that one down. Well, it won't be all of them. Will it? We're, just, we're only look if you ask us. We'll only look for them if you ask us for them. Oh, what, the big elephants or all the elephants? I don't know. Hannah said, I think it'll be the elephants that might be short. And I went, the big ones. Are the short. I don't know, John. Don't ask me that question. Two days before Christmas. So now, so when's your dad coming to collect you then? Oh, because normally on Christmas Day, Hannah and I work together on Christmas Day and his, her dad comes to collect, comes to collect him, her. He comes to collect her after the show on Christmas Day. So he's got to drive on Christmas Day here, wait for Hannah, then drive for Christmas. So now he's going to pick her up after the show tomorrow with the mum. And they're, they're going to, oh, I'll see them then. Or oh, what time they come in. Are they coming here or are they coming to your house? Oh, we'll get to see them. Oh, bring Shazza on, you'll love Shazza. Tell her, tell her to get ready and she's come, she can come on. Yeah, no, now I've said that, she won't do it. I should have set to say them. When she was at Festival Quilts one day, I went to take a picture and don't take a picture of me. Do not take photos, no photos. <laughs> she stopped, she normally sends me funny things on Facebook. I haven't seen anything for ages yet. Right, okay, where am I going next then? Bumbleberries, Lewis and Irene. Now this, now this isn't all of them, but this is everything we could put in a bundle. Is that what we said this morning? Yeah. A big selection of them. And we called it the big Lewis and Irene Bumbleberry fabric. Seven meters, you get 14 of these. Seven meters you get here. So there's all your blues. There's all your greens. Now, if you go into Delphine's um, 
workroom in her house. She's got all of these all on, on um, uh, what's it called? Bolts on the dresser behind where she works. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, oh love. Now, would you call that a green? I'm not sure if it is a green, that one. Maybe I'll put that one there with those. And then I'll do my magentas. Oh, they're very close together, aren't they? Oh, no. It's not funny. In my, when I first looked, I thought they were almost the same, but put them together and completely different. Love, love, love that pink one. You got a lilac -y one there. Oh, Hannah, this is a lovely selection of colours. Beautiful. So now oh, it's on split pay. It's on split pay as well. £104.86 on two way split pay. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, they're all the same size. Some of the pictures are just close ups, yeah. You're going to get two of those for free. You're going to get a metre of fabric for free. So you're only going to pay for six. And it's still on the two-way split pay. Still on the two-way split pay. How lovely is that? 89.98. Oh, there are only 15. There are only 15 of these. Couldn't make any more. That's that we've maxed out on all 15 of those. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous colours. 89.98. Oh, somebody shouting next door. Who's that? Is it Toby in? It sounds like Toby. Oh, no, Toby's away, isn't he? As well. Beautiful. Now, I think he's... I, I, I did not see pictures. Of, oh, no, he's at the Toussaint Gem, Toussaint Gem show, isn't he? Who's there? Oh. You put pictures on Facebook of, 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 oh, he must be back. I thought it wasn't till next week. What? Am I allowed to say? Bruce's little girl, Esther's coming to the studio tomorrow. We've not met her before. So Hannah's mum and dad, oh no. Bruce, keep them in a separate room. To Hannah's mum and dad. Well, no, you're most going to get halfway to Milton, not Milton Keynes, Leighton Buzzard. Oh no, they don't even Leighton Buzzard anymore, do Halfway home and you're suddenly in your mum in the back going, there, there, Esther, there, there. <laughs> yeah. 89.98. Oh, so we're going to see Hannah's mum and dad and we're going to see Bruce's new daughter tomorrow. And Ruth, obviously, and Ruth. Oh. Oh, Bruce will be all different tomorrow now. 89.98. Split pay, forty-four ninety-nine. Oh, that means I have to bring... Are you in tomorrow? Who are you bringing in tomorrow, then? Oh, you've got to bring someone in now. She hasn't got any babies. Oh, you picked your mum and dad up from the airport, didn't you? So we get cats, mum and dad. Don't bring your cats in. That'd be a nightmare. <laughs> or your boyfriend. You keep telling us how lovely he is. Nah, she's not bringing her boyfriend. Wait, he's Scottish. That's what makes him lovely, isn't it? Uh, I've not met him. I've not met him. Uh, who have I got to bring in? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. 89.98. Oh. Hannah wants, to, Hannah wants me to bring in Daddy the Gardener. I think that's too risky. 89.98. No, right, I only could only make, we, Hannah could only make 15, right, of these, and there's only six left now. Six left. Oh, and my, my elephanty one, there's only three of those left. And more, but the elephant one's got more people in baskets than we've got stock of. Sue says I could bring her in. Oh, where are you, Sue, then? I have to pick you up quite early. If you're coming in with me, we have to get it for, oh, this is the other thing, right? So on Christmas Day, I've sent all my questions to uh, Hayley. She was too late. I've gone on my holidays now. I can't do any of that. And then she said, um, on Christmas Day, you come in at 6.45. That'll be fine. And that's, I thought, oh, she just wants to lie in. She doesn't want to come in. She went, I'll be in at 6. I'm like, why does she want me here for the first 45 minutes? Yeah, I know. What's she up to? Who's directing that day? Oh, Jeremy Joe. Well, of course, Jeremy Joe. Well, he'll be late anyway. 
Oh. Sounds like I hadn't even thought about that. She must be planning. So maybe she's bringing my... Oh, no, I've had my Christmas present. She gave it to me. She went, this is the cheapest bottle of no alcohol wine I could find. Let me, let me know what it's like. I was like, oh, thanks. Could hardly be bothered putting in my boot to go home. Good morning, John. Have I missed the quilt bundle for the quilt behind you? I've hanging out my washing, so wonder if I missed it. Next hour. Next hour, this one. Next hour, this one. At 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Can we ask Jackie a question? It's 12 degrees this morning. Of course you can put your washing out. Hannah, it's 12 degrees today. I, yesterday I was out all day yesterday without a coat at all. Just, a, just my shirt and my jeans. No, it wasn't. It's not cold. It's not. And who did I bump into? And they had like a bobble hat and a scarf and gloves and a coat. Oh, I know. It was pretty Helen from Wire Lane taking her dog for a walk. And I was in my PE kicks. I'd just finished my um, personal training session. She looked at me and she went, what's wrong with you? And I said, it's not cold. <laughs> Okay, no, in December, we're normally in naught degrees and one degree. We're in 12 degrees this morning. It's obviously that old house you live in. There's no love in your home anymore. It's all cold and bitter. And Anyway, how many of the... Oh, how many of the, these cables are going to get somebody one of these days? Oh, all the pictures are coming up of this time last year with me with my head gashed open and everything. Right, um, how many are left, sorry, did you say? She just <laughs> okay, I think Hannah's on Christmas holidays already. As a producer, she's got everything in front of her, no screens. I said, how many of these left? She went, I don't know. Janet Street, poor R. I'll do Lewis and Irene Dreams next then. I'd never seen this before, and I love it. It's another blender from Lewis and Irene. Is it called Dreams or Clouds? Oh, Dreams. Oh, only launched, that's why I haven't seen it only launched last week. Oh, this week, 21st, not last week. Oh, I love these colours. Now, already, you're getting a metre for free, saving 15 pounds. Already, with that, that's with that off there, then. Yeah. Oh, lovely colours. Now, these are blenders that are more of your bright rainbow blenders, aren't they? Our beach is packed with a... Oh, Sue, I know where you live now. Oh, I can't pick you up in the morning. It'd be too... She's the one that looks down on the beach in Cornwall or Devon, you know, with a lovely view down. Yeah, when, I get, when we go for a walk on Boxing Day morning, oh, it would be different this year because Martin, the coffee's not there anymore. But, oh, he's, he's got a proper job. He's given his van to some, some Australian bloke. Oh, no. Uh, I've known my mum put washing on the line when there's snow on the ground. Oh, she's just crazy. Um, but together yeah, on Boxing Day morning, there'll be loads of people going in the sea at least so. And they don't wear wetsuits or anything, they just run in with their trimming trunks on. I know. 79.90. It's only 10.18 in the morning. <laughs> Hannah's boyfriend, Steph, he's going for a nap now at 10. Did, were you out last night? Oh, he got drunk yesterday. Works do. Works do. He had one beer. Oh, no. Tell him he can't do that when you've got to get up for work in the morning. Seventy-nine, ninety. Beautiful, aren't they? Can I open one of these and show you the pattern on it? I'll just do the purple one that's at the top here. Look. Dream. Dream, 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 dream. Uh, Carol says, yes, she was mad. <laughs> you don't, then you went out for a drink. At what time was that? Okay. So, uh, so they went out for a cocktail and a beer after all this and everything. Hannah went up to bed at nine, because obviously we have to be up early, thinking Steph, he slept all night on the sofa in his coat. Oh, and he had a lot to drink. Oh. Oh, I thought you could say he kept telling you he loved you. He does that when he's not drunk. Oh. How can you complain then? Look, 12 degrees in Eastbourne. Uh, very windy. My washing's on the line, says June. There you go. 
June, uh, Hannah says, could you do hers for her? Because Steph's not very good at things like that. All he's got to do today is get some wrapping paper. But I'm doing that again. But he, 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 he's going to do it, but like after a nap. After a nap, he's going to do it. Well, he's sitting up all night in his coat, wasn't he? Oh, that would have must have been so uncomfortable to sleep sitting up in his coat all night. So was he there when you came down this morning? Oh, honestly, complained that she woke him up as she was leaving for work, the breadwinner of the household. Right, where are we going next? Oh, that, that, that one. This, is this called Dreams as well? Oh, I was going to say, it's called Dream Big by Robert Cat. Oh, I've not seen this one before either. Hang on a second. Why and when I'm away are all these fabulous fabrics launched? Tell Hannah to drop her washing off. She wished she could, she says. So these were launched this week. They did not have a bundle of them when they launched them. First time this has ever been in a bundle. I love these. Look at it. It's like patchwork flowers. And tell Hannah she can open the Christmas Day treat box and take one out if she wants to, but keep the rest for those working on the day, please. Uh, she has. There was just crunching a minute ago in the last hour. I said, what are you eating? She went, a biscuit. And I went, where from? I said she could, Ange, because she's not here tomorrow. Well, how do you mean they got stuck? Oh, she bought some crisps in the vending machine. They didn't drop down to the bottom. I hate that. Get some of the butch boys to go and push it around a bit. It'll work. Uh, I love this. Uh, £47.94. Brand new this week. Brand new. It's called Dream Big Tiles by a Hoffman. Well, hang on. It was only launched this week. Didn't do a bundle, though, so it's technically it's new. Come for a holiday at mine, Hannah, and bring your washing with you. Ah, 39... It feels like an awful lot more than half a metre, that. Yeah? So we're taking half a metre off, so you're getting six, but you're only paying for five. Well, they didn't do a bundle, did they? Your old message on the bottom. My washing will have to go into the dryer because it's raining where I am in West Yorkshire. Oh, is it raining in West Yorkshire, Georgina? I don't know what it's doing here now, but it, well, it wasn't raining yesterday. If, I'm just read, I have to read it all the way over there because it's miles away. If there was going to be a good frost, my mother would put all her white washing out overnight as she said the frost made the white washing whiter. Oh, Elizabeth, that's nice. But then you have to crack it when you bring it in, don't you? Yeah, like jeans are standing up on their own. Not jean, not jean, jean, but... I've had snow this morning in Nairn. I'm with Hannah. No way I'm putting my washing out, says <laughs> Andrea. And she never puts her washing out. It's always on the radiator, apparently, in the house. Anyway, and uh, Hannah says, thank you very much. It was delicious. No, no, she, that's absolutely fine. I missed the call out for her to munches the other day. Oh. Anyway, they're gorgeous. I love those. 39.95. You need to be on leave, I say, because he always brings too much food in and always shares it out. He always buys us cookies and everything. Cat. <laughs> <Do you hear? laughs> right. George, I'll come back to that. I think that's beautiful. Well done if you got that. Bundle of three. I haven't got it. A three, one of three. Oh, oh, there it is underneath Cat's paperwork. If you could see what's going on. There's a phone here. There's a plastic box there. There's Cat's box at the end there. These look like Anna Maria, these. Uh, are you having another biscuit out of the box by any chance? Oh, Bruce is giving her crisps. That's his packed lunch. Oh, that's why it looks like Anna Maria. It's conservatoire look. 
It's Carolyn Gavin from the Conservatory. So it's, it is Anna Maria. Inspired Harlequin, obviously. So hang on, £23.97, get a metre and a half, three, three fabrics. Okay, under £20, no reason for that. I love this one. Very folksy, that one, isn't it? <laughs> They're very noisy crisps that you've given her, Bruce. Can you not suck on them for a little while before you start crunching them? 1999. Beautiful, bold, gorgeous flowers. £19.99. Cat, did you hear that? What does that look like? This one? <laughs> right, this is Philip Jacobs, Temple Garden Fabric. You get half a metre worth seven ninety nine for free. Love those delphiniums. Oh, I remember this range. I remember launching this. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's upside down, sorry. Oh, there they go. Petunias or the convolulus, water lilies, leaves. Okay, two left of these, two left of these, and I can't make it again. Uh, Margaret, uh, I'm st it's still very windy and raining here. I'm staying here with a cuppa and a chocolate biscuit, says Margaret. Oh, lovely, Margaret. Just ironing my sheet, says Sue. Just a thought, I hear you're bringing large bottle of breast press in the new year. Are we getting the other scents too? I didn't even, who told you we're getting bigger bottles? Who said we're getting big bottles? So Stuart said today. Oh, uh, was, was Susie Duncan in? They're not supposed to tell you secrets like that. Anyway, scrap bags on, you, on Christmas day morning. Eight o'clock. Beautiful. 87 pounds and 89 pence, there's only two of those. And when they've gone, they've gone. Can cannot make any more of those. Lovely, gorgeous fabrics there. Flannel, oh, is it the blues? No, I just have to go and get it. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, these are all the beautiful blue flannels, these are, from Moda. Uh, now, you're saving already £17.98, or has that got to come off? Was it? Oh, it's got to come off now, it's got to come off now. Two-way split pay. Hang on, do you want to look at the fabrics while Hannah sorts the thing out? These are all flannels, remember? Flannels. No, like flannel fabric, not like a face, face, a face flannel, like brush cotton, like a heavy brush cotton. Lovely. Let me just check. It's only on one side, though. It's only on one on one side. So you get half a meter of each. There's loads in this one. How much in here? Eight meters in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. £125.98. pence. Was it a family size bag of crisps? <laughs> yeah. £125.98, two way split pay. 62 something. 99. 62.99. Huh? Don't you be making any crumbs now. Wonder how long the cleaners have got off till they come back. Keep going through for that. Keep going through for that one. Well, 
gorgeous. Okay, moving on. Uh, oh, this one, sorry. Batiks, just fallen off my stool. These are pretty, look. Right, how many have I got in this bundle here? Eight meters, 16 fabrics. Gorgeous, we love a batik, and that on batik quilts look so amazing, don't they? Oh, oh, here we go. So it should be 103.84. Woo. 88 pounds and 84 pence. So just divide that by 16 for me, would you? Oh, love that petroly one there. Look at those gorgeous colors. Five pound fifty five for half a metre for top quality batiks. Fifteen pounds off, that is. Uh, Sussex seems just, just having a coffee and watching you before I get wrapping presents for the little ones. Oh, very nice. Where are they? Why aren't they there? Or are you doing it secretly and you're sewing she shed? Put the heater on. Eighty eight, eighty four for all of these batiks. Now, do you know what you could do? Look at the batiks. Imagine making a, a temperature quilt using batiks. Just saying, just saying. Oh, Hannah's not impressed by that. <laughs> She's totes impressed, apparently. Talking to which, wait till you see the free gift on Christmas Day. Age eight pounds and eighty-four pence. Got some very exciting shows coming up in the new year. New here, new hobby. Gorgeous. Keep going through that. I love that. Oh, right. More people now got that in their baskets, and we've got stock of. I'm afraid. I don't think Kat's listening to you because she disappeared after the last time you spoke to her and she's not come back since. What's that? Oh, okay. Right, next. I don't think that's a range I have here. Oh, that was a loud one. Cave facet. Roman glass, that's that one, isn't it, there? Oh, there's just three in that bundle. Yeah. Roman glass in grey, Roman glass in red, Roman glass in black. Well, so I'll sit back down again. That's your price, £25.47. pence. Beautiful. Half meter, half meter, half meter. £25.47, pence, these three. Roman glass, that's the design, Roman glass. God, I'm really hungry this morning. Yeah, but I've already had an avocado. To my, oh, I've got my cheese. I'll have my cheese in the next break. £25.47. Shirley. Oh. Hannah had a lovely tuna salad for lunch yesterday. Didn't finish it all, so took some of it home with her and then went shopping and it leaked all in her bag. So her bag, that was like the day that I was on the tube when I'd been seeing my niece, Alex. And I kept thinking, oh, there's a very strong smell of fish in this. It wasn't the tube, it was the overground. And then this lady got off. We got to Wilson Green. This lady didn't realise. And she suddenly went, oh, this is my stop, right? She was a gorgeous Nigerian lady in full traditional dress with a welly. Is it called a welly, the hat on the top? Anyway, she walked past me. She had a big checky bag and it slapped against my leg, right? And I looked down, it had all these wet fish, wet fish in it that she was obviously taking to cook somewhere. And it was like they were just, oh, oh. So now my leg for the rest of the day smelt of big white fish. 
Carol's going to have a go at making clothes in the new year. Good for you, Carol. New year, new you, new hobby. Right, moving on. What time is it? Oh, it's only 34. We've got plenty of time. The elephant bundle. Two left now. Two left for the elephant bundle now. Because Kat wants to put it away. So if you could check out, we'd be very grateful. Beautiful. There you go. Only two of those left of the bundle. Gorgeous. Did they not think that all that baubleery in the background is going to detract from what I'm trying to sell? Yep. Oh, message on my bottom. Hi, John. Enjoying the show. I'm watching with director Christopher. Which are Chris? Who's Susan? He hasn't told us about a lady in his life called Susan. Oh, we need to Susan message in now. Doesn't say where she is, does it? And why are you with? What, what time is it? Ten thirty-six. He's normally still in bed at ten thirty-six. <gasps> now, he's, now, don't mean to be rude, Susan, but he's never mentioned you. Never met when he's been flirting away with Stuart like. Crazy, because Stuart's his favourite. He told me he told me that halfway through a show once, right in here. Oh well, Stuart is my favourite. And his favourite shape is a hexy. And what was he doing? Saying about colour, he says about colour. He's learning lots from being here. Susan, message back. I want to know more. Oh, he's useless at the early bird. Every day, every day. And I go to him now. Have you got the order right? You know we do that. I know. He says I know. Goes in any order. Um, he's a lovely boy, though. Susan, if you are his girlfriend, you're very lucky because he's a lovely boy. But, but I want to know more. Most of we find out Susan's his mum now or something like that. Won't we? Yeah. And they're not sitting in bed with their matching pyjamas watching in bed together. Right, where are we going next? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I knew exactly what you meant. All of, all of that is done. Thank you, Kat. Beautiful. Look at these. Love this. Oh, now this is a panel. This one's a panel, by the way. Oh, no, it's his mum. Oh! <laughs> He's not in bed with matching pyjamas with his mum. Oh, dear. Does she say, is she laughing? Oh, yeah, it's exclamation mark. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, she was angry. She put an angry face, wouldn't she? Oh, and he's a lovely boy. He's a lovely boy. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> thirty six ninety five. You get the panel and you get all of these. John, you're my favourite, says April in Australia. Oh, thank you, April. That's very sweet of you. Yeah, because Christopher has favourites, you see. And he doesn't like being called Christopher unless he's done something wrong. So we call him Christopher all the time. Yeah, the early bird's the first thing we do in the day and that's just the trigger for the rest of the shift, every day. Yeah. Uh, you do make me laugh, John, sharing the company gossip. Oops, his mum, yes, I know, oops. I've done that before with Hillary and... No, Hillary and Jackie was a film I worked on. I don't mean Hillary at all, I mean Andrew and Hillary. I said that about them because he used to watch me late at night on Rocks and Co. And I was like, I'll get a room. And he messaged him going, it's my mum. 36.95. Oh, here we go, more. Three degrees here. Oh, there you go. Three degrees here in Hungary. It's normally in the minus numbers this time of year, so it feels quite warm to us at the moment. From Karen in Hampshire. What are you doing there, Karen, in Hungary? Are you from Hungary? Or did you just go there? Because I saw uh, my friend um, Sheila the other day, and I saw, what, where are you for Christmas, Sheila? She went, oh, Switzerland, darling. Go for, go for a year. My son, son-in-law's got a house there. Yeah. 36.95. You know where a son-in-law is, don't you? Steve Bennett. Yeah. Beautiful. 36.95. Keep going through for that. You love it, love it, love it. Oh, now, Hannah, I've got to tell you, a tractor's just tuned in, right? 
You know, we always tell the story about how when I went to do the quilt fair in Belfast and I said, a tractor's picking me up and Hannah thought it meant a tractor, a proper tractor. And I said, no, it's a name. And she wouldn't be funny if a tractor came on a tractor. And I said, oh, a son's got a tractor. Anyway, it's not a son. It's not a son. It's a... It's her son-in-law because her son is a wing commander in the RAF and he definitely doesn't drive a tractor. He drives a great big jet. So he could pick me up in a big jet, I suppose. Oh, Hannah says, he sounds nice. <laughs> You've got a boyfriend now, Hannah. You're not on the lookout anymore. No, Steph's not got an aeroplane. I don't think he owns the aeroplane if you're a wing commander. Right, where am I going next then? Oh, yes, I can see it there. It's got a panel with it. <laughs> it was too, because it was too far away to reach Cat up to push it across. Is it this one here with the pussy cats on? Oh, hang on, they're not pussy cats because you've got koala bears, elephants. Oh, I've not seen this one before either. Who says this? Henry Glass, did you say? Henry Glass in the jungle, mega bundle, three and a half meters with a panel, half meter for free, fifty-seven pounds and ninety-three pence. Sorry, Hannah, he's married. Uh, says a tractor. Uh, was, uh, the thing is, a tractor. So's Hannah, by, all, by any which name. They're like an old married couple already. No diamond, though. She hasn't bought him a diamond yet. Anyway, look, lovely panel there. Oh, hang on. Did I see a message on the bottom? We have a house. Here. Oh, it's, oh, it's Karen. We have a house here. We work in the UK in the summer and spend the winter in our house in Hungary. Oh, that sounds lovely. Oh, I wish I had a life a bit like that. Where would I be, though? Where would I be? Yeah, but... No. <laughs> uh, Tuesday's patterns have just been delivered to my home in Dublin. Louise, we haven't we read this one out already? OK, yeah, we read that one out earlier, Louise, my love. Thank you, so much. Was it definitely Louise? Or the two people in Dublin both bought patterns the other day? Oh, I've just realised you can't scroll right back to the beginning on the Facebook messages. It's interesting, isn't it? Anyway, there's the panel. Yeah. 57.92, that's your panel. Then you get all those half metres as well. Um, I'm glad you're on over Christmas. I'm on my own, but it won't feel like it with you in my living room, John. You're making me laugh. Merry Christmas to all of you from... Ta now... Is it Tanya or Tanya? I used to have a big... Oh, no, no. It's like Nadia and Nadia, isn't it? Tanya or Tanya, which one are you? In Kent. Yeah, the emojis don't always work. What is it? A snowman. Um, oh, Louise said it's just an updated version. <laughs> oh, I see. You said they were about to arrive earlier. Now they have arrived. I've got it now. Hannah, I always say about... Han oh, well, let me read this one out before... <laughs> OK, so she says, Hannah, I always say about handsome men, just because you're on a diet doesn't mean to say you can't admire the menu. <laughs> now, don't be doing that. Yeah, they were due, you've got them. Oh, Dulcie's watching. Oh, she's finally got up then, 10.43. How's she cold? I oh, know. She's, it's her first day's holiday she's had in two years. She's been very busy. It's Christmas. Sadie will be home today, won't she? Anyway, moving on. Oh, uh, Tanya. Tanya, thank you. Oh, mess from Lynn now. Morning, John. Merry Christmas. What's the quilt behind you? It's gorgeous. Lynn, up next, it's the temperature quilt. Uh, everybody, everyone's will be different. Everybody's will be different because you take the temperature each day and you build it up like that. At uh, 57.93, that bundle. Well done. Next. Oh... Thank you. Butter me up. Now, this is the fabric we made the quilt with the other day with Stuart, wasn't it? Oh, not these fabrics, but butter me Oh, look, you've got that lovely... Now, I called this... These four haven't been bundled together before. 33, 96, two metres. Going down. Morning. Sadie's not home till tomorrow. Oh, she's still got a cold, though. Oh, dear. It's not going to go that quickly, is it? Um, 29.99. So you got half a metre of your strawberry thief. June, I'll be on my own for Christmas too, so glad you'll be in my living room with me. I'll be there with you, June, don't you worry. Uh, 
What song's that? Oh, the end of the friend theme tune. I thought you were singing an Osmond song. Jimmy Osmond sang that. Anyway, look, Strawberry Thief in your green and gold. Then you've got your um, Michaelmas Daisies. I love this colour here. This beautiful, like, kind of limey, zesty green. And your Mallow. And then I can't remember what this one's called. It's big, though, isn't it? The pattern on this one's huge. Huge. Oh, they've cut it. Oh, no, Woodland Weeds, it's called. Quite imagine if your weeds did look like that. Oh, sneezing, Hannah's off again. Twice, one for sorrow, two for joy. Open the bot, open the window, Bruce, open the window. Oh, they haven't got a window. 29 99 Oh, in the new year, she won't be allowed. Three times a letter. So you've lost the kiss, now you're getting a letter. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, what day is it? Saturday. Oh, yeah, you might get a letter today, because they're still posted, isn't it? Good morning, John. Beautiful kits and fabrics day. As always, Love the Buttermere fabric bundle. It's lovely, isn't it, Jacqueline? It's, oh, dear. She sounds dreadful. Uh, Buttermere fabric, two metres. Didn't understand that comment, but never mind. 29 99 Is it an allergy or a cold today? <laughs> Ta -da. You need to bring your F thingy in with you. Yeah. I thought you'd borrowed one. Yeah. Beautiful, $29.99. Oh, that's an, what we do, where are we going with that one? <laughs> okay, moving on, thank you. What's next? I've got, I've oh, gone. Liberty, Emily Bell, Bright Sunshine. Remember, these are screen printed in a factory on the shores, in a factory on the shores of Lake Como on Lazenby Cotton. Oh, they're very bright, those. Sunshine. Uh, love, love, love you and the show, John. You're the best tonic ever. Oh, Patricia. Do you know what, Patricia? I needed that today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, no, no. We're hoping now we haven't offended Chris's mum because she's not been back in contact. Yeah, they'd be bored of watching. He gets bored when he's here working, doesn't he? So he'll definitely get bored sitting at home watching it. He could have warned us, couldn't he? Never mind. So this is £50.94. You're getting half a metre for free. Has that already come off? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, it has, yeah. Hi, John. Love all the fabrics. And I'm recovering from a total hip replacement that I had on Monday... Happy Christmas, everyone, from Carolyn in Devon. Right, what day is it? Oh, Saturday, you should be up and about by now. When you get a new hip or a new knee, they get you walking up and down that ward straight away. Straight away. Unless you're Hannah's mum and she just refused to get out of bed. Uh, morning, John. Wet and windy here in Glasgow. Going for my COVID booster. Blimey. Merry Christmas. Or Christine. What? Christine, what number are you on? You call it a jag, a, a jag there. You call it a jag in Scotland, don't you? A jag. You don't have jabs in Scotland. You have jags. But what number are you on then? COVID booster. I, have I had four or five? I can't remember if I'm four or five now. No, I hope it doesn't. I didn't. No, no, I was fine. I didn't have any repercussions whatsoever. But I know some people, it laid them low for a couple of days, didn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. £50.94. Emily Bell. Moving on. Moving on. Oh, oh, hang on. What's this one? Carolyn's done her exercises. She's done her exercises for a hip. Oh, good for you. Good for you. Yep. Yeah. This is lovely, isn't it? Uh, 39.45, Navy in Dusk in Celestial Collectione from Lewis and Irene. It's got metallic on there. Now, have I seen these? I don't recognise these. I love that floral one. Oh. Do 
We've never had a mega bundle, just having two uh, mini, mini, mini selections today. Oh, I think it's a selection box then. Beautiful. Oh, Kat's tired and bored. She's sitting down now. It's a bit much if the 21 year old's tired and bored. Beautiful. I've also got this one in a different colourway. Want to ask Christine why? Oh, lost count of how many COVID boosters she's had. Yeah, I think I'm on, I can't remember if I'm on four or five now. Anyway, look at this one. This one's like a, well, I'm saying paler version. It just happens to have some cream ones in it, doesn't it, this one? These are all, oh, I see. These are cream and black, got it. Well, that's Bumbleberry, that one. Look. Because we had a Bumbleberry the other day with stars on it in, a, in another kit or a bundle. And I was like, that's Bumbleberry, that is. That's Bumbleberry. Wait, what's the first word? Celestial. Not Celestial. Beautiful. Oh, morning, John. You do make me giggle. I'm chuckling along late here. We See, someone else with COVID. There's so much to about. Happy Christmas to you all. Anne in South Yorkshire. Anne, get better soon, my love. Drink lots of water. She's still trying to say celestial in the gallery. There's no R in it, look. It's nothing to do with TV, that's terrestrial, terrestrial. Very difficult for Hannah, yeah. Yeah. Next. First. Huge bundle, yeah. This is quite new, this one, isn't it? These feel heavy, these half meters, for some reason. It's not, they're still half meters, it's still, but they just feel heavier. So this is very, like, kind of neutral, oh, I was going to say, oh, I know, Susie's used these in a lot of her bags recently, hasn't she? There's the fat birds, that's why they're heavy. Oh, Jenny Hawkins is watching. Jenny, I was just telling you, it's her birthday today. Oh, Jenny, happy, I hope you're having a lovely, lovely birthday. She hates having her birthday this close to Christmas because everyone just sends one card, like Chris, happy Christmas and happy birthday. And I always make sure that I send two completely separate things. No, they're not Easter cards. One's a Christmas card and one was, a, well, one's a Christmas present, but I'll send her on her birthday. Uh, right, this is 118. <laughs> I wrote on the envelope, do not open till the 23rd. Oh, there she goes. I sent her, I can tell you now she's opened it. I sent her one of my calendars. And she loves it. Thank you very much indeed. She loves it. <laughs> if you get an A4 white envelope from me this Christmas, you'll know what it is now. 118, 86, 59. What was it? 59 something. Split pay. Yeah, come up a minute. Seven and a half metres, you're getting half metre for free. 59.43. Um, Jenny, you're having a lovely day. Uh, Dulcie's watching, Jenny. D uh, Jenny. Dulcie's watching at the moment. Um, oh, no, Jenny lives... Oh, no, Jenny lives very posh. She lives in uh, downside, downside Common, she lives. Really posh. Lovely where she lives, yeah. Where, she's near all the... Is it Cobham or something like that? Near where all the footballers are and things, you know. She, she. Morning, John. Busy morning this morning. We'll catch up later. All right, Georgina. Bye. Bye. Anyway, buy this. <laughs> Make your mind up. Yeah, so Hannah kept saying the other day, oh, Mr. I've got Mr. John. Oh, no, I haven't got Mr. John. She's just reading her own phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go, Woodland Walk in the brighter colours now. Same fabrics, look, just different colourways. There's the fat birds again. I'm very old now, can hardly hear you. Jen, well, hang on, how, much, how old? Jen, how old will you be? 
Because I know I always know she was slightly older than me. She's not going to write it down. Write it down, Jenny. Don't write it down. Uh, Julia, morning, John. You're definitely my favourite. And the OG of Sewing Street. What's the OG? Oh, original. Thought she was talking like Ogre or something like that. I found out last week how many people are terrified of me in this building. I don't know I'm not scary. I was scary to you, Hannah, when I first met you. <laughs> no, I didn't, it's not that I didn't like you because I didn't know you. I just went, Cherry, do not put me with that producer. <laughs> well, yeah, at that stage, she was just sitting behind the producers writing notes, but... And now look. The what? Goat, greatest of all time. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'll be a goat. Oh. 180, it's frightening. I'm just sitting there now reminiscing because I always remember the very first time I met Jenny Hawkins and I was working on Poirot and my costume department was on stage two at Twickenham Studios. And we had a door in for the corridor, but on a sunny day, we could open the great big door that used to bring all the sets in and everything like that. And I remember sitting at my desk and she walked in, she had all this mane of beautiful hair and the sunshine was behind her. It was like a film, it was just like a film moment. It was fantastic. And that was the first time I met her. Oh. Uh, Miss John Bottom, we were young then, weren't we, Jen? Morning, John. Did Julie order you the... No. No, Glynis. So normally I get the, the brochure in October. The, Glynis is talking about my Christmas dinner now. So Julie normally sends me the Marks and Spencer brochure. I said, can I have this to start with? That and that. So Julie said, I spoke to you yesterday, or the day before yesterday. What might have been yesterday? Oh, I've got you some bits and bobs from Marks and Spencer's. And then she went, but Alex is really excited about you coming because she's making you a special vegan dinner. And I went, oh, nice. So her carrots in honey are delicious, right? But she made her Christmas dinner for her boyfriend, Raz, last week, because they're not being together at Christmas and everything. And I, she put it on the family group, you know, the family WhatsApp, saying, oh, look at the dinner I just made for Rasmus. And I went, what are those brown things? <laughs> what are those brown things? She went, they are whatever they were. And I said, like, oh. So I think I'm going to get these things that look like poos on a plate. <laughs> Sorry if you're eating your 11s. But anyway. I'm really excited. I'm excited about her carrots in honey. They're nice. Oh, no, but we have to have vegan honey and vegan everything. She's very strict. She's very, very strict. I'm like, well, I'm gluten-free, but I can eat that pastry if it looks nice. You know what I mean? Oh, message. It's suddenly got very busy. Morning, John and team. Merry Christmas. Is the quilt behind you on today's show? Lisa, yes, in about four, five, six, it's eight minutes. Eight minutes' time. Eight minutes' time, that'll be. Emma Bradford's own design. You can go and look at it on pre-order now. A pattern on its own if you want to use your scraps. Or um, we've got two bundles as well. It's a temperature quilt, so everybody's will be different. Is it swirly like snaily things? Yeah. And medallions and... Nice, this is nice. Now, you see, I recognise that one, but I don't recognise these two. Uh, 29 96 this is nice. Let me open that one because I like that one. Beautiful. Gorgeous. So I can give that one to Cat. Which one do you want to do next? Are they the bubble ones? Oh, yeah, there it is, yeah. Bubbles, champagne for everyone. Now, apparently, Little Britain's coming back, but it's going to be very different. It would have to be now. They wouldn't... <laughs> yes, <laughs> and I'd say it'd have to be a completely different show. Well, it will, won't it? 55 pound. You see, you know what? It's really weird, isn't it? So on um, that programme, I'm not going to go into I'm not going to get political into that, but they don't show a lot of it because of correctness and everything. How on earth does Catherine Tate's Nan still get shown? I mean, I think it's brilliant. I think it's absolutely brilliant. But there's some things you're going, don't think you're supposed to say that anymore. But I love it. Oh, Miss John on bottom. Thank you, John. My dog was squeaking his toy when you said shush and it stopped him squeaking. Oh, did I say shush? It's been them wittering on. Uh, Georgina said, no, John, you said that wrong. I meant I will catch up what I mixed later. 
missed later. Just give it that other. Oh, I don't know if to said now. Oh, business morning, we'll catch up later. I see what you mean, yeah. So she's not going. She's here with us now, but the bit that she's missed, she'll catch up later. She's meant to be putting her washing out like everyone else's today. Oh, I'm exhausted. Is it one o'clock yet? It's 11 o'clock, you know, Han. This one. Don't worry, Emma will still get her full amount of time. Don't worry, don't worry, Emma will still get her full amount of time. I know I've gone over a little bit. Oh, okay, okay then. Okay, so I'll show those in the last hour. This is the last one I'm going to show this hour. There you go. 79.91. Uh, four and a half metres of Jason Yenta, Garden of Dreams. Beautiful. Right, don't go anywhere. Loads of you have been waiting for this. It's the, uh, Emma Bradford's temperature quilt. Oh, she was here a minute ago. She's gone, she's gone again. Uh, straight after this four minute break. <laughs> To our Sewing Street customers, have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas and a Happy New Year. And thank you so much for being with us this year. We've loved having you. Hi everybody, it's Fiona from Sew Girl here. Just want to say a very, very big Happy Christmas to everybody at Sewing Street, all the crew, all the lovely people behind the scenes and of course all the viewers as well. Couldn't do it without you, and I really look forward to seeing you again in the new year, 2024. We'll be in in January, so look forward to seeing you then. Happy Christmas! It's just a little message to say a huge thank you to all of the shoppers at Sewing Street who've been with us this year, in our first year, and also a massive thank you to all of the staff at Sewing Street. It's been absolutely amazing. Hello everybody, Scott here. Have an incredible Christmas. Spend it with your family, spend it with your friends, have an incredible time. Most of all, enjoy it. Thank you so much for supporting us throughout this whole year, and we'll see you throughout the festive period, and we'll also see you in the new year. Have a great time. Merry Christmas. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel.
Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Everyone did such positive Christmas messages, didn't they? If you've missed mine, you'll see it in the next break. <laughs> it's a bit aggressive. <laughs> anyway, before, 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 before I tell you what this is all about, show you what's available. We've had loads and loads of people coming in, loads of people buying it, loads have checked out, but we just want to talk about what a temperature quilt, quilt is. Actually, is yeah. Yeah. So, what is a temperature quilt? So, temperature quilt. I actually got the idea because I've seen somebody knitting. A temperature quilt. Right. So it's where you record the temperature for, a, for that day uh, in any location that you want. So it could be where you live. It can be where your loved ones will live. It can be where you've been on holiday that you absolutely loved. It can be anywhere in the world that you want. But you stay in the set. You, you do it from the same place for the whole quilt. Yes. Yeah. Same place for the whole quilt, for the whole year. Yeah. So it covers the entire year. Uh, usually January to December, but it doesn't have to be, so you can pick whichever you want. I mean, can you imagine if you did it for the Southern Hemisphere, the temperatures would be a completely different Oh, pattern. yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, so you'd have the cold ones in the middle yeah. if you did it from January to, to December. Uh, but it's just a visual representation of what the temperature did in that location right. throughout the year. So what's this then? Where's this? When is it? So what's this it? quilt is a rep representation of London right. um, in 2020. Right. And this is recording only the high temperatures. So there's a few decisions you need to make when Before you start, you start off. start, right. Yeah. And then you just continue with those decisions throughout. So just take me through that first strip over there then. So this is January. Oh, OK. Right, right, right. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September... October, November, December. Right. 
And then, and then, so, and then the colours are each day. So the first at the bottom, first at the top. Yeah, you pointed <laughs> upwards. You go first at the bottom. It's been a long month. Yeah. <laughs> first at the top. Yeah. Thirty-first at the bottom. And then the colours are representing each day. So it's a, a temperature. So what you do, what I've done, and I've got it in the instructions, so it's right. really easy, is that rather than having um, a colour for a temperature, yeah, I've split them up into brackets. So it starts at minus six to minus four, which you may or may not get. And did, it go, <laughs> did that did twenty twenty? Did it go that cold? No, I think it went down to zero, which I think is. Be over there then. Yeah, it's in December. See that very oh, dark colour? Oh, there, the very dark one. Yeah, on its own. that's the darkest one. Uh, and then it went up to, let's see, 32 degrees, but I've had to add. So on this chart, I've got them all broken down right. into brackets. So, it's, so it went higher in 2020. Did it, did it go higher than your chart. chart did? Yeah, and you may need to adjust that depending on what location you did. So everything in the instructions is based... In the on a UK location, right? So all the yardages and everything like that, the brackets, temperature brackets. Oh, so if you're in San Diego, you'll never go to minus. No, your, your first one might start at eight or something like yeah. that, and then go so up. So you just to 40. shift, yeah, yeah, the other way. So you just have to. So you, at the beginning of the year, before you start it, do you do? No, you have to decide on the colour before. It depends on how you make it, I suppose, doesn't it? You start making it, you have to decide on your colours for the different brackets at the beginning of the year or the beginning of when you start Yeah, well. and you can adjust it a little bit. So I would say the first decision is one, um, what location do you want to track? Yeah. Two, the year. So you can actually, I've looked online, you can go back to about 2009. Mm -hmm. So you can go retroactively and record all the temperatures for a particular year, or you can record all the temperatures going forward for 2024. Well, I suppose it depends what you want, <clears throat> because if you're going to do that, you won't finish this quilt till this time next year. Yes. But if you want to give a quilt maybe in June of this year, you can go from last June to this June. Yeah. You can look it up. You can yeah. look them up. Or you can just, like you say, do if it's somebody's birthday mm -hmm. or some birthday year, birth year. So yeah. mine would be a bit too long ago, 1960. But you could track something like that, couldn't you? Yeah. Or maybe somebody in your family got married between <coughs> now and sort of 2009. Maybe you want to do the year they got married or something. Mm. So you can go back a little bit. Uh, but so you... Decide your location, yep. decide which year, you're doing it for next year or a past one. And then you can sort of decide what colours you want in your temperature bracket. So right. figure out what your temperature range is, the high and the low. And it's all written in the instructions, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you don't have to worry too much about what I'm saying now. Yeah. Um, the temperature brackets that I've made go up in three degrees. Right. Oh, they were so, good then, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so zero to two, for instance, so you've got zero, one and two. Right. And then it goes three, four, five. Yeah. So those are all the brackets. But you can make your, if you wanted to, you could make yeah, use yeah, yours yeah, as, a, yeah. as a starter, but you make your own. Exactly. Really. So I don't know if cat or you've got a picture of the label that I made for the back of this quilt. But oh, it, we've got a picture of the back of it. Here you go. Look, I've got all of the. So those are all the. Okay. fabrics that I use. So we've got that picture there, but we've also got a recording going down. Here you go. So look, temperature yeah. wilt for London, England, day high, high temperatures during 2020, made by you, temperature brackets in degrees Celsius. Does it move? Do you say that one, Bruce? Oh, there you go. There you go. And then you see that's the highest temperature. So oh, look, and you put, you put the numbers on it. Yes, I put the numbers on it. So you've got like a little legend on the back to interpret what the front of the quilt means. So now I've got a quick question before we go on to the next bit. We'll yep. carry on showing you the different colours there. Yeah, there we go. Um, so now you have to decide, because it said on there, whether mm -hmm. it's the highest temperature on the day yep. or the lowest temperature of that day. Yeah, or the median or the average. Oh, okay. so, so, yeah. yeah, but whatever you pick... Stick with that one. I, I went with the highs because I wanted a more warmer colours. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. otherwise you end up with a lot of cooler. So it depends what you want. Mm. You, you kind of have to think a little bit ahead and sort of guesswork of what it's going to be and looking at your colours, your fabrics, which you're going to see the most of, essentially. But, yeah, so either record the high temperature or the daily lows 
or the average in between or yeah, the median yeah. in yeah. between. Now, it's funny, isn't it? Because you've, you've said you've chosen colours for that's for London. Yeah. If you chose Oslo, yeah. for example, your winter mm -hmm. are going to be minus 17, minus 20, minus whatever, but your summers are going to be high because that gets really, really, really hot warm. there in the summer. So you're going to have a, you might have to have more fabrics for Ranges, that. Ranges, yeah. And like to almost have a rainbow of colours yeah, because yeah, yeah. you've got, really got to start, the, the, it never gets to minus 27 and plus 40. You know what I mean? It's yeah. very rare that would yeah. happen. But in Norway, that's a, that's a, a bigger range. year, isn't it? Yeah. So you'd have a much different looking quilt there, wouldn't you, again? Yeah. So essentially, the, the kits that we've got to go with the, the instructions are, I would call like a starter kit. Right. So it will cover you for most things in the and UK, then... but you may need to add a little bit of the top, a little bit of the bottom, yeah, or course. you may run into a year where actually it didn't change that much and you get one temperature range that is represented quite a lot. Yeah. So you may need to be... A, add have to a, it, yeah. Yeah, add to it, add a little bit. Okay, with that in question, I'm not going to do the bundles first of all. I'm going to do the, the pattern on its own first because it's hugely, hugely popular. Now, the bundles do... Have you switched me off, Anne? Oh, okay. The bundles do come with instructions, right? So here are the instructions. If you don't, you might want to do your own colorways, right? We've got a solid colorway and a mixed designer but, but colorway there. This is the pattern on its own, 9 .99. So everything, oh, hang on, let me do the message first. What a fab idea. You can get historical data and do a blanket for someone's year of birth. Donna, that's what we were just saying. So what Emma was going to do in the break was look up my birthday. <laughs> but the website she looked on didn't go that far back. But there will be, there will be records yeah, on a cave, Hannah's saying, on a cave, it'll be written <laughs> somewhere. So everything in the, everything that uh, Emma's just talked about is all in here and everything like that. But yeah, yeah, or if you, yeah, if you've grown up in South Africa, you could do your home country. Now, what happens if you moved halfway through the year? Oh. So if you started in South Africa and then moved to London, mm -hmm. would you then keep it all London or would you keep it with your, your movements? Is it entirely there, entirely your choice? Yeah. So this quilt, and, and I love it when it, people do it anyway with all of my patterns, is absolutely make it your own. Actually, so you could. yes. Because, sorry to interrupt, I'm getting all excited about now. But okay, so Hannah would start this on January the 1st in Birmingham. Yeah. Cold, cold, cold. Then she's flying to the Philippines for three oh, weeks. Oh, she so could add the holiday in. Add the holiday, so yes. add the holiday in. So last year I was here, obviously. Mm -hmm. Then I went to Spain in June. I went to Kefalonia in August. And I went to Sicily in September. So you could incorporate. The absolutely. holidays yeah. and things that, or things that have happened, you know, where you've been somewhere else or something. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you, what you could do for that is just record the daily temperature wherever you are. Yes, yeah. Just do it on the app on your phone, look up your location and just do it that way. See, I think that's a brilliant idea. Yeah. Hannah, that means Hannah's will be really interested because then she'd get back here in February when it's going to be bitterly cold. Yeah, I'm really... Yeah, so then in summer she'd do a really cold holiday to make up for that. Anyway, so these are the instructions, £9.99. Just the instructions on their own, £9.99. So if you've, you, you're thinking, I've got so much fabric in my stash, because I'm imagining the, the biggest amount of fabric you'll need will be the border and the sashing in between, is it? Yes, and the binding. That's and the, the binding, so yeah. you have to choose what your colour... Also, lots of people go with a cream background. Yeah. Right? I would automatically go with a navy background, but mm -hmm. then it depends what colours you pick. Yep. to go inside, wouldn't it? Yep. The morning, I used a website called Extreme Weather Watch. You can just type in the location and the year. Love the show. Happy Christmas from Diane. Perfect. No, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Oh, now Sue's done a temperature quilt before. I started Ooh. my temperature quilt in January, decided I didn't like my design, but carried on noting the daily temperature in Padstow. So glad I did, as I love your design from Sue. Oh, and yay. So you've already got all your data written, and yeah, now you just have to make it. Yeah, Beautiful, perfect. so that's your pattern, 9 99 Check out, check out, check out. Lots of you coming in for that one. Yeah, and also, I mean, I know we've done it in sort of a rainbow colour, but there's nothing to say you have to have cool colours, warm colours for the temperatures. You can make it in any oh, fabric do, do you want. monochrome. Yes. So you could do or black grays. for the coldest, coldest, yeah. white for the hottest, hottest, and every shade of grey going through. In yeah. Well, that'd be fascinating, yeah. wouldn't it? Or even just, just fabrics that you love. So you could do a range of cafe. Or, or Liberty, yeah, or yeah. William Morris. As long Morris. as you keep the same fabric for, for that the same temperature effect. bracket. Yeah. Sorry, Han, what did you say? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, like she was saying, very good for, if you're doing it with grandchildren or yes, kids or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you could do, if, if you're, you don't want to record the temperatures, have uh, a child, grandchild record all the temperatures. And it also, I think it is a good way to incorporate them, to involve them in the making of the quilt. And also for them to be aware of how the temperature changes throughout the year. Yeah, yeah, of course. And the highs and the lows and... Yeah. And it's funny how you've suddenly got some blues in the middle of yeah. your brights, isn't it? So you're yeah. thinking, well, that's really hot those months. But actually, it's got there's blues. Yeah. <clears throat> and did yeah. you take the... Did you look at... Uh, you didn't take the temperature. I was going to say, because if you're taking oh. the temperature from your garden, if you've oh, got a you thermometer, that, yeah. it's going to be different, different times of day. So when do you it do it? Is. Morning, afternoon, yeah. and evening and things so, like that. Um, again, it's totally up to you, but if you're doing it off a, off a temperature like that, off your, off a, Momentum. hold on, Momentum. that's a word, yeah. thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, do it the same time of day if you can, so maybe incorporate into your routine, so when you have your breakfast in the morning, think, oh, I'll go, yeah. but do bear, bear in mind that that will probably be a lower temperature for the day. Yeah, but you know what, going, making it even more complicated now, yeah. you take the temperature at eight o'clock, midday, and four o'clock, and then each of your bars is made of three different Ooh, colours. Yeah. So it goes blue, red, orange or something like that. So each of your bars is then split up into three different... It gets yeah. more complicated. It does get no, more but, complicated, but I yeah. I just think, in fact, you could do whatever you want. You can. And I love the idea you said earlier, because that's now a diary, yes. isn't it? Because that's January the 1st to December the 31st. Yes. If you've been to a wedding... Yep. Or if you've been, got... When's Kaylee's birthday? 24th of April. So it'd be one, two, three, four, and it but, would be... Oh, so she had... A hot day on her birthday. Yeah, it would have been a warm day. But you could embroider or do yeah. anything you wanted. Want. Or Add a little bead, yeah. sequins or something, whatever you want to put to mark. Or, yeah, a little a button yeah, of, yeah. of so something, something, whatever their favourite thing is. So, yeah. yeah, decorate it with. Yeah. Or something of hers. Yes. Like, oh, you know, yeah. kind of, you could take a button little from keepsake. one of her childhood dresses or something and put it on. And, yes. You know, or, or if somebody's out there at a wedding, snip a bit of their wedding dress yes, off and or, put a bit yeah. of their wedding... <laughs> Yeah. Don't ask them first, you know what I mean? But yeah. do you know what I mean? You could then make it into whatever yeah, you want and that's to what I love. Yeah. Completely customisable. You can embroider the, the um, months on the top if you wanted to. Yeah. You can even add the, day, the oh. dates if you really wanted to be... Yeah. But also, Completely. Anna's saying, uh, a lot of people have it, trouble going, oh, I can't design, I can't design, I can't oh. design. Quilt. Whereas the weather's designing this for you, so yeah. you can design your own quilt completely, yeah. but it's dependent on the weather. So mm -hmm. you're going to put together... So, also, we could sell a thousand of these today, right? And we'd end up Go with to... a thousand different quilts, yep. wouldn't we? Do you know what I mean? Because everybody would put it different colors. And also, you're all in different parts. It could be like someone was saying, it was, it's 12 degrees here, but where was it minus two today? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It could be different. Yeah. Even with the same kits. Yes. The quilt oh, yes, would be completely yes, different. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Right. So we show you a kit then. It is fantastic. It's like, it looks, go back, Bruce, just go back to that shop with Emma down there. I mean, it looks <laughs> like a cathedral. Oh, it looks like you're standing at like the north window of a cathedral. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah, like a modern one in Coventry. Yeah. Yeah. You are looking very dainty and beautiful. Oh, so thank you. you <laughs> right. I know I'm going on about it, but I think you've done so well. Oh. Right. So that was the pattern on its own. Message on the bottom. What an exciting idea. Brilliant. Happy Christmas to everyone. Uh, and a fab 2024 from Maggie in Bristol. See, hers would be different again because the yeah, weather in Bristol, Bristol. If you buy the water, it's always cold there, isn't it? So, bundle-wise. Now, these are bundles that uh, 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 Emma's put together for you. Um, but it's um, dependent on you. You might have to add to it. Just use it as a basis. And then you can add fabrics. But decide at the beginning which fabrics can you... Yes, done for the UK. This is sort of done for the UK with the inclement weather here. So in this one, you've got white as your background on, mm -hmm. it, yep, on both of them. Like, oh, What's on? like this one. Yeah. Oh, that, is that this? Is that this? Bundle? It is. So that's what a representation of what those fabrics could look like together. Obviously, that's very extreme months yeah. <laughs> from very cold to very warm. Yes. To warm so again. this is just using those fabrics from yeah. that bundle. So look, essentially, this is, if you wanted to make a label for the back, if you use this bundle, this is what the label could look like. Yes, yeah. But the thing is, again, you can, if you get halfway through and think, oh, I don't want to do temperatures anymore, you could just carry it on, putting any colours you want, random colours you want onto yeah. it if you want to, but and you do get full instructions, obviously. Yeah. Right, also, okay. when I was putting that one together, because obviously that's just a small sample of yeah, what yeah. the quilt could look like, it did occur to me, like, there's nothing to stop you from doing something like that with just two months... So maybe your birth month and your partner's birth month or maybe the months you got married or your ch grandchildren, if you have grandchildren yeah, yeah, yeah. or children, 
do their burst months and do a table runner or a bed runner, something smaller. Oh, on the wall, it looked gorgeous on the yeah, wall. Yeah, South yeah. Legend, that lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't it? Right, so, so the first bundle is this, right? One hundred nine ninety nine. And there's enough to do that big quilt, though. Isn't yes, it? Yeah. yeah, that's what it's bundled for. Because of temperature, you might have to add. To, yeah, we're not saying that this is your basic. You will have to add to it. This is to big, but if you're, the temperatures where you are are different or whatever, then you might have to add to it or take away from it. You might not use some of those colours. Yeah. You might never get to that temperature. Right. So you get two and a half meters of your white. Then you've got your bumbleberry yellow there a meter. You got your bumbleberry green. So designer fabric. Look, uh, Wiltshire yeah. shadow. That doesn't sound right. Wiltshire shadow. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, wheelchair bear, yeah, yeah. Meter of that. Then you've got your, oh, um, splodge. Yeah, there's a, a lot meter. of fancy fabrics in that one. Liberty, a meter. Splodge, these are half meters now. Oh, are they? Oh, okay, so that's a half a meter there. Yeah, that's right. Right. I think that's that's not a half meter, that's a, that's a fat quarter there. So that's a Liberty, uh, that's Liberty. Liberty fat quarter. Yeah. So that's that one there. Then you've got your Wiltshire Shadow there, Fat Quarter. You've got your Splodge Red, Splodge Blue, Fat Quarter. Beautiful blue Liberty and a blue Liberty there. £109.99. Uh, so there's nine metres of fabric and six Fat Quarters in there. Plus your instructions. Uh, I record the KW kilowatts on my solar panels on a daily basis oh. and could use that as a mean sunshine level. Yes. Oh, Adrienne, you could. Perfect. Yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, you could use it for anything. Yeah. Do you know what? Do they do mood quilt? This is just me oh. now. Oh. Mood, right? So some mornings I wake up like, and they, this isn't me looking for simple anything like, yeah. but yesterday morning I woke up and I was so sad. And I have no idea why, whether I dreamt about something or was tired. Or, but, but I just remember waking up thinking, oh, I, 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 gone. But as soon as I started chatting with everyone, it gone. But we all do it. And we all come, yep. we all, we all wait. Some mornings I wake up and think, oh, I can't wait to get on with today. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like you could do your mood every morning. Yeah. Any data, Hannah's saying, any data you could do. Yeah. But yeah. But to make it personal to yourself, then you could watch your journey. Actually, it'd be interesting to see, wouldn't it? If you then suddenly got a... The, if, if dark blue was like real, feeling sad, be interesting if it went like that across the quilt, oh. wouldn't it? Because you could wake up on the first feeling sad, fourth feeling sad, but, or happy or whatever. Say that again. Oh, yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. No. But, well, yeah. Hannah saying ladies may have a oh. pattern. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, I'm thinking, well, no, we could predict your, <laughs> we could predict your pattern. Um, but anyway, you're not a, but, but, but anything you want, really. Yeah, yeah, you could do yeah. anything you really want like that, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that's your Liberty and your Lewis and Irene bundle there. Beautiful, 109.99. Now, this is your solids, which yep. is like yours. Oh, no, you've got patterns in yours, there, haven't you? This yeah, is mine's your a solids slight, bundle. A slight pattern. Which is like the one on the wall behind me. No, that was that one. That was that yep. one, yeah. This is really popular. Is this what you're going to demo in now? It is, yeah. I've got them all laid out here. I think in the order. Although you can make whatever order you want, but like, this is the order. In the order. order that you would do, yeah. Yeah, or that they sent to me in. So uh, I'm assuming this is how Kerry wanted it. Bottom. Good morning, oh. both. What a brilliant idea, Emma. I'm so looking forward to doing this. Merry oh, Christmas yeah. to you both and all the team from Paula in Caffili. Oh. Uh, Jochen Vauer, Nadolly Cloud. Right, so two and a half metres of your white. Then you get a metre of your, um, I'm guessing duck egg, <laughs> metre of your jade, metre of your buttercup, a metre of your soft blue there, metre of your bright yellow. Then you go to half a metre of your orange and then you go to your fat quarters of your oranges, your dark reds, your bright blue. Oh, I see. So they're your extremes yeah. that you can use less of. So you're reckoning that the main majority of the quilt will be those colours in there. Yeah. But it's up to you. It, oh, 69 99 that's good. And you get the instructions. So you get these. So straight away, this, this is all this fabric for 60 pounds. That's brilliant. Mood, mood quilt. Hey, hi, John Nemo, what a fabulous idea. Or you could do it. Depending. Oh, yeah, who's that? You, oh, that's, that's uh, Santangle Sandra. She'll be oh. there after tomorrow. That's Santangle Sandra. Oh, she'd be in a blue one every day, uh, wouldn't she? Wake up in a blue mood. Oh. And then by lunchtime, she'd be all happy and everything. Anyway, 69.99. She'll be cheered up. When she gets here, she'll be cheered up, wouldn't she? Uh, morning, John and Emma. Missed Emma's earlier show. We'll have to watch it later. Love, the, love this quilt. Yeah, Catherine, the quilt from the other hour uh, sold out. Um, anyway, 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 that's your solid colours that you're going to see Emma demo in now. 
Um, there's just so many ideas, isn't there? Yes. What's hand? What? What's the finished size of the quilt? Should be on the front. The pack. 77 by 85 and a half inches. And it's beginner. Beginner friendly, this one. Um, so it's big. It's huge, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, 77 by 85 and a half inches. Well, you can see it there, look. It's brilliant. That looks so impressive hanging up like that, doesn't it? Right, would you like to do? We've waffled off half an hour. <laughs> We've <laughs> used up half an hour already. But uh, there's a lot we can talk about on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to do us a start. Start off. Okay, I'll ask you off. Oh, before I do, before I do, before I do, before oh, we yeah. start off, I've oh. just got to tell you about this, right? This, I've never seen this before. Yeah. Ooh. Well, no, 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 but I get it now. I'd buy it now because it came in, it sold out, right? We've got it back in again, but already... It's popular on pre-order. It's 108 inches wide. It's called Tumbling Blocks Multi Extra Wide Backing Fabric. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? On that would night? be gorgeous. I mean, not just on this quilt. I'm thinking all sorts of uh, children's clothes would be lovely. But anything like that. Hannah loves tumbling blocks. What are you saying, Ham? Binding on a quilt would be lovely, Ooh, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, be yeah. beautiful binding on a quilt. Or a border or something like that. But I just think it's a, this is, this wouldn't put you in a bad mood. No. If you woke up with this on your bed every morning, you'd be in a happy mood every day, all day, I think. Okay, I'm not allowed to guarantee that. <laughs> I would be then. Let me say I would be. Well, let's put the light on first. Then I'd be happy. Uh, th I've got one of those lights, which I can't remember. What, I think I must put it in the garage. It it's, uh, oh. wakes you up with the sunrise. Oh. Sort of but in the summer, it comes on after the sunrise. So I put it away and I can't remember where I've put it now. Anyway, 13, 95 half metre. It's gorgeous. 13, 99. And I think I'll have a light bulb, moment, light, light bulb a moment and remember where it is. I think it's in the garage. Anyway, 13, 99. Gorgeous. I just had to show you that because it was really, really, really popular on pre-order. Right. Sorry, Emma. Right. Now okay. we can start. So, first, we talked about location. Yep. Location, location, location. So, in the instructions, there is a sheet where you can mark down um, what your location is. Okay. Um, and then also, you can sort of get an idea if you Google, well, if you Google, if you search it, maybe for a previous year, what the minimum low temperature and maximum high oh, temperature yes. is at your location, yeah. just so you've got an idea of the range. And then for each bracket, I've kind of done it on this sheet without using this one, is I've actually put a swatch of each fabric. <coughs> so this is the quilt into behind the, you that you made for 2020. Yeah. 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 So take a little swatch of each fabric and so sellotape it down next to each temperature bracket so that you've always got a frame of reference yeah. to see which temperature goes with which fabric. And then if you are purchasing your own fabric or even off these, just mark down the name and where you bought that fabric just so in case if you do need to go back and get yeah, more, you know exactly what Which it is. Which is why our solids would be good because we stock our solids yeah. all the time. We don't stock the all of those liberties and bumblebees all the time. No. Good. But still write, write it down. Write, write it down. down. Or even easier because I know your fabrics come with a little... Um, skew, skew sticker. Yep, yep. Just take the sticker and put oh, it. Oh yeah, good. You idea. can always you can always go back on the website and search it then. And then once you've done that, so I used a little diary. Actually, perfect time of year. Yeah, yeah, to get yeah. A diary. Yeah. So this is my 2020 diary where I literally just wrote down all the temperatures. Did you only use it for this quilt then? It's not got any. Go to parties. Go here. Go to Holland. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 It's 2020. Like, oh, we were all like, oh, no, we didn't go anywhere, did we, in no. 2020? Of course. <laughs> no. And even then, everything like that has to go in my phone. If it's not in my phone, then it doesn't happen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. If it's in my phone, then I know to do it, but, yeah. yeah. No, my, I, I rely on sheets of paper on my desk oh, okay. at home. And if I haven't got those sheets of paper, I'm lost then. You're lost. Right, so you've got your diary, you've written everything down. Written everything down. So I've got, I've written down the temperatures for June for last year. Right. For Stratford. Oh, okay. So I thought we could go through and do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got all of my strips cut. Let's see. <coughs> I've got the high and the low temperature for each one. Which, right. which one should we? High. Okay. Then that's up to you. Well, there was one day, I tell you, it was a low of eight and a high of 22. In Stratford last yeah. year? Yeah. Crikey. I know. It's crazy. So I've got all my strips. 
and you just cut them into rectangles. Yeah. Which is, and the sewing part is actually, honestly, yeah, it's quite easy because it's just sewing rectangles together. You don't have to match up any, no. any um, corners or anything like that. There we go. Might be able to get through that. But it's a really nice way, if you are busy during the day or just in general, of just incorporating. If you want to do it daily, you just pre-cut your, your rectangles, have a little stash yeah. and have them all marked which, what the temperature bracket is and then just one seam every day. One seam every day. Um, Hannah was saying, could I hand stitch this? Oh yes, absolutely. Because if you're just doing one a day, mm -hmm. it's only like, how wide is that thing? About five inches wide. It's only mm -hmm. five inches yeah. hand stitching, isn't it? Yeah. Um, there isn't any instructions in there of how to hand stitch. So if, you, if you've already got oh, a technique okay. down yeah. of hand stitching, and yeah, it can absolutely be incorporated into that. If I was doing it um, as the American hand pieced way, yes. I'll just be marking my quarter of an inch seam allowance off mm -hmm. because these include it. Put those aside. So you just cut the, exactly the same size strips out yep. of all of your fabrics? Because the rectangles are all exactly the same size. Yeah. Hi, John and Emma. Love this quilt idea. Something you can just do a bit of every day of yeah. the year. Love your hair, Emma. Really oh, suits you. Have a very you. Merry Christmas to you, Mikey, and family from Laurie. Oh, hi, Laurie. Thank you. Happy Christmas to you. Um, I'm just thinking. Yeah, I have to admit, the amount of people, this is my natural hair colour now. No, I said to you, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Like, Grimey, what colour have you colour? But it's natural. Yeah, it's, yeah, this is me now. But the amount of people that have said, you know, have you had your hair colour? Yeah. yeah. But you've got all these tones in it. You'd yeah. an absolute fortune for if you went to a London hairdresser. That costs you a little fortune to get all the grading Is of it, colour, yeah. wouldn't you? So, but has it suddenly gone grey? This is not me being <laughs> offensive. No, no, no. Because if somebody said to me at home yesterday, yeah. oh, which is Emma Bradford? I said, oh, the little blonde one. <laughs> Do you know what yeah. I mean? I wouldn't have said the little grey one. Grey one. Has it gradually been going? Or? It has. So I, I got my first grey hair when I was about 15. Oh, OK. Well, I haven't known you that long. No. <laughs> but I have been colouring it. I've been battling it probably, right. yeah, for the last 10 years. I did go for a period where I'd grown it out. Yeah. But it was still quite salt and pepper. So, yeah, I've been colouring it until I, I finally looked at it. I'm like, oh, it's actually quite white in the front now. Yeah. So I can just let it grow. But it's so, it's so, it's weird, isn't it? We all fight the going grey, going grey, but actually it suits you. Yeah. And like I say, there's girls that would pay a fortune to have their hair dyed in that colourway yeah. and with all those lovely tones in it and everything, aren't there? So yeah. I think we should let Mother Nature have her yeah, have credit, her say. you know, for saying this. You know? Yeah, 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 definitely. Well, I knew it was coming because my grandmother was pure white, I think like in her 50s. Oh, was she? Yeah. See, my dad had jet black hair until right near, right oh, wow. near the end, yeah. I've obviously taken after my mum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mikey's just jealous of your hair. Oh, <laughs> how is he? He's good. Are you making good. him do the Zoe thing as well? Um, light, yeah. He, no, I have actually, he has very much changed his, his eating habits, so... Um, we didn't used to have desserts, so or if we did, it would be biscuits or something very yeah. bad. Now I've got him on fruit salad and yogurt and a little bit of honey. Oh, and he okay. looks forward to it. He's like, oh, oh, I really like this. If he doesn't have his fruit salad, because I've been away a lot for work this, uh -huh. this month. And um, if he doesn't have it, So why is this month, uh, as in proper job, not this? Yeah, pro a why proper job. Why is December such a busy month for flowers then? It just, it's... it's it just worked out that way. And it's not usually December. It's just the way things have worked out. Oh, OK. Out. So it's just not you have to be somewhere. But then when we first met, you used to do an awful lot more travelling, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Uh, especially to Europe. But yeah. I've been more travelling in England, I would say, the last couple of months. Actually, since the begin middle of September. No, no, since really the last time I saw you, you yeah, said yeah, you yeah. were busy. Too. Really busy. Right, now I'm going to put mine in order. Sorry, we're taking a little bit. Well, we've got a little bit of time. Oh, no, so, no, don't worry, it doesn't matter if we go over because we were late starting, so don't worry. Yeah. So I'm just going to put them sort of in order of... Although this is the opposite, isn't it? I 
I may need to cut a bit more, we'll see. Well, it depends. Um, was it hot in summer? Was it hot so we've got a lot of 19s, 22, 18, 17, 22. Oh, but then they could still go over the border because some could be in the... Yeah, yeah. 17, 18, 19, or and, 20, and 20, different 20. brackets. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's that. So the first was a high of 19, which would be um, 18 to 20. So that's about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this color. Right. If we're saying that one. Um, same for the second one. 22 is a different color, so that is one, two, three, four. This one, this one there. So we're doing June again, in Chapter One Avon last year. And then 18 would have some more. Did you not cut oaken. enough? No. <laughs> oh, and I'm not plugged in. What oh, have you been doing? Cat. We, no, 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 it's me. Oh. We've got too busy talking. Got too excited about all the different ways that you can make the pattern. Yeah, I love the way Cat came running to your rescue. <laughs> we got it, we got it. There. Oh, there she is. <laughs> so it does, it does help. Actually, if you do do one every day, it does help. Yeah. So what I would do, and I did at home, is I would l have a little scrap of paper, write the name of the month at the top. Yeah. So now that's my starting point. So oh, right, of course, yeah. Day one, two. Okay, while you're stitching that, what was that, yeah. Hannah, you said about tumbly blocks? Yeah, yeah, go on. Uh, hi, John Nemo. Love the tumbling blocks as a backing, but how much would I need to use in this quilt? Oh. Great show from Claudia. Right, so it's 108 inches wide, and the quilt is 70. 77 by 85. So 85 would be fine that yeah. way. What's 77 in centimetres? Times two and a half, so 177, 150. Oh, let Hannah. <laughs> yeah, let Hannah. No, no, we need to, 77 inches in centimetres, we need to know. Please. Hundred and ninety-five. Oh, so you probably need to be safe two and a half, yeah. if by a half metre. Yeah. You will have some extra left yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. But, but to you be do... safe, you need two and a half metres. So yeah. five units, five units you'll need for the back of it. It's worth it though, so worth it. The only other thing I'd say about this one, especially if you're doing it over the course of the year, is do make sure you use the same machine. Oh, yes, yeah. a quarter inch. Quarter inch. It doesn't matter if it's accurate or not. Um, it just needs to be consistent. Yes. Yeah, so whatever your machine says is quarter inch. It doesn't matter if it's not quarter inch, but they all need to be the same. You need to be the same, yeah. my first four days um, and then what I also did if you're going to record them so if you record all of your days um, and then do them all at the end of the month for instance or the yeah, end of the yeah, week yeah. or whatever um, I just would put a check mark next to the ones that I've done so when I go back I know where I left off yeah, basically yeah, yeah. inside my book just a little bit of method yeah so I'm going to need some more of these. Oh no, some more of these. Yellow you need. Probably, well. Yep. So then it goes down to 17 as well, which is the next one down. So I'll have one of those. I need some more of this. And then it goes back up to 22. So you'll get a little bit of variation. Right. What you can also do, and it's not in these instructions, but if you can work it out, you could do the high and the low. So one side, cut them in half, Yeah. have a, the low and the high temperature side by side for that particular day. But then your rectangles would end up being a bit smaller, would you have to remember to cut a seam allowance on Yeah, them? you'd have to work it out. It's yeah. not, like I said, it's not in the instructions. Oh yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah.
we've got one of these, five, and then six. And then I think it goes up to 22, which will be, yeah, the orange one again. Mm -hmm. Oh, this under here. So what I did for this quilt is I actually cut a strip with the fabric of each of my fabrics and then cut those down into rectangles so you've got a few yeah. to work from. Uh, and then just as I needed more, just cut another width of fabric okay. off. So don't cut all the fabric up all into at once. rectangles no, because no, no. you might end up with lots and lots of dark red yeah, rectangles. You, yeah, and best to keep your fabric if you're not going to use it in a, in a nice usable piece. Yes, exactly. but yeah, so I just cut them one strip at a time. So also could incorporate, so if your New Year's resolution is a little bit of me care, mm. you know, you can set aside 15, 20 minutes a day. Yeah. One, record your temperature. Two, sew your patch on. Definitely. A little bit of, don't talk to me, I'm just gonna have a cup of tea yeah. and a bit of sewing. Yep. Or a glass of wine, a bit of sewing. <laughs> well, not first thing in the morning. <laughs> well, there are days. <laughs> well, I used to have I'm a kidding. flatmate in London and she was aristocratic from an aristocratic family. Okay. Mary. And every morning she'd wake up and she'd have a gin and water for her breakfast. And I was like, I was new in London. It was like, oh, oh. What is that? <laughs> it's what life's like, <laughs> gin and water. I shouldn't tell you, but my, oh. one of the things that my, I learned from my dad is uh, if you drink out of a coffee mug, nobody knows what it is. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't smell like coffee. Yeah. But then my, my old nan, we used to have to do her shopping every Saturday. And mm -hmm. every Saturday, on the list would be a bottle of whiskey. And we'd go, why did you get through Saturday? Oh, don't drink whiskey. Don't drink whiskey. <laughs> but she'd have it in a tea. Oh. For health reasons, medical reasons. Yeah. She'd have a tot of whiskey in a tea. Reasons. So medical reasons she was getting through a bottle of whiskey a week. Week. <laughs> in her tea. Oh. Yeah, I have to admit... Um, I have been drinking this week only because it's Christmas, but I tell you what I have discovered. Yeah. Kombucha. Who? Kombucha. Does what is that? It's, Anna knows what she's Yeah, doing. it's really nice. What is it? It's, a, it's, it's fermented. It's good for you. Okay. It has like live cooked. It's good for your gut. Okay. But it tastes she pointed like... at her bottom. It's good for your gut. <laughs> oh, my, my gut, my gut. <laughs> um, it's essentially, it's like a very refreshing pop. Like, it's not sweet and sickly like regular pop. Right. It's a fizzy drink, which is lightly flavoured with whatever you want. Right. Yeah, it's really good. What's it called? Kombucha. Do they sell it in um, Waitrose? Yes, they do. I'm going past Waitrose. I'm going yeah, to Waitrose. Yeah, yeah. They do a nice one there. Um, elderflower and lime, I think the one I've gotten from there is. Oh, Equinox. okay. Because yeah, I nice. drink dash water now, which yeah. is like fizzy water that is um, flavoured with... Ugly, not ugly fruits, but fruits that wouldn't be able to make it to oh, the shop, you know, misshapen fruits. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like and it hasn't got any calories in it or anything oh. like that. So it's literally water with a either cash. like lemon, raspberry, yeah. mango, peach, blackberry, blackcurrant, yeah. lime. Lime's delicious. And they did a grapefruit one for a while, which was the oh, best. They just stopped doing Oh, I love grapefruit. That's our stuff. Kombucha. Hang on, will you yeah. write that down for me? Because I won't remember. Yeah, it it's good. And then also I found a place that actually sells it in like wine bottles. So you could have it as an alternative. They do a, like a blush rhubarb flavour. Oh, like, the, so, like, like uh, when I used to go to the party, I used to take slur and things like yeah. that instead of alcohol. Yeah, it's things, fizzy yeah. and yeah, it's oh, nice. Wow. Okay. I like the white one better than the pink. The pink's a little bit sweet for me. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's really Ooh, nice. So you can I'll buy some look like you're drinking. That'll be my but, Christmas treat. Yeah. Rather oh. than Haley's <laughs> cheapest... At non alcohol So she gave me oh. my Christmas present. She went, this is your Christmas present. It's the cheapest non-alcoholic wine I can find. <laughs> so, oh, thank Lovely. Ben thank got you. one as well. <laughs> right, oh, yeah, no, I definitely recommend kombucha. I can't remember the name. I have to send you the one. Oh, I think it's LA Brewery, where I got the wine bottles from. Right. But they also do one, like in bottles, that is a ginger flavour. So it has oh. a little bit of a kick. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to look for that then. Yeah, yeah. So what date are we on yet? Yeah. No, no, 
One, so two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So the, we got the first week done. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> you got to wait for so yeah. the iron was none, sewing machine was none. I know, completely <laughs> unprepared. We were too busy waffling about. Yeah, no, no, it wasn't waffling. It's fantastic because yeah. it's fascinating it is. because it's one of those things once you start talking about it, you go, oh, but you could do this, yeah. oh, but you could do that. And Hannah was getting all excited until the chocolate lollipops arrived. Hannah was getting all excited. <laughs> now she's just quiet. Now she's quiet. Well, not so quiet, just munching. <laughs> Did you have a chocolate lollipop and a mince pie? Yeah. So I'm just going to put these aside because I'm going to leave it like that. So we're going to pretend that we've done the rest of oh, our... Oh, yeah, month. yeah, yeah, that's fine. Actually, the rest of our bits, and we want to put them together. Yeah. So. For the sashing and the borders, I'm trying to see how I've done it. Get enough room. Yes, let me move this out of the way so I don't cut into anything I shouldn't be cutting yeah. into. I'm just going to cut one strip off. Now, do you cut them, excuse me, the length of fabric or the width of fabric and join them? I've done the width for all of them, but uh, if you want to do them the length, you absolutely can. It's just that that's quite a lot. Very long bit to yeah. cut, isn't it? And I mean, I'm struggling. Can't, I had to ask because I couldn't see the seams. Yeah, you have to look. I actually done the seams um, at an angle like you would for the bias binding. Oh, okay. At least for these ones, because there's quite a few in the middle. For the border, I've just done straight, just yeah. to make sure I had enough fabric. Yeah. It's, it's all in the instructions. Have you finished your quilted jacket yet? No, I don't think you know the patchwork. Yeah. You, the, the original one? Yeah, no. yeah. I have made one. But not that, not the original. Not that one. No, I actually ended up cutting up a, a, a quilt that I had that we never used. And um, I think I've lost it to Michael now because it actually fits Michael. What, I'm the really, coat? Yeah. Yeah. You're making... I'm not being rude about Michael, but he's a lot bigger than you. <laughs> I mean, as in all over, not yeah. butter, but... No, I made it quite big. I mean, it, it goes over me, like, I'll wear it because I'm very cheap and I won't put the heat on during the week. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. And, uh, or during the day. And I wear it over all of my clothes in, you know, when, it's, when yeah. it, we had that cold spell, didn't we? And it is it's still weird, quite big. It? It, was winter, it was minus two, like, every yes. morning. Goes to work, and the next day it was suddenly 10 degrees. And you're like, what the I, I'd yeah. put all my stuff out on my, on my car to stop it freezing up. Yeah. It's gotten really warm. Also, I'm pleased to say that my, the bridge in the village next to me, which is the only way I can get out of my village, yeah. right, has been shut for months because they're rebuilding oh. it. Underneath. It's open, but only open for this week. It then shuts after Christmas week till May. Oh, so I have this my. really long detour to come to work every morning, going through all the villages and oh. everything like that. Anyway, That's I'll stop moaning. So the way that I like to, I mean, you can absolutely measure it because that is the proper way. But yeah. the way that I really like to do sashing and borders, this is the, the easy way. And also, it also prevents, you know, you get those wavy borders sometimes because mm -hmm. they stretch. Because if you cut it on the width of fabric, it has more, the fabric has more stretch than if you cut it through the length. Right. This is how I do it. And I've got it in the instructions as well. Yeah. But I literally just lay it down. Don't pull anything. Don't stretch anything. Just lay it down. Yeah. Make sure it's all lined up. And then copious pins. This is the one time I do pin severely. Okay, well, now this is an interesting message from Cherie. Ooh. Need to be careful with kombucha. I used to make it. It's fermented sweet tea and contains some alcohol. Oh, I haven't seen any alcohol. It'll be, it'll be like tiramisu, you know, like... Okay, I'll, I'll check, but thank you. I'll check. Yeah. Yeah. No, these are completely non-alcoholic. There we go. You can get some from um, Sainsbury's I bought that have... I actually got it from Mikey, although he didn't notice any effect. Uh, it has, like, CBD oil or something. Oh, no, it. I bought... It's yeah. really weird to say that, because uh, where I normally buy my water from, I'm yeah. driving home, which shows... I thought, oh, what's that one? That pink tin didn't have her glasses on. Bought it, got to the swipey machine, and it said, you need to have your age verified. And I was like, yes. I've only bought fizzy water. Yeah. And she came over and she looked at me and she went, uh, and then I said, why am I doing this shit? It's got CBD or a TB? It's supposed to be calming and everything. I didn't Calm it, yeah. Oh, one thing, we need to be careful, because the one I did get from Waitrose, it does say 
it does have quite a bit of caffeine in it. Oh. So I have to make sure if I'm going to drink it, no later than lunch. Oh. Uh, That's it. <laughs> We're all getting so old. <laughs> I know. Can't have coffee after lunch. <laughs> so I've pinned it, and then when I sew it on, and I do this whenever I'm doing long strips or sashing or borders, I always put the strip on top of my pieced bit. Right. Because if you do it the other way around, uh, the machine, because of the way it all moves, it can feed in the strip a little bit quicker than okay, the so other one. Okay, so even though you've got the seams on the, on the bottom, you yeah. still have the seams on the bottom. Yeah, I put the seams on, I always put the strip on the top. Um, what was your question, Han? Oh, message, I'm question. Oh. Morning, Emma and John, I arrived late, Hi. sorry. How do you account for the different days in the month? 31st, oh. 30th, etc. Have a great Christmas. Yes, it's in the instructions, but if you look, I won't touch it because it might fall down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the very bottom of the quilt, so that the... Oh, actually, we can lift yeah. it. If we do it very gently, we can okay. lift it up. Right, okay. So if we just lift that up like that... Yeah. Can you see that the bottom of the quilt, they're all uneven? So yeah. February is much shorter because this year's this year coming's a leap year, so that one will be a bit longer this year. Yeah, this was 29, so I had two days. But these are essentially rectangles that I've cut out of the border. Out of the blue to make them all the same length. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's let it go gently. Lovely. Christine loves the idea, loves the effect, Emma Bradford, she says. Oh, thank you. Something to consider during the new year. Well, you better get your kit quickly, or the pattern quickly, Christine. Yep. Well, I really love the idea of incorporating. Say, if you have children or grandchildren that live away from you, yeah, you have them record the temperatures of wherever they are, so at the end of the year, or have them send them to you, yeah, so you can do it every end of the week, end of the month. Yeah, yeah, totally. And then also, when, don't tell them what you're doing. Oh yeah, and keep then it you just secret. Present them with the quilt as a present. Yes, so you can just keep stum to say, I need you to record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'll just trim that off and then I'll press it. And that makes all your sashing, your borders a lot more even. Yeah. So it prevents that, that fullness, that waviness at the side. So we press that out and we'll trim it. You're all ready for Christmas then? It's really question, really. It's only after tomorrow. Yes. Um, I've just got to stop at Waitrose and get some custard. Oh, right. And uh, that's me done. Because <laughs> I, I do like the posh custard for yeah, Christmas. Yeah, you get the one with the vanilla pod in Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, do you, have, do you have custard with your Christmas pudding then? I do. So, I, Michael actually is the uh, Mum and Michael are the only ones that have Christmas pudding. Oh, I'm not that keen. Christmas pudding. Mum will make a sticky toffee pudding. <gasps> me and Kaylee. Oh. Yeah, she makes a really good one. So me and Kaylee will have that. I don't like Christmas cake either. I didn't until I actually made one myself. Oh, and then okay. I can make it how I like it. Mm. Yeah, you know, not a fan. I haven't made one this peel. year. I'd have to leave the mixed peel out of it. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't put any no. mixed peel in it. Just lots of fruit. No, no I didn't make one this year, actually, because <gasps> I'm being good. Being I, good, being lazy. That's it. I made mince pies yesterday, though. Oh, did you? I haven't yeah. seen them yet. It's like, they're only gluten free. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an hour. I've got to go home. It's fine. <laughs> I, um, I think you'd have to fight Belly, Michael's Belly, for. Michael's Belly? Yeah. I was thinking, who's Belly? Belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, saying that, though, I do have to say a shout out to Billy May. Hi, Billy. Who's Billy May? Billy May is my friend's daughter. So my best friend from school. Yeah. I've known we've known each other since we were like twelve. Yeah. Yeah. So that's who we, I was celebrating her birthday. Oh, okay. But Billy May's the daughter. Daughter, yeah. Right. Yeah. Just to say hello. Just no, say hello. Yeah, I just thought there was going to be some intrigue there. No, no, no. Just to say hello. Oh, that's and nice. embarrassing. Right. Um, about to run out of time. So you put your border on, and then you just add your next 
month to it when you've done your next yeah. month. So it's just a case of uh, adding, you can do either add your sashing to all the strips or you can, which is actually not a bad way of doing it. Well, when you finish the strip, put the sashing on straight away. Yeah, yeah. except for don't do it on every month. You've got to leave one month without sashing on. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, only yeah. in the middle. Yeah. And then put them together and then your borders. And then it's done. And it's done. Oh no, so, so on the, just let's talk about um, February then. So oh you, yes. So you only 29 or 28 days there, but yeah. you actually need to be 31 long, do you? Yeah, so I've, for the bottom bits, I've just cut rectangles to replace the days so the, from my border So they're border all 31 fabric. really, but yeah. so in February, like a normal February, of 28 colours, yeah. 29, 30 and 31 would just be the background colours. Yes, yeah. Right, yo, let's just do a round up before we say goodbye to Emma. Uh, I was, uh, solid bundle first. No, that's fine. Solid bundle here, 69.99. So you get the instructions. You get the instructions, you get two and a half metres of your background. Then you get a metre of all these lovely colours, which are your ones you're going to use a lot of. There, there, there. Then you get half a meter of the orange and then you get fat quarters of the extreme temperature colors there. 69 pounds and 99 pence for that bundle. Now you may need to add to it or take away from it depending on what the weather's like, but you should be all right. Okay, then I've got the designer bundle, which in this one you get your two and a half meters of your white represents the one, the one I'll, I'll show you the one from behind me in a minute. Uh, Bumbleberry, Bumbleberry, Wiltshire Shadow, Splodge, uh, Liberty, Splodge, Liberty, oh, these are fat quarters now, Liberty, Liberty, Splodge, Splodge, Liberty, Liberty. And that, from that, you can create this gorgeousness here. I mean, these two are obviously two strips the same, but that's what they'll look like made up. Beautiful. Uh, now backing. Oh, hang on. We just undid it. Tumbling block. I'll just give that to Emma because you need to. Oh, home thank too. you. Uh, the way, uh, right, okay, so I've got the tumbling block backing here, 108 inches wide, machine washable quilting weight. Beautiful. It's been in once, sold out. Now it's back in stock, but not for long the way it's been selling this morning. Beautiful. Uh, we've also got a multicolored swirl, which is this one. Again, 108 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. There you go. 12.99 for half a meter. Would you like me to, oh, pattern on its own. Didn't do pattern on its own today, sorry, my bad. <laughs> it's fine. Pattern on its own. <laughs> I don't know how that, going from pattern on its own to singing popular from Wicked. That's what Hannah's brain's like today. <laughs> Instructions on their own, nine pounds and 99 pence. Loads of those in baskets. Check out, check out, check out. Beautiful, nine, nine, ten. Now, is there anything you'd like to say to the ladies and gentlemen? Because it's your last show before Christmas. Oh, it is. I didn't get to send a message. So. Very happy Christmas and a happy new year. And I will see you next year. Have a lovely holiday time and I'll see you. And when are you in next then? Mid-January. Oh, I get I'm coming over for my Christmas I haven't slide. had a hug yet. No, it was all a bit hectic, wasn't it? it? Was. Oh, have a lovely time. Send our love Thank to you. all the family and everything. I will, I will. And uh, we'll see, Ooh. do you know your date for next year, do you say? I want to say 16th of January, but I need to it's, check it. It's, right. it's mid-January. All right, brilliant. <laughs> uh, don't go anywhere. I've got, now I've got sewing machines next, right? We've got deals on all of them and I'm taking money off the cover stitch machine as well, which I've never done before. I will see you back here in about four minutes from now. Brilliant. What do you mean it's Christmas again? I hate Christmas, but it's been a good year though, hasn't it? I've had a ball. So I hope you have a very, very, very Merry Christmas and a lovely new year. Hello everybody. Alison, Hi. Steve Hi. and Woody here. Just wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and all the best for the new year. We'll see you back on Sewing Street in February. In the meantime, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 
Hi, it's Sandy here from Family Comforts and I'd just like to wish all the Sewing Street family a really happy Christmas. I'd like to thank you all for making my 2023 a really great one at Sewing Street. I've got loads of brilliant ideas that I want to bring to everybody in 2024. So I hope everybody has a fabulous Christmas and a really peaceful and happy new year. See you soon. Bye. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street stitching the world together. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Now, I've got a machine now. Now, now I know you're not going to get in time for Christmas, but New Year, New... New Year, New Year. I couldn't figure out what that was. In, in my picture, it just looks like... I couldn't figure... I thought it was a fading balloon. You know, like, like that. 
Yeah. Well, no, because there's been a quilt up, hasn't there, you see? So it might have been behind the quilt. Anyway, you won't get these in time for Christmas. What I'm saying is new year, new craft, new year, new you, new year, new hobby. And I've got deals on all five machines that I've got today, right? So I'm, I'll just go quick. I've got the 680, you've got the cover stitch, you've got the 550, 560, 570. Some come with gifts and money off. Some come with money off. Cover stitch, I've never taken money off the cover stitch before. So... So what? You won't get in time for Christmas, but you could start your new year with a brand new machine. Now, you know, if you watch this show all the time, I've got this machine. This is the machine that I chose to buy. I wasn't given it by Elna. I wasn't asked to be an ambassador for it or anything like that. No freebies. I actually bought it. Now, I love it as a machine, but also... Um, Charlie, when Charlie and Hat stay at my house in the summer, he just uses it constantly to do all his sewing with and everything. Also, a, a lot of people think, that, oh, it's too complicated. It's got too many digital things. It's too many things, right? So when Sally's daughter, Molly, had to do her O-level project this year, she said, I was helping her with it. Was it? No, it must have been last year. Where are we now? No, it must have been last year. Uh, anyway, she literally came to my house. And I saw I've set the sewing machine up. She went, oh, I can't use that. I can't use that, it's too complicated. I went upstairs. When I came back down, she's happily sewing along on everything. So it looks big and complicated, but it really isn't at all. What do you need? I just want to change my battery. Hang on one second. We won't do it secretly. I'll just do it like this, right? There you go, there you go. Right, I thought she was doing a Levi and just staring me out. Um, so what, what can I tell you about this machine? First, oh no, actually, can I tell you the deal first? I'll tell you what the deal is first on this. Hang on, I've got, I've got, yeah, I've got you now. To speak, no, and I was, I was turning on thinking, there's no noise, no noise. Okay, for, before you do the price, before you do the price, you also get a bundle of wadding, a great big ruler, some bobbins and some clips, right? That's your gift. How much is that worth? I just need you to, 58 pounds. 58 pounds worth of freebies you get with that one. But not only do you get the 58 pounds worth of gifts, you also get money off. Here we go. Now, already 1249 is a brilliant price for a machine like this. £1,199 on five way split pay. Five way split pay. If you've already checked out, you will get the gift and you will get the money off. So, if you've already checked out, which I know a couple of you have, right, you will get the new low price. I promised you different prices at the beginning of the show. You will only pay £1,199, which works out at 230 £9.80. Oh, mess your budget. Just purchased mine on pre-order, John. Asked for advice from Facebook and everyone said, get it. I won't be disappointed. Split pay on your advice too. Right, let, let's just talk about the split pay to start with. Who was that? Delia. Delia, you, you're going to love it. You absolutely love it, right? Um, I'll just talk about the split pay. Yes, of course, you can pay £1,199 now if you want to. I always say this. When my mum and when I was little, my mum and dad were like, if we can't afford it, we're not getting it. We don't do tick or anything like that. Today is a completely different world. But you try and get an interest-free credit. Like, if you put it on a credit card, if you don't pay it all off at the end of the first month, then you pay interest, don't you? Also, uh, we, don't, so we don't charge any interest whatsoever. If you also went to your... Um, if you bought this on your credit card, the £1,199, thought, oh, do you know what? I'll pay it £239.80 each month. At the end of the five months... It won't be paid for because you'll have all the interest that you accrued, right? We don't charge any interest whatsoever. So you will literally only pay £1,199 for this machine, period. That's it. That's all you'll pay for it, right? If you haven't bought anything else today, you will have to pay £3.95 post and packaging, right? But £3.95. And I was, I was in with Vicky the Postmistress the other day and I said, I talk about you on air all the time. I said, if you took this machine to Vicky the Postmistress, she wouldn't post it for £3.95. It's a brilliant price, a brilliant price. Now, I need to also tell you that they're on the shelf at Elna waiting to be sent to you. Now, obviously, they're not going to be dispatched now before Christmas because they're not open at the weekend. Christmas Day, Boxing Day. Middle of next week, it'll be dispatched, I imagine, right? But they're ready to go. Comes with a two-year warranty. Two-year warranty. Now, that's a manufacturer's warranty. So if you drop it and smash it, that's not included. But if something goes wrong with the motor or something doesn't work properly, then that's covered with your two-year warranty. It's a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic machine to use. I'll start off with the stitches all up here. All these, let me turn it to your camera. All the, now, this one, these red ones here, these are, you use these with your other needle, oh, there you go, with your other needle, that your straight stitch needle plate. You can only do those stitches on it. Use your normal needle plate. 
You've got uh, all your modes there, your utility, you've got your buttonholes, you've got your stretch, you've got your decorative, you've got ev satin stitches, everything that you could need. But the important thing to know is that it is a nine millimeter stitch width. And I know the normal sewing machine is seven millimeters. You think, oh, it's only two millimeters. What difference does that make? It makes a huge amount of difference. Now the alphabet, you can only get the great big alphabet in the nine millimeter, which is this, this one at the end that you're gonna to come to there. They're the nine millimeter ones at the end there. But fantastic. There's also spaces and everything in there when you want to do alphabet and things. So that's your stitches, nine millimeter stitch width. Uh, the front of the machine on here now, I'm presuming mine's empty because Kat puts out all the feet away. I'll show you the slide in a minute of all the feet that you get with this. But the most ones we think or Elna think that you're going to use the most of are all in here on the front of the machine. Look, on the front of the machine there. And they all sit in these little pockets. So they're really easy to keep your eye on. You do get a gubbins box, which comes at the front of your, your, your flat bed and everything. Or not your flat bed, your, your free arm um, to keep all the others in if you want to. Then if we go to the front of the machine, you'll see down here, We've got, uh, you press that to cut the thread. You've got your needle up, needle down. You've got your da -da 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 lock stitch. You've got your uh, reverse stitch there. You can also use this machine, not with a foot pedal. So if you've got dexterity issues or you're having issues, you can just do your sewing by pressing the start stop button. If we then go down here, you've got your needle threader, which I have to say, I don't use a needle threader, but this is a fantastic needle threader here. You also have your guide for your buttonhole there. So when you've got your buttonhole foot on, you need that for it to know when to stop and start. The, the, the lever to lift your presser foot is right at the back, so it doesn't get caught with your, we're up in your sewing. It goes flat up there, but if you then got higher ones that you need, higher fabrics you need to put in, or thicker fabrics you need to put in, you just lift it up that little bit higher. Then, this is the needle plate here, right? It's so, you don't need screwdrivers or anything to get it out. All you do is you just move, you remove this, the needle plate lives, the other needle plate lives in there, okay? All you do is you just press your button. There it is, can you see there? Just press that button. Do you see the needle plate just lifts up like that? You lift it up, you take it away, pop the other one in or pop this one back. What you need to do is there's a little target on there. Just press back on down on the target and it goes back into place. As I say, this is your... Um, uh, gubbins tray here on the front of the machine which can have bobbins and you keep your walking foot and everything like that in there uh, so that goes on there you can drop your uh, feed dogs to do free motion and then over here the control unit over here is really really simple to use so now when you saw the stitches earlier you saw the different modes let me just get the stylus out and I'll press it with the stylus right so your mode there just change your mode because you've got five, six different modes for your alphabet, your different stitches and everything like that. Um, then this here is if you want it to do your locking stitch and scissors at the end of a, a row of stitching. Uh, here's your stitch width. There's your stitch length. Then down here, you can reverse, uh, no, you can elongate your satin stitches. You can reverse your decorative stitches. You can lock the machine. You can go to your settings. You can do twin needling. You've got shortcuts through to all your different um, uh, buttonhole, zigzag. It's got um, a cover stitch, uh, not cover stitch, what's it called? Overhead stitch, overhead stitch as well. You need your, so let me just explain. So if you wanted to say, mode two, number 47, what you do is you change the mode here to two. Then you just type in stitch 47. Right, I'm doing the heart, right? The heart in, uh, of decorative stitch, right? So you know we're in mode two, stitch number 47, you need foot F. That's the design you're doing. And the default setting is nine wide, which is, you know, I said it's got a nine um, millimeter stitch width, plus two and a half together. Test it out on a piece of calico. If you think, oh no, that's not quite right for me. You can then change it to smaller and to, to your own bespoke stitch sort of thing. What it won't do is if you go and want that bigger, it won't let you do things that the machine won't let you do. The other thing you need to know is if you've got the other needle plate on, the straight stitch needle plate, and you try to do a zigzag, the machine just goes, no, not doing it, not doing it, not doing it, not doing it, not doing it. Um, it's got... Sounds like that, yeah. Uh, you've got a knee lift. You've got a brilliant knee lift here as well, which it looks like your old-fashioned knee lifts. Um, and it hasn't changed. I mean, it, it's been the same for 40-odd years. If, if it ain't broke, don't fix it sort of thing. Really easy to thread up. Um, can I look at some of the slides then? We'll do some of the slides for it now. 
Remember, it's £1,110. Now, at midnight tonight, the price goes back up. There you go. There are all the feet you get with it. I mean, I'm not going to read them out. You can see how many. You do get a walking foot automatically. You do get all the things you'll need there. You do get an extension table. You do get a semi-hard cover. Thank you. Uh, right. Hi, John. I have this machine. The knee lifter is a game changer. Lynn. How many people, I only learned to use a knee lifter when I got an industrial machine. And after that, you kind of just, you think, how does I cope without this? This is the cover you get. This is the extension table you get. It's a nice big extension table. And like I was saying about the um, knee lift, right? It's looked like this for as long as I can remember. You know what I mean? Nobody's invented a new one. Nobody's changed the design of it. Literally, it fits into the front of your machine. And when, if you're sewing along, you need to pivot. Rather than letting go of your sewing and lifting the foot up, turning your sewing, you literally have this one. You just push your, your knee against that. And it lifts the foot up. So you can pivot. Make sure you need, your needle's always down when you pivot, though. Um, so it's really, really, really easy to use. I mean, if you are going to upgrade next year, or for next year, for the new year, then this is a fabulous machine. Like I say, it's the one I've got. I've had mine for about, well, we've been here three years, haven't we? So I must have had mine about five years now. And I've had it serviced once. I've only had it, had to have it serviced once. And it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant machine. Have you got any more slides that I need to show? Okay, 170 stitches, 10 buttonholes. Uh, Built-in superior needle threader, large sewing space, maximum speed 1,000. I thought it was faster than that. Free arm. Uh, and so everything, bobbin thread and upper thread sensors, x ray table, and oh, you get 10 bobbins with it as well. And is that it or is there another one? Remember, we are the home of Elna now. We are the sole distributors of this machine, of not just this machine, of Elna machines. Yeah, so I've, I've gone through everything on the other list, so it's fine. It's just a picture of it with this table on. So a really, really, really a brilliant uh, machine. £1,199, five-way split pay. You're also getting your free gift with it, don't forget, worth £58. Now, oh, the other thing you need to know is this comes directly from Elner's Warehouse in Stockport. So you'll get two parcels. You'll get this from them and you'll get this, the, the bundle, from us. So this will come from us. So you'll get two parcels. So if one arrives without the other, don't panic. Don't panic, because one's coming from Stockport, one's coming from Redditch. Don't pay any more postage to one pa Right, so if you've, say you kept, what was the early bird this morning? It seems such a long time ago. Bonderweb. So you bought Bonderweb at eight o'clock this morning, paid you 3 95 then. Anything else you've bought during the day is covered by that 3 95 Now, I've got quite a few in baskets. I'll let you think about it. I'll come back to it before the end of the hour. Watch that cable. I'll come to it at the end. I'll come to it before the end of the hour, but I will recap this one in a minute because I've got things for different price ranges, right? So now I'm going to go to something completely different so that because I'm on this table, right? If that's all right with you, Han. This cover stitch machine, when I first saw one of these, I was like, what do you need one of those for? What on earth would you buy that for? What's that for? Do you know what? If you, it's not an overlocker. It is not, in fact, I haven't got any overlockers today. It's not, Jimmy, it's not an overlocker. Jimmy thought it was an overlocker. Um, it's basically, you know when you want to do sweatshirts and things like that, you've got a lovely hem to finish. What you get is on the outside, you get like um, a stitching line and on the inside you get an overlocking, but it covers the raw edges inside. So if you've got any t-shirts, any sweatshirts, any dance wear, Anything like that. It can also be used for decorative purposes. You can use the stitching for decorative purposes as well. I have never, ever known it be any less than this, right? £669 in five-way split pay, all right? And loads of people, loads of people always said to me, oh, John, I've always wanted a, a one of these, but I, I can't justify paying 669 right? So the Elna is covered. Now, this is only till midnight tonight because we've crashed the price. How much is that then you've just taken off? 100 pounds come off the price tag. 100, that's cash back in your hand. And it's on five-way split pay. 569 pounds. Your, oh yeah, yours doesn't have spots on it. Yours doesn't have spots on it. Yeah, James from Elle will be watching. She says, they don't have spots anymore. Anyway, it's 569 pounds, split pay 113 pounds 80. Your, oh yeah, that's what yours will look like. Thank you, Bruce. That's what yours will look like. You won't get spots on yours. You can buy, you can bling up your sewing machine though. You can buy transfers. 
We don't sell them here, but you can buy transfers to bling up your sewing machine. Hmm? Got your fifu. Everything about this machine is good. Easy to use, very well instructed. Don't know what I've done without one now. From Catherine in Devon. Five star review. Five, you sound like Lisa Lamb then. 569 pounds. Right, okay, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on, because that's obviously, if you're in the mood. The what, sorry? Yeah, especially, you'll know if you want one of those. I just want you to know that it was 100 pounds off today. 100 pounds off today. Right, now we're going over to the three sisters. Right, now don't, do not check out on anything over here yet because I want to explain something, first of all. I'm not gonna put any graphics in to start with. I'm just gonna tell you the introduction to the 550, the 560 and the 570. All exactly the same motor, all exactly the same chassis and everything like that, the same size. It's just that the higher up in numbers you go to, the more you get on the machine. So on the 550, you get uh, 50 stitches and you get, uh, I'll show you through the buttons in a minute, but that's your kind of, not entry, I'm not saying it's an entry level, but if you know that you're just starting your sewing career, you've already bought, been borrowing your sister or your mum's or your friend's sewing machine, you kind of think, oh yes, I know I definitely want to start. Brilliant one to start with. Then you move up to the 560. The 560 has 100 stitches on it and a few additional buttons and things like that. Right, I always say this, right, because if you can afford it, I would go for the 578, because not only do you get 200 stitches, extra things, extra buttons to press and everything, but you also get um, an alphabet. You also get an alphabet on this one, right? So let me move that box out of the way. So normally, normally, I don't know where the price are going on this one, but normally this is about 30 pounds more expensive than the 560. So I say, if you're going for the 560, for an extra 30 pounds, you get this one. But today, you're gonna get money off and you're gonna get a free present with that one as well. So where, let's start with the 550 then. Let's start, so now don't check out till you've seen all three prices. Right, so this is the machine. You don't get a gift with this one. On a normal day, this would cost you 529 pounds. Right, watch this. Oh, so we're taking it under 500 pounds? Taking it, un, and it's on five-way split pay. So you're gonna pay 97 pounds? I will wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. It's under 100 pounds anyway, isn't it? Oh, Lego, 97 pounds 80. You're saving 40 pounds, but it shouldn't be on five-way split pay, this. Shouldn't be on five-way split pay. So you can get this home today for, well, yeah, today for 97 pounds and 80 pence. And interest-free completely. So let me just explain what you've got on the front of the machine here. You've got your da-da-da-da-da lock stitch. You've got your needle up, needle down. You've got your go faster, go slower. You've got your reverse. And you've also got your button to sew. Uh, with it without using the foot pedal. You've got your um, needle threader and you've got your buttonhole guide on the back there, right? And then here, you've, this is how you choose your, I'll show you on the 570 how it works, but this is how you choose your stitches. That's how you can make the stitch width bigger and, the, and smaller and the stitch length. Uh, and this is your shortcuts. There's your over edge stitch there. That's your buttonhole stitch. Um, and you can drop the feed dogs and they are your 50 stitches that come already in the machine. So that's 489 pounds, five-way split pay, 0% interest, 97 pounds 80. You're not gonna get it in time for Christmas, obviously it's Christmas in two days time, but new year, new hobby, new year, new you, new year, new, what's the other thing? Crafting, I don't know what I was saying earlier. Anyway, new everything, new, 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 new. 489 pounds, now remember that price is only here till midnight because at midnight the crashes get taken away. Uncrashed, yeah, at midnight, because it's all done by a machine now. So that's your 550. Then, so remember that's 489 pounds. Then we'll move up to the 560. Now you don't get this mat with it, I'll just take the mat from underneath it, because that's gorgeous, but I'll show you that later. This is the 560. Now this is the one Helen Newton's got. So I'll explain what you've got on this one. So across the top here, you've got extras, right? So you've got your da 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 da, -da lock stitch, you've got your need, yeah. Okay, right, stop. Okay, right, hang on a sec, hang on a sec then. This is really important, there's a mistake here. I've, I took 40 pounds off this one, didn't I? Anna did, not me. How much am I taking off this one? 120, right, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Under 500 pounds. Well, I didn't, I should have checked my sheet this morning. We should have checked that. 
Because why is only 40 come off that, but 100 and whatever's come off, 120's come off this? That's taken it into a completely different price bracket now. So this is the one I'm saying that Helen Newton's got, right? £499, five-way split pay. So it's £99.99 a month, isn't it? That's huge. That, I don't know how that's happened. How much came off the 680? You see, I mean, £100 came off the 680. £120 just come off this one. There's a mistake. It's a mistake, but it doesn't matter. If you buy it today... Right, OK, that could change what, I'm, what I was about to say, because I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, anyway, let's just go. Let's just go with this. 400, you're saving 120 pounds. Cash back in your pocket. Cash back in your pocket. Right, let me take you through the front of the machine, right? So you've got your d -d 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 lock stitch. You've got your needle up, needle down. You've got your scissor cutter on this one. You've got your go faster, go slower. You've got your reverse button. You've got your start, stop. You've got your uh, button guide, button hold guide. And you've got your... Um, needle threader at the back there. You can drop the feed dogs on this one. Now across here, you've got your, same as you have on the 550, but you've also got a memory scissor cutter that you can put in this one. And this one has a hundred stitches, a hundred stitches. Now the brilliant thing about it being inside your machine like that is if you've lost your brochure, they're always with you. They're always with you because they're always in the side of the machine there. I had no idea that £120 cash was coming off that one. I mean, I mean to say, 120, what? hard cash, hard cash. You're not going to get in time for Christmas, but with you in the new year. But I could eat, no, it won't be with you by the new year, would it? Because if they go back to work on Wednesday, Thursday, no, you won't get it. I don't think you'll get it by the new year, but it'll be first, first week of the new year, won't it? £499. That's astonishing. I didn't know it was going to go there. And it's under £100 on split pay. What say, Han? No, no, that's what I'm saying. I didn't notice it in prep because I would have questioned it in prep. Because I know how much we normally take. We normally take £40, £50 pounds off, right? So to, and, and, and you don't get that much off the other machines. Lovely John. Have been waiting to treat myself for the 680. Just ordered it from... <gasps> Pauline, do you want me to bring it round for you? Oh, no, they're not here, are they? They're in... They're in I was going to say... Now, I'd, I'd, you're just near me. You're re just round the corner to me. Pauline, do you know... Do you know um, Fiona lives up on the church, about the house next to the church, at the top of the hill. That's where Dulcie's going for Christmas dinner. No, no, not, not the church. Fiona's bought the house, right? Fiona and, and Ludo li live in the house next door. Fiona's the head wig maker at the RSC. And Ludo is some theatre impresario sort of thing. But anyway, yeah, they live up there. I met Fiona in 1982 when I worked on Poppy at the RSC. I know, at the Stratford, uh, not Stratford, the, at the RSC, in Barbican, Barbican. Right, so it's 550, 560 at 499 pounds, 570A. Now this is decision time right now. So on this one, First of all, you get a free gift, a Debbie Shaw book, uh, £59 worth of goodies. They're all here. They're all in there. I'll go through those with you in a second, right? But this machine now is the ultimate, I like, it's like the mummy bear, the daddy bear and the baby bear. This is the daddy bear. Right, okay, so here we go. Price tag. You see, that's why, I mean, still £50. And plus, what's that? 58, so 159, £109 worth of saving you get with this one. But that still, that one shows you how good the 560 was that they've taken £120 off, whatever it was. Right, OK, let me just tell you about the 578 now, because I've got this one switched on. Right. OK, right, so let me just start with the machine. Here it goes. So first of all, on the front of the machine... You've got your dirdo lock stitch, you've got your needle up, needle down, you've got your scissor cutter, you've got the same as the others, you've got your reverse button, your, your start stop button, you've got your uh, needle threader and you've got your buttonhole thing there. Now across here, here you go, it's on. Across here, this is how you choose your stitches. So you can go up and down in the tens and the, and the single numbers, right? This is how you change your stitch width. This is how you change your stitch length. Oh, actually, let me just go back to the beginning. Take it back here. So now you'll notice here that you've got three and a half on your stitch width, right? Um, 
you can move the, this moves the needle. If you're on a straight stitch, look, can you see the needle moving? Look. So if you need to move the needle across, you can do that. Right, so first of all, it's on split pay, 199. Oh, this one's only on three-way split pay. I don't understand what's going on. I'll ask Hayley about that, because this one, anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Um, 200, 200 stitches on this one. But then look at all of this here. So this is how you choose your stitches. That's how you choose the stitch length and your stitch width. Then these are your shortcuts. So that's your over edge. That's your, look, that takes you straight to a buttonhole there. That one takes you straight to your over edge stitching. It takes you straight to your zigzag. Uh, then this here, let me just clear. These here, uh, this is your mode because you've got different, I'll tell you about that in a minute. That's your clear button, that's your memory button, that's your memory scissor cut button. There's a cutting button there. Now, why you need modes on this one is because, look, you've got mode one with 100 stitches in it, and you've got mode two with 100 stitches in it. So if we open mode node two like that, and I say I'm going to go to mode two, 85, right? What you have to do is you have to change the mode here to mode two. Then you choose uh, 85. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so it tells you that you need foot F, that you need, you've got stitch 85 on, uh, that it's seven wide and two and a half long. Again, like the other one on the 680, you can change it to make the stitches as you want them there. Uh, but also the reason you need mode is because if you change the mode here, that takes you to the alphabet one sheet and that takes you to the alphabet two sheet. I, have, I don't think I've got pictures of the alphabet here, have I? No, okay. So what pictures have I got for this machine then? There it goes, comes with the extension table. Now, you know some shops, I'll just show you that. Some shops uh, charge you extra for the, well, no, no, I can't say that anymore. Because we are the sole, no, no, because normally I used to say to you, we, other shops charge you for the table. We can't do that with the sole distributor now. So you get the table and you get the hard cover with it. Yeah, right? Then uh, here are the, oh, these are, you get all of these feet with all of the machines. Now, we haven't got the walking foot for this. It doesn't come with a walking foot. But if you ring Elna, you can buy a walking foot from them. We did have it in stock for a while, didn't we? So, no, no, maybe we have, maybe we have, but I know it's sold out. Oh, we haven't got it now, we haven't got it now. We haven't got it at the moment, but we do normally carry it. But the money you've saved today, the walking foot's 50 pounds, isn't it? 54 pounds, I think it is, or something like that, 50 pounds. Um, you, with the money you've saved today, you could buy your walking foot, just ring, ring Elna. But look at all the feet you do get with it. The minute this arrives, you get spare needles and everything. You can, um, you can start sewing straight away, straight away. You do get a full brochure with it as well. If I just show you that, you get the full brochure. Now, if you can just, uh, look, I should show the alphabets on here, because we haven't got a slide of it there. There's your mode one alphabet. There's your mode two alphabet. But this is not just alphabets. Look, there's hearts, there's music notes, there's spaces. There's all sorts of things going on in there. Capitals and um, little letters. Personalization is very popular and so many alphabets will be very useful. There you go, Fran. There you go, you see. Right, so that's that. That's that. Thank you, Kat, for that. Um, next, next slide, sorry. Oh, yeah, it compares all three of them. Compares all three of them. So you can see in the brackets what you get and you don't get for each one. So you can make up, make your own decision. Also, if you go to our website, there's a thing there that I wrote ages and ages ago about the three different machines and what they all do and what they don't do. We never advertise that. Stitch width of seven millimeters, 15 variable needle positions. The 570A has the alphabet, obviously, but the other two don't. But then, then if you look, the number of stitches, the fi uh, 550's got 50, the 560's got 100, and then the 578, they've included the alphabet in there, they've got 380 stitches. So it's br brilliant, all the feet and everything that you get with that. Right, so let me just recap, let me just recap, right? So the biggest cash saving is the 560. Because for some reason, they've taken £120 off that one, taking it under £500. Helen Newton's got this one. She absolutely adores it. It's, it you, you just have to think, right, now, normally what I'd say is the amount we normally take off, this is, there's only £30 difference between these two. 
If you want the biggest cash saving, then go for the 560. The only thing you don't get really is the alphabet, right? And you, and, and, and you only get 100 stitches, not 200 stitches, but you've got to put it into your design. Am I ever going to use 200 stitches or am I a sewer that's only going to use 100 stitches? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's totally and up to you what you want. But this is the biggest cash saving, is the 560 at £499. And it's on five-way split pay. The 570 is not on five-way split pay today. So £99.99 .99 a month or 80 pence a month, sorry. The 560, they're all the same machine, they're all the same motor, they're all the same chassis, everything like that. It's just that you get more for your money normally as you go up. But this with 120 pounds off is a brilliant. Now remember that price is only there till midnight. So you don't have to check out now. I'm not gonna say, oh, if there's only three left, or there's only two left or anything like that. But I advise you if you do want it, you need to check out by midnight because at midnight, the price goes back up to the original and this one goes up by 120 pounds. So if you, basically I'm gonna say to you, don't buy the 550 today. Because how much was the 550 with the, with the crash? 89, I want to say. Right, okay, I'm gonna be very bold now. Say, so don't buy the 550 today. Lovely machine. Sorry, 550. It's not, it's not worth it today because that's 489. You can upgrade to the 560 for £10 with all the extra stitches, with all the extra buttons and everything like that. You get the needle cutter on this and everything. For an extra £10, you're getting an awful lot more upgrade than if you buy the 550. So I'm being very bold and rude and I'm going to say, don't buy the, don't buy the 550 today. It's been removed now. Don't buy the 550 today. Yep. Don't buy the 550 today. Either buy this one because it's only the 560, which is £10 more. Or if you want to go to the, for the big daddy of the 550, 560, 570, if you want an alphabet, if you want to think, that's not the graphics for this. Yeah, brilliant. Um, this one does come with £50 off and £59 worth of goodies. So in effect, you have £109 saving, but hard cash. Oh, here you go. Um, Clectory Merseyside. Kate, the 570A is brilliant. Had mine a few years now and barely scratched the surface on the number of stitches. Never lets me down. There you go. So it all depends on what you want. Do you pay 499 for the 560 or do you pay 599 get 100 extra stitches and your, all your alphabets and everything like that. So it all depends on what you... Some people will go, well, I'll never, ever use the alphabets. Go with the 560. It's the same machine, same motor, same everything, right? So today, the choice is yours. But remember, at midnight... I'm excuse me, I'm presuming the bundles will stay with them until they change their mind and everything. So you don't have to worry about that at midnight. But the price drop on them, you do... So how much should this be normally? 619 Oh, 649. So, of course, we're taking 50 pounds off. Couldn't do my maths then. No, no, I was trying, just trying to do the maths then. Didn't, so, this is normally 649 pounds. You can get it today for 599 with the bundle. Right? So, it just depends on what you want, what your, what your specifications are. Beautiful. Um, Mari, I can't get that fabric out, I'm afraid. It's gone. It's gone now. Oh, I see. No, what she says is, oh, Mari, you need to ask that question earlier because it's a bit late for Hannah to try and find it now. Um, she, you know, we said if you want to see a fabric by the half metre, right, she wanted to see the heffalump fabric, the Henry Glass heffalump fabric again. So I haven't, I, I don't think we'll have time to actually find it today. We could try for tomorrow. Because it's going to stay here tomorrow. We could try for tomorrow. Oh, cat's giving me the eye now. Anyway. Right, yeah, now this mat here, this is different. This is different to the normal. We normally have the waffle mat, don't we? This is, no, because that one's not from Elna, the waffle one. This is one from Elna. You can tell, can you? Can... So it's the Elna sewing machine anti-slip mat. 14 99. Now, on the underneath, it's, it's um, that, you, you know, when you touch it, it goes like that. Uh, you, can, you can see my face, you can only see my hand then. Yeah, there you go. A bit like that. Uh. Yeah, but it, it stops it slipping off the table. And then the top is like a, a rough wool, rough wool finish there. 
Uh, and then your machine just basically sits on it like that. So it's um, anti-slip, small and medium machines. It wouldn't be any good for your 680. It'd be good for your cover stitch or your overlocker as well. £14.99. Beautiful. Right, uh, just come over here then. I'll just move this machine. I'm going to move the cover stitch machine as well, Cat. I'll just take that out of the way there. There we go. Right. Bumbleberry bundle from earlier. Yeah. Very, very popular from earlier. Oh, now I don't know where my upstairs is here. So hang on. There we go. Perfect. Uh, right. How much did we take off? Oh, it took off a metre. So about £16, £15. Should be £104.86. Right, it was hugely popular earlier. There's only six left now. Can't see what's in baskets either, I'm afraid. £89.98. Check out, check out, check out. Gorgeous collection of colours, aren't there? Really, but be careful. Be careful. Now, did you say you'd maxed out on this one? So we can't do the at this moment in time, we cannot do these. We might get some, but we might get them back in, but at the moment we can't bundle this because we have we've put everything we've got into this bundle. Beautiful. Right, yeah, let's put that to one side. There you go, cat. Thank you. Uh, now, the thread bundles. Now, these are all oh, two cotton. Two cotton and one glittery. Fifty weight. Fifty weight. And then, obviously, there you think. Um, so, how much are you saving? Five pounds off. Five pounds off. That mat would be too small for the 680 Delia, I'm afraid. If you've already ordered it and it's, you've realised it, I'll, sh I'll show you, I'll show you while I'm there. I'll show you so I can just prove to you. I'll mostly put it on, it'll fit now, wouldn't it? No, I think it's definitely too small for the 680. Oh, right, no, I wouldn't use this. It's just over the edge. It's just over the edge. Look, there you go. So it's just, it, it, it does fit, but it, it's... Have you already ordered one? Because if you have, just ring the team and they can take it off your order. Won't fit. I don't think you should get that for that. Yeah, that's classed as a large machine, that one. Right, yeah. So, right, so let's go back to the thread, sorry. Uh, 39 97 you're saving uh, £5. Saving £5 on those. Oh, yeah, just ring them. They're waiting. They're here in this building with us. They're waiting for you, Delia. 0800 001 4433. They're up there now, taking calls now. If you've ordered one, you don't want it, just ring them up. They can take it off your order. It's not a problem at all. In fact, now they've got the telly on up there. They'll know they'll be expecting you to call now. 39.97. Yes. These are gorgeous, aren't they? Could do what? Oh, it's produced. Produce cat. We saw you watching earlier. But do you mean, oh, on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, I want to my face. Uh, producer cat's in the building, everyone. She hasn't dressed up or anything. She, oh, now, uh, how did they beat that boy to number one? Why did, it, why did it suddenly come this year? Anyway, Wham's number one in the hit parade, and it beat the boy with the long blonde hair. Yeah, it's Sam Ryder, and uh, Kat's got the Wham T-shirt on today. Oh, there's more people coming in now. Oh, Big Dan. Glad to see he's got his Christmas outfit on. Anyway, look, look at this, 39.95. How much should this be? Four, it's been like that all day, Kat. 47.98. Oh, and here's Daddy Adam as well. He's dressed up for Christmas. No, you can't put that on it. No, no, no. <laughs> No, you can't be seeing. Don't be doing a webcam or a what's it cam. 
It's not political, it's just downright rude. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then, oh no, hang on. No, you are, there's elephants here. But these are by the half meter, are they now? Right, okay. Right. What, big elephants? Right, big elephants, limited amount. This is what you asked for. We can't do the little elephants. They've all sold out. They've sold out. Big now, you're paying for it by the half metre now. 7 99 a half metre. It's 44 inches wide. Machine washable, quilting weight. Oh, I love to see. This is, uh, thanks, they've taken it off. You're such a wonderful team. Oh, dealer, it's our pleasure. I, I, I think Kat might be... A, it's just the, the, we're in 10 minutes before she starts her show, right? She's walking around the studio going... <sighs> right. No presenter, nobody in here. Jimmy's put a few books up. And if I threw my fabric at that, all those, all those books would fall down now. I wouldn't. I would, no, it's not a delicate design. It's a big butch display today. Oh, Kat, I need to ask you a question. Right. No. Next one. Okay, so I'll do the little um, flower, the big flower ones now first. Oh, here she come, Auntie Pauline. Auntie Pauline's had a tooth out, she can't speak. So a lot of you will be pleased by that. Rude. Rude. Rude, she says. Seven ninety nine for half for me, 100 cent cotton. Beautiful, I've got that in the other colourway with the dark background. I haven't cleared my stuff out of the way, have I? There you go. There's the dark one. Beautiful. Then we've got, oh, sorry, Kat. Then we've got the flowers on red. Little flowers on red. Uh, shh, I'm still on air, please, boys. And Kat. It was Kat's fault. It's Kat's fault. $7.99. Beautiful. Who are you on with, Pauline? Nigel. Oh, Nigel. Oh, he's never away from the place these days, is he? He was in yesterday's his choice of clothes yesterday was so bad, wasn't it? That jumper did not go with that shirt. Did you see him? Did you tune in? He's a pudding today. <laughs> He's a pudding anyway. Uh, then I've got the cream with the gold. Gorgeous. Right, I just got to remind you about two machines. The 680, first of all. Lots of you got it in your basket. Remember, you are getting the lovely deal with it and you're getting money off. And it's my machine of choice. It's the one I've got. £1,199. Getting 100 That's that with the £100 off. We've taken £100 off. £100 off. No, you haven't. No, 1249 Yeah, sorry. I'm being fed the wrong information. It's £50 off. 108 if you count the parcel as well, the bundle as well. Beautiful. And don't forget the five, six... Right, can I go over there? Right, very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. This, I've told you not to get the 550 today. It's not... Get this, I had the 560, because we took way too much money off that today. Uh, this is £120 off this one. That is correct. 619 is how much that should be. I have no idea why £120 came off. Jimmy's brushed his hair and everything today. And then also the 570A, which is a fantastic machine, 200 stitches and your alphabets at £599. The L number will fit under the easy cover, yes. It will indeed. It will indeed. Right, should we do tomorrow's menu? Here's tomorrow, Christmas Eve deals at eight o'clock. No idea what that is yet. Bag making with canvas with Catherine Wright. That, we've got some really special fabric in tomorrow. <clears throat> then 10 o'clock bag making accessories. Oh, there's an awful lot of bags tomorrow for Christmas Eve. Uh, farmer's market fabric collection. Oh, now that's gorgeous. If you like peas in a pod and seed packets, you will love that. And then 12 o'clock. Oh, quilt kit you will love. Kat's going to love that one. 12 o'clock quilt kit you will love. So don't go anywhere. 
Hobby Makers up next. Auntie Pauline's ready to go. Ish. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Remember, check out on your machine, check out on everything because the prices all bounce back up at midnight tonight. Uh, see you tomorrow.